Hello. Welcome to the Fanfic Majesty. If you want more content you can follow me on Patreon. I will be uploading more content on there that will be exclusive. The link is in the description. Please support me. 2 up. 42 I am your dog. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. At this moment, everything became dead silent, and time seemed to freeze. There was only surprise on the faces of the CP9 members, as if their souls had frozen, their thoughts had stopped, and they could not imagine what would happen next. The silver pistol shone coldly in the sunlight. There seemed to be some hazy halo from the muzzle of the gun, and then a bullet flew out and flew into Spandam's chest, freezing his smug and mocking expression. A red flower bloomed right in front of me. Dot 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 dot. Toss up and down, toss again and again. He casually crossed his legs on the table and sat lazily under the top officer's position, which was originally Spandam's position. He was throwing objects around randomly in his hands. One or two times, some people's hearts seemed to beat up and down in front of their eyes. No, the object being thrown is actually the heart. Bang. The heart bound by the mysterious square space fell firmly into Luo's hands, but it still made someone break out in a cold sweat. Don't you talk a lot. Why don't you say anything anymore? Spandam, who stood in front of him with a gentle squeeze and looked like a dog, screamed and begged again and again. Spare me, I don't dare anymore, I am just a dog, yes, I am a dog. For the sake of life, Spandam gave up all dignity, not to mention did he have dignity. Really, how come a dog doesn't bark? A dog that doesn't bark bites. Do you want to bite me? Looking at Spandam sideways, Luo said coldly, the strength in his hands became a little stronger, and his heart was squeezed. Woof woof woof. Advertisement. Ha ha ha. Luo couldn't help laughing, but he was so pitiful and humble. This is what happens if you have no power. No matter how high your status is, what does it matter? Without strength, he is just a dog. In a world where strength is respected, everything except strength is false. Luo knew this from the beginning, so he crazily cultivated strength and status. Strength comes naturally with status. Would you like to be a dog from now on? Luo Leng looked at Spandam. The latter is very embarrassed. His chest was wrapped with a bandage stained red with blood. He was really shot. It was Luo Kai's gun. Died. Of course not dead. Luo saved his dog's life again, but took away his heart by the way. Yes, yes. Spandam nodded like a pug. At this scene, the CP9 members standing respectfully in front looked into their eyes, but they just lowered their heads and no one spoke. Standing were all the members of CP9, including Bluno, who they thought was seriously injured and incurable. It was Luo who fired the gun himself. They knew the extent of his injury. It was serious, but Op Op Fruit could save it. From now on, Eni's lobby will be under my control. Any questions? No problem. Spandam said flatteringly. Since the top officer Spandam has no problem, and no one in the CP9 members has any objections, even the proud Luchi lowered his head at this time, does the defeated person have the right to refuse? What's more, CP9 respects and fears Luo at the same time. Luo is one year younger than Khalifa, the youngest member of CP9, but his strength is superior to all of them, and strength is the most important thing. And Luo Fan's method of controlling life and death also made them frightened. Advertisement. Very good. Luo patted Spandam's face with satisfaction. Be a good dog, and the dog will have a chance to survive. Of course, you can go to the world government for help and say that I bullied you in his lobby. Don't dare. Spandam smiled guiltily. That's what he was thinking. Yesterday he was the top executive of CP9, the most powerful person in any's lobby, and he held a high position. Today, he has become someone else's dog. It is naturally impossible to accept it. Of course Spandam wants to go back to the past, and of course he wants to go to the world government to ask for help, let the world government or the marine headquarters intervene, and let the world government forcefully order Luo to leave. You can ask for help. The most I can do is leave Eni's lobby. I'm afraid some people will never be able to leave. Luo sneered. Is anyone dead? No one died. And even if a CP9 member really dies, Luo doesn't think he will really be executed or sent to impel down. He believes that Zephyr Admiral can protect him. Even if he can't be saved, Luo has no fear. Things are different now. Where can he go with his strength? Quote dot 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 quote. Spandam smiled dryly. 
My heart was filled with misery. Looking at the heart held in Luo's hand, he really didn't dare to go to world government to ask for help now. Even if he asked for help, even if the other party left Eni's lobby, what about himself? His life and death are still in the hands of the other party. Even if the world government forces the heart back. But what about the future? What Luo showed has already frightened Spandam's courage. No matter how stupid he is, he can see how bright Luo will be in the future. If Luo becomes an admiral, what if Spandam becomes the top executive of Eni's lobby? To kill him, you don't need to take action, it's just a matter of words. For safety and for the future, Spandam finally chose to be a dog. Advertisement. He believed that it was absolutely impossible for the other party to stay in Eni's lobby for a long time. Eni's lobby could not keep him. As long as he passed by, he would succeed and survive. He would still be the highest officer of Eni's lobby. Does CP9 have a mission now? Luo asked. CP9 just completed a mission a week ago. It is still during the break. Neither the world government nor the marine headquarters have issued any more missions. Spandam replied obediently. Then get ready. Go out with me today to perform a mission. Luo ordered. He stood up, playing with his heart and walked out the door. Prepare a room for me. Okay. Okay. Spandam ran around making arrangements like a slave performing extremely well, and finally carefully looked at the heart in Luo's hand, his heart. That, what, you want a heart? Luo held the heart and pointed it at Spandam. The latter nodded and looked at Luo pleadingly. The feeling of having your heart controlled by others was so terrible that Spandam couldn't bear it and felt like he was going to collapse. Do you want a broken heart? Luo put a force in his hand. Spandam screamed. No, no, I don't want it anymore, let me go, I'm just a dog. Then get out of here. Luo knew that fear is the best way to make a person obedient. Yes yes yes. CP9 watched this scene with fear. Although they were not afraid of Spandam, he was still their boss, and now he was worse than a dog. His fear and even fear of Luo increased. Is it good or bad for such a character to control CP9? They don't know, but they know that they can't make the decision. 43 CP9 Dispatched. Previous Chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. You. La pointed at Khalifa. Me. Khalifa pointed at herself and looked at Luo with some fear, or perhaps in awe. Luo's powerful gesture of defeating CP9 was unforgettable for her, but Luo's terrifying methods made her tremble. It seems that you are quite suitable to be a secretary. Luo stroked Khalifa's pretty face like satin. The latter wanted to hide, but didn't dare. Letting her pretty face be touched by the other person, her whole body was hot and her pretty face turned red. Although her tone is often frivolous, Khalifa has never been in such close contact with another man. Be my secretary and take care of all my needs. Quote dot 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 quote. In the room, Luo hid thunder fruit in the safest place. Eni's lobby has been controlled, the second step is completed, and the next step is the most difficult. Luo frowned in the room, thinking about the next way. Even with the power of Eni's lobby, it is not easy to provoke a war between Whitebeard and Marine Headquarters. If I participate in such a war, I may not be able to ensure my own safety. It is difficult and dangerous. This method, Luo Fang in the end, it was a path chosen only when there was nothing to do. Secretly monitor the Whitebeard pirates and wait for Blackbeard to go out to perform the mission. It requires a lot of time and energy, and there is no guarantee of success. Although it is the simplest and safest method, there is no control over when it will succeed. Or is it a plan to lure Blackbeard to leave the Whitebeard pirate ship alone? Luo thought about what to do next. Advertisement. Dot 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 dot. New World. The Whitebeard pirates, one of the four emperors, has thousands of miles of sea area, dozens of islands, and a large number of affiliated pirate groups. Such a behemoth stands in the center of the New World, becoming an insurmountable peak for all pirates. The Whitebeard pirates spend most of their time sailing around the sea at will. But there is also a time to enter the base to rest. Call out. A figure fell from the sky, thousands of meters high, like a meteorite hitting the earth. The air wave passed over the island, forming a deep crater. What happened? Call out. There are no weaklings in the Whitebeard pirates. In an instant, a large number of ninjas rushed around the pit at high speed, and many captains also came. Boom. A tall, demon-like figure stood out from the pit. 
Kaido of the beasts. The pirates who didn't take it seriously looked at this figure in shock. The Whitebeard pirates can ignore most pirates in the sea, but they are the four emperors, so even they don't dare to be careless. Kaido of the beasts, you came uninvited and in such an astonishing way. Do you want to start a war with us? Marco said coldly. With his dead fish eyes, he looked like a titan when facing Kaido of the beasts. Just being afraid of you alone is not enough. Advertisement. Marco. Get out of here, Lousy isn't looking for you. Kaido of the beasts roared, the ferocious aura of wild beasts filled the entire sky, and the weaker pirates retreated in horror. Whitebeard, get out of here Lousy. Gla la la la, beast boy, you have nothing to do to come to Lousy's place. What, do you want to fight? Whitebeard, who is not inferior to Kaido of the beasts in terms of aura and physique, walked out with a big smile. One of the kings of the previous generation and one of the four emperors of this generation, Whitebeard carries a hockey that is unmatched by ordinary people in every word he speaks. Stop talking nonsense, Lousy is here to find you. Today, you will live or die, or I will die and you will live. It is best if you can kill me, otherwise the strongest man will be too inferior. Kaido of the beasts was pervert and crazy. This madman, Marco and other captains also cursed secretly. The battle between the four emperors has a huge impact. He is so hasty that he wants to fight to the death. Is he an idiot? Whoever wins and who loses will be of no benefit to both parties. Maybe other pirate groups or marines will take advantage of the situation and rob them. Gu la la la, this era has indeed been peaceful for too long, it's so boring. Whitebeard laughed, he was not afraid of anyone. Then come on, kill lousy. Kaido of the beasts roared. Did he come to die? This madman has been rumored to commit suicide. It seems to be true. There is such a person. The sea will not be calm in the future. Marco and other captains cursed secretly, fearing for their lives. What's more, Kaido of the beasts is also the four emperors. If such a strong person is willing to kill himself, it will be troublesome. Everyone, come back. Lousy is enough here. Old Beard held the Naginata in his hand and placed it on the ground. A burst of energy passed over the ground. Maybe there will be new friends who won't come in person later. You can go and greet them. Advertisement. Dot 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 dot. Four emperors, dominate the entire new world. He is Marine's biggest enemy. In order to resist the power of the four emperors, he even had no choice but to establish the seven warlords of the sea organization, which shows the dangers of the four emperors. Everyone knows that destroying the four emperors is equivalent to destroying most of the pirates. But why have the four emperors stood in the new world for several years, and no one can shake them? Because each of them is powerful, Marine does not dare to move out at will. The four emperors are Marine's number one enemies, especially Whitebeard. Marine dare not relax for a moment. Marine is always monitoring the movements of the Whitebeard pirates. Such a big movement. Marine got the news immediately. Will Kaido of the Beasts start a war with Whitebeard? Buddha Sengoku was shocked and surprised. Will the Emperor start a war? This is a good opportunity. Opportunities like this are indeed rare. Garp said. In the last era, the three Whitebeard, Roger and Golden Lions continued to war with each other, giving us Marine many opportunities and almost defeated them many times. However, in this era, although the four Emperors are against each other, but they have obviously learned from the wrong experience of the previous era and rarely go to war with each other. This leaves us marine with no way to deal with the four emperors. It is impossible to attack all the four emperors at once. Sengoku, let me lead the team. I haven't seen you for a long time. Meet my old friend Whitebeard. After being surprised, Buddha Sengoku finally shook his head. That guy Whitebeard is not that simple. He must have expected that Marine has been spying on him secretly. He will not give us the opportunity to rob us. Then don't care about anything. First get specific information. Let CP9 take action and collect all the details about this matter as quickly as possible. Only by obtaining the information can we determine whether there are conditions for sending troops. 44 Entering the Whitebeard Pirates Alone. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. The base of the Whitebeard Pirates. Boom. A wild beast-like confrontation, the world was divided into two halves, and the sky was cracked. The cracks in the earth spread to several kilometers away, and the huge islands were shaking crazily. 
This is the confrontation between the four emperors, and the world is changed by it. That lunatic Kaido of the beasts, is he really going to fight to the death with dad? It's been three days. What a life-threatening lunatic. Marco and other captains stared at the collapsing island with ugly expressions. The base could no longer be saved. After three days and three nights of fighting, this large island with a world-famous sea was on the verge of collapse. A large number of mountains collapsed, forests were destroyed, and there were no longer any intact buildings. Dad is the strongest, Kaido of the beasts is not enough for him. The intensity of the battle made it difficult for these captains to intervene, and they could only watch the battle on the island from the ship. Of course, in the battle between the four emperors, Whitebeard, with his arrogance, did not disdain to bully the minority. Have you caught up? The sea beyond the horizon. We can't go any further, otherwise we will be exposed. Lu Qi looked at Luo. You don't need to get so close to collect information, right? That was a battle between the four emperors. They were so close, and the entire army could be wiped out if they were not careful. Advertisement. Boom. Beyond the horizon, huge energy soared into the sky. Mushroom cloud explosions rose high in the sky. Air waves spread to the warships more than 10 kilometers away. The rough sea caused the warships to swing left and right. With such power, the faces of the CP9s changed drastically. They have carried out too many missions and assassinated many powerful people, but they have never intervened in the battle of the four emperors. Such power is far beyond their strength. CP9 is very strong, but only equivalent to the entire ocean. In the eyes of four emperors, CP9 is not attractive at all. Now CP9 is far less powerful than it was six years later. Even six years later, CP9 will not be able to shake any four emperors team. The current strongest CP9 player, Luchi, is only slightly stronger than the ordinary vice admiral, not as good as the elite vice admiral. Stop. Although Luo only joined CP9 as an auxiliary, he is the commander. Squinting his eyes slightly, he felt the momentum of the battle between the four emperors outside the horizon. Horrible indeed. With Luo's current strength, he can feel a terrifying aura, which is not something he can shake now. The target of the warship is too big, and we really can't move forward, otherwise the captains of the Whitebeard pirates can easily destroy the warship. Whitebeard is not the only one who is strong in the Whitebeard pirates. The captains are also famous strongmen in the sea. Can we directly connect the air door to the Whitebeard pirate ship? Luo looked at Bluno. It would be best if we could detect the Blackbeard cell gene without knowing it. Too far. Impossible. Bluno shook his head. The gate fruit he possesses shows space type abilities and powerful auxiliary abilities, but it is obvious that the gate fruit he possesses is not very powerful. Advertisement. A strong attack. Luo rubbed his temples fiercely. At first he had too much hope for Bluno's abilities. If the air door space can be used to travel long distances, the original novel does not need to take the troublesome way of taking the sea train to return to Eni's lobby from the water capital. Wait here, change direction, and be ready to leave at any time. Luo ordered CP9 seriously. And he checked his weapon preparation. Luo was never willing to let go of such an excellent opportunity to obtain Blackbeard cell genes. Just after taking control of Eni's lobby, and before there was time to plan if Blackbeard's cell genes were obtained, he received an order from the Marine headquarters, ordering CP9 to collect information on the battle between Whitebeard and Kaido of the Beasts, the two four emperors. The battle between the four emperors is equivalent to holding back the most troublesome Whitebeard. It's not impossible to just face the captain and take the opportunity to steal Blackbeard's cell genes. Opportunities sent by God will be punished if they are not given by God. How could you miss it? We only need to collect the results of the four emperor's battle, no need to move forward, right? Even now we are too close. Lu Qi frowned. Are you planning to enter the battle? The CP9 members looked at Luo in horror. That was the four emperor's battle. Actually want to get involved. Are you crazy? Even Admiral wouldn't dare to enter the four emperor's war casually, right? We'll die. Is it necessary to work so hard to collect intelligence? Advertisement. Are you going to order me what to do? Luo squinted at CP9. Just do what you are supposed to do. A footstep. Moonwalk appeared, and Luo ran at high speed in the air, rushing towards the shaking sky. The distance is too far, 
and the room space has not reached the level of covering more than 10 miles, so we can only rely on moonwalk. Crazy. Really crazy. The CP9 members looked at Luo who was walking away in horror. He was simply crazy. Kaido of the beasts is so crazy, but he has such strength. He does not have the strength of Admiral to intervene between the two four emperors. The Great War. When Madman sought death. Luchi. What should we do? What can we do? This is not something we can interfere with. All of us joining will only die. Just wait. All of this is Trafalgar Law's own behavior, and his death has nothing to do with us. What a terrible little brother. It's a pity that he has terrifying strength and potential, but he can't change recruits' arrogant character. Khalifa sighed. Looking at Luo's back, CP9 has regarded him as a dead man. Bump bump bump. Running at top speed. Luo could already see the island that was constantly collapsing, he could vaguely see two huge waves constantly fighting against each other, and he could also see the huge pirate ship parked on the sea. Is that where it is? Luo looked at the pirate ship. But my eyes can't help but look towards the battle of the four emperors on the island. The battle between the two four emperors is equivalent to the confrontation between the strongest men at the top of the sea. Such a shocking battle is rare. How many times can you see it in your life? 45 succeeded. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Bump bump bump. Moving forward at a high speed, we are getting closer and closer to the pirate ship, 10,000 meters, 8,000 meters, dot 6,000 meters. Running wildly in the air, there is no way to hide it. Many pirates on the pirate ship are focused on the battle, but their vigilance towards the surroundings has not decreased. As the two four emperors fight, it is inevitable that some people will take advantage of the situation, such as the other four emperors such as Marine. Alert! Enemy situation appears in the southeast, and enemies are approaching quickly. Three days have passed, and some forces finally can't bear it anymore. The lazy Marco was a little disdainful, or all the captains sneered, how can the whitebeard pirates be spied on by others? There are only five types of flying abilities in the sea. Who is it? No, it's Moonwalk from Marine 6 Styles. Many captains looked at the figure approaching at extremely fast speeds, already 3,000 meters away. A strong Marine. Rely on Moonwalk to get closer, but even Garp cannot use Moonwalk to conquer the sea. The consumption of Moonwalk is staggering, so the warship is not far away. Quickly analyze the correct answer. Moonwalk is very useful, but the consumption is too great. Every step in the air is a huge burden and consumption for Vice Admiral. Crossing more than 10 kilometers is also a huge burden for Luo. Thanks to all these years of extreme training and physical training, he can bear such a burden. Cost. It seems that I am the only one who takes action. Marco's dead fish eyes were like slits. He stepped out at will, jumped outside the pirate ship, and when he fell to the sea, his hands turned into wings wrapped in green flames, taking on the form of a phoenix. The gorgeous phoenix spread its wings and flew high, flying towards Luo at top speed. The speed of Moonwalk cannot compare to the flight speed of the phoenix. Advertisement. The former uses powerful strength and skills to run wildly in the air, while the phoenix really flies, and the methods are simply incomparable. Who is it? The two approached quickly, and were only a hundred meters apart in an instant. Marco looked at Luo. He could see clearly from this distance. He should not be the current three admirals who can use Moonwalk to span a distance of more than 10,000 meters. Is it Garp? Who are you? Marco found that the other party was hidden in a black robe, and it was impossible to find out his identity. It looks like it's not Garp anymore. Isn't it the vice admiral, one of those famous characters in Marine? Or is Marine secretly strong? It doesn't matter. Since it's Marine and coming here, there is only one outcome. Call out. The gorgeous phoenix rushed towards Luo at extremely fast speed, and the green flame seemed to cover his energy. 1,200 meters. Luo's attention was no longer on the phoenix, but on the pirate ship. He was calculating the distance in his heart all the time, that's enough. Room. The moment the terrifying phoenix hit Luo. Luo disappeared instantly. Poof. The phoenix still hit real objects and people, but it was not Luo, but a pirate, a pirate from the Whitebeard Pirates. Mocha. Why is it you? Phoenix Marco looked at the pirate who vomited blood and fell into the sea in shock. Isn't he our companion? Why is it him? Could it be that the figure coming across 10,000 meters in the air is Mocha? 
It's not right. Isn't Mocha on the ship? Call out. Advertisement. The Phoenix's sharp claws caught the seriously injured pirate. Captain Marco. I was on the ship just now. Why are you here suddenly? Mocha was also horrified. What's going on? What's going on? Marco was a little confused. Why did his enemy suddenly become his companion? No, on the ship. Although he still didn't understand what this weird ability was, the well-informed Marco instantly understood that it should be similar to the ability to transform space, and hurriedly took Mocha to fly towards the pirate ship. On a pirate ship, Blackbeard is not a very famous person in the Whitebeard Pirates, he is just an old man on the ship. Among the pirates, Blackbeard seemed a bit inconspicuous. His eyes were always fixed on the four emperors' battle, and ambition seeped deep in his eyes. Such strength and status were what he dreamed of. As for the enemies coming from the air, they wouldn't attract his attention at all. Marco would definitely be able to deal with them. Call out. Standing next to Blackbeard was the pirate named Mocha, but at this moment he suddenly turned into Luo. The transfer of items in the room space not only includes inorganic objects, but also living beings can exchange places. It just costs more. If the opponent is on guard or hockey is strong enough, it can even resist the space transfer ability. Aha. Uh -huh. At the moment when they changed places, no pirate on board noticed it. The blade in Luo's hand was instantly unsheathed. Armament hockey's hardened blade swept away Blackbeard first. What's wrong? The confused Blackbeard stared blankly at the sweeping blade. How could my companion attack me? No, the other party is not a companion, but an enemy. How could the enemy come to the ship without anyone noticing? Advertisement. Completely confused. Making a move meant that Luo was exposed on his own initiative. The other strong men also looked at Luo in confusion, wondering why the enemy was here. Blackbeard, get out of the way. There are no weaklings in the Whitebeard pirates, especially the captains, whose strength is pervert. Although they were caught off guard, in an instant, many captains acted quickly. The captain of the third division, Josie, and the captain of the fifth division, Foil Bista, acted at the same time. Aha! Uh -huh. The cold light flashed across, and Blackbeard retreated quickly. It was not that he retreated on his own, but Diamond Josie pulled his shoulders and retreated. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts me to death. Blackbeard screamed spinelessly. He wanted to cry. Who did I provoke? Why are you attacking me? It's really embarrassing. We actually let the enemy invade the ship. We can't be embarrassed anymore. Petals fluttered strangely in the air, and the sword edge carrying the petals slashed towards Luo. Except for the gorgeous petals. There was still bright red blood in the air, and a piece of meat about a hundred grams, which was cut from Blackbeard's body. Luo could only see the piece of flesh and blood in the air. He instantly caught it and put it into a specially made pocket. The sword edge with petals was already in front of him. Call out. Luo Ji quickly disappeared and appeared at the bow of the ship. Everyone, be careful. The enemy is a person with abilities, a weird person with abilities. At this time, Marco returned to the ship with Mocha, who was seriously injured. 46 B's Phoenix Marco. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. How to get out. Luo looked at the captain who was surrounding him. Especially the top five captains, each of them gave Luo a great sense of crisis. Each one of them was a strong one. It would be very difficult for Luo to defeat any of them at this time. You're the only one who wants to take the opportunity to destroy us. Marine doesn't take us seriously, right? Marco still looked at Luo lazily. Even if there is an admiral in front of him, he will not be afraid or scrupulous. Now that you're here, don't even think about leaving. Covered in diamonds, Josie rushed towards Luo angrily. Room. The space appeared, covering the entire pirate ship in an instant, and the high-frequency scalpel swept across, cutting through the rushing diamond Josie. Ziz. A stream of sparks flew. It was impossible to cut through diamonds. Luo never thought of cutting diamonds with strength. Even Mahawk couldn't do it. Luo was not so arrogant that his swordsmanship could rival the strongest swordsman. But for this sword, Luo used fruit ability. Op op fruit cutting ability, there is no limit to the hardness of the items that can be cut. But it cannot be cut. Apparently Jaws's hockey is enough to withstand op op fruit's cutting at this time. On the contrary, all the terrifying power was applied to Luo's body. With a hiss, the latter flew backwards and rushed out of the pirate group. In an instant, 
He was a hundred meters away from the pirate group. Moonwalk. Advertisement. Quickly change direction and form in the air, rushing towards the distance at extremely high speed. I don't want to start a war with the Whitebeard pirates now, and I don't have the strength yet. Want to leave. Marco, who turned into a phoenix, pursued him at top speed. Only he could catch up with Luo, who was flying at extremely high speed. You can't escape. The pirate looked coldly and mockingly at Luo who was getting further and further away. Captain Marco was chasing him personally. Unless he was admiral, he couldn't escape. Anyone who dares to invade us will die. Call out. Marco was faster than Luo. After sprinting a thousand meters, Marco was behind him. Pulling out his gun, Luo turned his head and aimed back. Bang. The high-energy electromagnetic cannon blasted out and hit the phoenix's chest, creating a hole the size of a fist through its body, but the hole was quickly restored by the blue flames. Bang bang bang. Luo kept firing, and high-energy electromagnetic cannons kept bombarding the phoenix everywhere. It kept disintegrating and showing wounds, but it kept recovering. Has no effect at all. But this somewhat slowed down the phoenix. After chasing each other, the two of them were soon able to see the warship thousands of meters away. Phoenix. Is it Marco? The CP9 members waiting on the warship kept staring at the horizon. They saw Luo and Phoenix the moment they appeared. His expression changed drastically. I was discovered in such a short period of time and was hunted back. CP9 showed a look of horror. Marco, the captain of the Whitebeard Pirates' first team, who hasn't heard of the sea. This is a legendary figure. Advertisement. Are you going to kill us? Stop talking nonsense and prepare to fight. Lu Chi roared. Even if he was destined to die, he couldn't sit still and wait for death. Damn it. You went to die yourself, and you took us with you in the end, damn it. It's over now. Several CP9 members cursed in their hearts. Especially looking at Luo being chased, he was even more furious. If you don't have enough strength, don't provoke the Whitebeard pirates. Now, I'm fine. I tried my best to escape, and in the end, I took us with me, harming others and myself. The distance is enough, room. After Luo fired another shot to the rear, he instantly displayed the largest range of space. Item transfer. The special bag containing Blackbeard's flesh and blood disappeared instantly, leaving a small stone in Luo's arms. Keep it in the deck pocket carefully, remember to put it in the refrigerator I specially made before, and return to Eni's lobby immediately. After meeting thousands of kilometers away, Luo's roaring voice reached the ears of the CP9 members. Pocket. The CP9 members looked at the pocket that mysteriously appeared on the deck in astonishment. When did it appear? Was it thrown back from a thousand meters away? They didn't know that there was an inconspicuous small stone in the pocket just now. Luo had placed it here specifically before taking action. This was the easiest place to be discovered. Call out. Complete it all. Luo did not continue to rush towards the warship. No matter how fast the warship was, it could not match the speed of the phoenix. Even if he returned to the warship, the warship would be destroyed in the end. Today's plan is to face the Whitebeard pirates. Luo has thought about any details that may arise. The best result is naturally to get Blackbeard's flesh and blood and leave peacefully. But being chased by Phoenix Marco was also expected. Advertisement. Since he was being hunted, he could only adopt the second option. Call out. Luo held the blade, presented a high-frequency scalpel, and actually took the initiative to attack Phoenix Marco. Aha! Uh -huh. The blade slashed across Phoenix's chest, and Marco also kicked Luo with his right foot. Bang! The Phoenix was nearly cut in two when Luo blocked the kick with Armament Hockey's hardened arm. The power is a bit scary. Luo flew backwards and quickly stabilized after a hundred meters. Marco's Phoenix recovery ability is very pervert. Unless it reaches the limit, no one can hurt him. However, Marco's output attack power is slightly weaker than the top powerhouses, but it cannot be said that it is not strong. Shave. Luo and Marco fought several more times. Although they injured each other, it was equivalent to no damage to Marco who could recover, while Luo avoided all attacks. Time to go. Luo looked at the warship going away. Moonwalk was used in conjunction with Xiao and he disappeared instantly in the air, avoiding another kick from Marco. Then he rushed towards the distance at great speed, not toward the warship, but towards the island. So strong, Marco can't defeat him. 
The CP9 members on the warship looked at Luo in shock. They knew he was strong, but they didn't expect him to be so strong. Call out. They were still chasing each other, getting further and further away from the warship. Is he planning to lure Marco away so that we can escape safely? Khalifa's mouth opened like an, oh, is he crazy? Once we leave, no warship will be able to take him away, and he will face how can the entire Whitebeard pirates escape? How can they save their lives? Is he going to sacrifice his life to let us escape? CP9 feared Luo more than they respected him. Now Luo's actions shocked them. 47 Entering the Island. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Call out. Soon Luo and Marco disappeared into the horizon. And everyone on the pirate ship could see the two of them again. You have nowhere to escape. Have you been driven back by Captain Marco? The pirates looked at Luo mockingly. You are a guy who overestimates your capabilities. Marco. Force him to the boat, and I will deal with him. Foil Bista said. Room. Baton. When approaching the pirate ship, Luo instantly appeared in a huge space that enveloped the entire pirate ship. Then he raised his right hand upwards, and the huge pirate ship took off from the sea, and even a large amount of sea water was controlled to lift into the air. Not good. The expressions of many pirates on the pirate ship that rose into the sky changed greatly. Fall. Luo turned his right hand and pressed down, causing the pirate ship in the air to flip over. Countless pirates fell into the sea like dumplings. A large number of pirates grabbed hold of anything that could stabilize their bodies in fear. Boom. The pirate ship flipped downwards and crashed onto the sea. The hull collapsed and all the pirates fell into the sea. No matter how strong the captain is, as long as he is an ability user, he will not be able to fall to the bottom of the sea at this time. Pirates who can move, rescue those with abilities immediately. Marco's face changed and he roared. At this time, his lazy temperament finally changed, and he stared at Luo angrily. The prey that we thought was a joke actually caused us such heavy losses. Advertisement. Unforgivable. Boom. The powerful kick met Luo's sword, and terrifying air waves passed through the air. Luo flew towards the island at high speed, and Marco couldn't help but move backward. Moonwalk. Luo, who was flying extremely fast in the air, quickly approached the island and landed on the island after a few breaths. He finally breathed a sigh of relief and kept using Moonwalk. In a short period of time, Luo had consumed more than half of his physical strength. Boom. In the center of the island, the duel between the four emperors did not end for three days and three nights, but became more intense. Every confrontation brings turmoil to the world. This is a showdown that can shake the world and destroy everything. Call out. Marco flew towards the island at high speed. We have suffered such heavy losses, but we can't keep you. Are you still chasing me? Luo Lang looked at the rushing Luo. On the earth, but I have the final say. When Marco's terrifying attack landed, Luo had disappeared and was already a thousand meters away. In the sea and sky, there are no objects in the air, so Luo naturally cannot use the room space to transfer objects, but on the earth, there are too many gravels and too many objects. Don't even think about escaping. Call out. After several exchanges of items in the room and space transfers, Luo had disappeared from Marco's eyes and he could not find him. The island is too big. Advertisement. You escaped so quickly. You really have space type abilities. It's tricky. Marco frowned and looked at the huge island. The island was too big and it was too easy to hide one person. Moreover, the other party also had such weird abilities. Countless pirates who fell into the sea were slowly rescued. Where's that bastard? I'm going to kill him. Diamond Josie roared angrily. As a user with abilities, he almost died when he fell into the sea. If other companions hadn't rescued him, no matter how strong he was, he would have been buried in the sea. As the captain of the third division of the Whitebeard Pirates, he has never been so embarrassed. Enter the island. He can't escape without a boat. With so many of us, we can always find him. No, dad is still fighting Kaido of the beasts. We can't enter. Many of our companions can't bear the terrifying air waves. I'll go in first and have a look. Marco shook his head, then turned into a phoenix and headed towards the island. Fly away. Hoo hoo. Law ended up hiding in a broken forest, hiding behind broken tree trunks. A duel between the four emperors. Luo looked ahead in the dark. Thousands of meters ahead, 
the land completely collapsed and collapsed, forming a huge crater. The mountains and forests in it disappeared, leaving only the scene of a doomsday land. Standing in the violent storm, the two figures were like giant pillars of heaven and earth. Whitebeard and Kaido of the Beasts. Although Whitebeard is old now, is he stronger than he was six years later? Luo looked at the proud Whitebeard. Just standing there gave people a super intimidating force. He is indeed the strongest man in the sea. The two four emperors seemed to have just competed with their ultimate moves. At this time, they were facing each other and did not use any moves. Advertisement. Phew. Phoenix Marco fell from the sky. When he lands, he returns to adulthood and lands next to Whitebeard. What? Whitebeard, you finally couldn't hold on any longer. Do you want your son's help? Just in time, you can kill Lousy with more people. Kaido of the beasts laughed mockingly. Shut up. Beast boy, Lousy never bullies the less. Whitebeard glared, and the terrifying aura made the white clouds disperse in the sky. Marco. What's going on? Didn't I tell you not to disturb Lousy's interest in fighting? Dad, a strong marine has entered the island. Marco looked around, trying to find traces of Luo. I'm afraid he will disturb Dad in your battle. Marine, you're a trash rat. If you dare to show up, you can just kill him. Do you have the qualifications and strength to influence the battle? Kaido of the Beasts dismissed Marine. How could cats and dogs interrupt the battle of the four emperors? Marine, is it Garp or Sengoku? Are those guys from Akainu? Whitebeard asked. In the entire Marine, there are only a handful of people who can catch Whitebeard's eye. A nameless Marine, but his strength is good, and his abilities are even weirder. Marco said, he still doesn't know Luo's identity, and he hasn't even seen Luo's appearance. What are you afraid of, unknown person? Whitebeard suddenly lost interest. So what on this island? What can he do? Can he change anything? Marco, you retreat first, and then slowly find him after the battle is over. That's fine, I can't run away anyway. Understood, dad. Marco nodded, turned into a phoenix, and flew away. He also doesn't think Luo can affect the battle of four emperors, Admiral is about the same. Whitebeard, have you rested enough? Can you pick up a knife? Let's continue. Kaido of the beasts roared, and a terrifying momentum rose into the sky, lifting up tens of tons of boulders around him. Terrible. Luo's eyes gleamed, and they were indeed pervert. Can I get anything out of the four emperors battle? Luo habitually thinks about his pros and cons and whether he can get anything out of it. 48 Immortality. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Come on, Whitebeard. He roared to the sky, his muscles were extremely explosive, and his long, fluffy hair was like an angry lion. What kind of abilities will Kaido of the Beasts have? Luo secretly stared at the erupting Kaido of the Beasts. The original work did not explain his power at all. Luo's goal is the Four Emperor's Admiral. Knowing yourself and the enemy will naturally be beneficial to the future. Boom. Running wildly, like a humanoid Tyrannosaurus, the Earth collapsed with every step. The terrifying Qi energy surrounds the whole body like a substance, and the Fist Qi energy shows a golden light, as if wearing golden gloves. Boom. The Fist covered by the air pressure shield blocked the crazy attack of Kaido of the Beasts. The cracks in the air split the world into two halves, one half was the constantly cracking sky, and the other half was the tearing energy. The violently shaking island continued to sink. It's really scary. Luo kept moving away from the battle site, thousands of meters away and still within the most intense explosion range. Boom. The cracks spread to the entire island, and the pillars of air rising into the sky shredded the white clouds in the sky. Boom. The golden light-covered fist slammed into Whitebeard's chest. The terrifying air waves seemed to penetrate Whitebeard's body invisibly. The huge golden air waves tore apart the earth, split the sea, and showed a huge explosion ring outside the horizon. Advertisement. Whitebeard's fist, which was covered by a pressure shield, hit Kaido of the beast's head hard. Kacha. Under the fist, the atmosphere cracked, and the cracks spread throughout Kaido of the beast's head, as if his head also cracked under the cracks. Puff. His head was covered with blood, and Kaido of the Beast's head seemed to be cracked, with countless blood splattering out. Isn't it too tragic? Can you survive with such an injury? Luo looked stern, his head was split, this was simply a fatal blow. Although Whitebeard also suffered serious injuries, it was not a fatal injury after all. 
The original book said that Kaido of the Beasts cannot be killed, no one can kill him, and even suicide cannot succeed. Luo did not believe that Kaido of the Beasts would die here. Seriously injured Kaido of the Beasts. He fell to the ground with a thud. Beast boy, you're still a little green. The fist of the air pressure shield hit Kaido of the Beasts' heart again. Under the air pressure cover, space was distorted. Kaido of the Beast's body was distorted to the point of deformity. The earth was distorting, and abyss-like cracks spread quickly, spreading to a mountain peak, and the mountain peak was collapsing. Aha! Uh -huh. With all his strength, Whitebeard struck again. He picked up the Naginata stuck in the ground and struck it hard. The cold light flashed across Kaido of the Beast's body, a blood arrow splashed out, and a blood mark spread to Kaido of the Beast's entire chest. The cracked earth seemed to split into countless fragments, tilting and collapsing. Unable to move, Kaido of the Beasts fell into the abyss, covered in countless rubble. Do you died. Advertisement. Buried deep into the abyss. Room. Perspective. Luo quickly approached the battle site and hid behind a piece of gravel a few hundred meters away. The room space instantly covered the central area. The eyes flashed with purple light, and the dark eyes changed into a strange purple. The ability derived from ultraviolet light has many abilities such as sterilization and vision treatment. Not dead yet. Kaido of the Beasts can be seen buried hundreds of meters below. Huh. Kaido of the Beasts' body. Luo looked at Kaido of the Beasts' hundreds of meters underground in surprise. Hufufu. Whitebeard was panting and sweating profusely. The situation was not good either. The battle lasted for days and nights, especially against Kaido of the Beasts, who was at the same level. Although he had always had a slight upper hand, it was clear that Whitebeard had to endure a lot. The cost is not that simple either. He was bleeding from the corner of his mouth and seemed to need a Naginata to maintain his health. Tens of seconds later, boom. The ground exploded, huge air waves burst out from the ground, countless gravels splashed out, and a bottomless hole appeared on the ground. Ha ha ha, it was almost, but it was a pity that I almost killed Lousy. You can't do that, Whitebeard. The burly Kaido of the beasts rushed out of the deep hole and crashed onto the ground. HMPH, Beast Boy, why does it take so long this time? It seems you have reached your limit. Whitebeard Hockey's proud aura never changes. Pervert. Law's focus is always on Kaido of the beasts. As expected, Luo took a deep breath, finally understanding the power and ability of Kaido of the beasts, and couldn't help but be moved. Is it possible that the original work would be called the strongest creature in the sea, land, and air? No wonder it would be called an immortal person. Advertisement. It turns out that he has unimaginable recovery power. He could recover from such a fatal injury in just tens of seconds. Luo looked at Kaido of the beasts who was unscathed and couldn't help but smile bitterly. Are all the four emperors so pervert? And from what Whitebeard said, it can be known that Kaido of the Beasts needs to recover from injuries like this because the battle consumes too much. If it starts from the beginning, wouldn't it be quicker to recover? Even if the zone fruit awakens, it won't be able to restore life so quickly, right? Luo looked at Kaido of the Beasts in confusion. Resilience is terrible, he can recover quickly even if his head is cracked. Such resilience means immortality. Having such an immortal life recovery power, is it an ability? Or is it a body? Luo looked at Kaido of the Beasts and his eyes lit up. Everyone wants to have the ability to be immortal. Even if you have an immortal surgery, you only have a long vitality, which is equivalent to having an endless lifespan. But if you are killed, you will also die. If you have endless vitality plus an immortal body, then no matter how strong the opponent is, they can still defeat the opponent in the end. That is the real god. Luo was moved. Whitebeard can recover from his strongest combo so Kaido of the Beasts can recover from any strong attack. Luo stared at Kaido of the Beasts, not missing any detail. He envied Kaido of the Beasts' abilities. Envy is naturally what you want. Luo is not a utopian, he is a man of action. If he can think of something, he will do it. Come again. Boom. This large island was completely destroyed in the deadly battle between the two four emperors. Even if it would not completely sink in the end, it would be turned into a wasteland. 49 Heart of Four Emperors. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. One day one night. Luo watched in secret all day and night. The two four emperors fought for another day and night, feasting their eyes on it at the same time. 
Luo was finally able to fully confirm the power of Bai Tate Kaido. His invincible health recovery power comes from his own ability, not the fruit ability. Although the stronger the physique, the faster the recovery. But there is a limit, right? Luo frowned and thought deeply. Through continuous extreme training, Luo Lu's physical strength has improved a lot in six years, and he naturally understands the changes after his strength and constitution become stronger. Injuries that could have been fatal six years ago may not be fatal now, and you may be able to recover with a strong body. It can be understood from Kaido of the beast's pure strength that his physique has reached an astonishing level, at least stronger than those with known abilities. Is it possible that with a strength and physique as high as Kaido of the beasts, he can have such a pervert? Resilience. The logic seems right. But Luo thought it was wrong. Although we don't know how strong Garp and the red-haired people are, they are not espers. Their combat power comes from their own strength, and their physical fitness is definitely not bad. But they are not called immortal monsters. Physique pervert must be an important element for possessing such vitality recovery power, but there must be other elements. Luo looked at Kaido of the beasts, and his every move highlighted the ferocity of a ferocious beast. Especially the curved horns on the head are even more frightening, like the devil from hell. Is his body also different from ordinary people? Blackbeard's alien body structure allows him to break the boundaries of the sea and possess two or more abilities. So does Kaido of the beasts have a body structure that is different from that of ordinary people, so that they can finally possess the power of immortality? Advertisement. Just speculation. Luo wasn't sure. Then I'll know it after getting Kaido of the beasts' genetic cells. Luo looked at Kaido of the beasts with a hunter-like gaze. The resilience of immortal life is so attractive. How to get it? Luo Lang looked at the two fighting men. Kaido of the beasts is not Blackbeard. Blackbeard is not strong now, so he can naturally get his cell genes quickly. But Kaido of the beasts is now the one to reach the top. Even though they now have power that is not inferior to that of the ordinary seven warlords of the sea, there is still a huge difference in strength against monsters like the four emperors. But now is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Keep waiting. Are they almost exhausted? Luo slowly pulled out the blade. After four days and four nights of battle, especially a battle of the same level, both Whitebeard and Kaido of the Beasts reached their limits. Now they are competing. Will. Come again. The two crazy people confronted each other again, and during the explosion, they both retreated at the same time. Suddenly a figure appeared behind Whitebeard. Gia Gia, Whitebeard, you are really embarrassed. The gravel in the sky quickly condensed into a figure behind Whitebeard, Sir Crocodile. The golden hook in his hand struck Whitebeard's head. Young Crocodile, can't you help it? Whitebeard glared, and struck back with his fist. The air burst and filled the rear, and the terrifying air wave knocked away everything behind him. Crocodile shattered in the cracks, sending gravel flying out of the sky. While flying upside down, the gravel quickly condensed into a human being. Advertisement. With a swipe of his eagle claw-like right hand, four huge sand blades tore open the earth. All boulders along the way were chopped open and shot towards Whitebeard. Gla la la la, crocodile boy, you are still a little weak. The Naginata turned, and the tip of the Naginata covered with a pressure cover swept across, and the terrifying air waves shattered four huge desert swords. Erosion of reincarnation. Landing hundreds of meters away, Crocodile placed his right hand on the ground. The broken earth quickly turned into desert. Seven warlords of the sea crocodile. What? You have a grudge against this guy Whitebeard. Kaido of the beasts looked at this scene with interest. Didn't expect Crocodile to come. Luo frowned slightly. Crocodile has a grudge against Whitebeard, he knows it, and the original book also explains it. But I didn't expect that he would come. Whitebeard and Kaido of the Beasts have been fighting for four days and four nights. The sea has spread long ago. Four days and four nights can allow any strong person to come here. Does Crocodile want to take the opportunity to kill Whitebeard? Luo rubbed his temples in distress. It seems better to have one more person disrupting the situation. But it was Whitebeard that Crocodile held back. Kaido of the Beasts became theatergoers instead. It has almost reached its limit. If we delay like this, we don't know how much strength Kaido of the beasts will regain, and we don't know what changes will happen suddenly. Luo's eyes narrowed. Is it time to take action? Big sandstorm. Thousands of meters of desert appeared, and a huge sandstorm appeared, 
rolling up the yellow sand in the sky, growing larger and more terrifying as it spread toward Whitebeard. Boy Crocodile, is this all you can do? Where the air pressure shield of the fist attacked, the air burst and shattered everything, including sandstorms and sand blades. Why do you think Lousy has lost his strength after fighting for four days and four nights? Quote. Advertisement. Boom. Whitebeard suddenly stood on top of Crocodile. Crocodile's face changed with shock and he cursed secretly. Why is this guy Whitebeard so fast and so strong? Practice for a few more years and come back to Lousy. The fist covered by the air pressure shield slammed into Crocodile. The cracks in the air shattered Crocodile's body, and he vomited blood and turned into yellow sand. You think you are arrogant because you have become the seven warlords of the sea. Cats and dogs also want to take advantage of us. Who do you think we are? We are four emperors. Kaido of the beasts looked at Crocodile mockingly. Crocodile's face turned cold, a bit cold, but his skills were not as good as others. Looking at Kaido of the beasts and Whitebeard coldly, he is strong, but the two are stronger. HMPH, Whitebeard, wait, one day, I will take your life. Crocodile dropped the harsh words, knowing that there was no chance today, turned around and left. Room. Kaido of the beasts taunted, in his eyes, there were only existences of the same level, and he looked down upon the seven warlords of the sea. There are actually people who naively think this is a good opportunity and think they can take the opportunity to destroy the two four emperors. People with such thoughts are the stupidest people in the sea. Are you? The words fall. A figure suddenly appeared in front of Kaido of the Beasts. Room. Scalpel. Luo wearing a black robe and a mask. The blade shimmering with strange light stabbed Kaido of the Beasts in the heart. Huh. Kaido of the Beasts didn't react. Or they don't bother to avoid and defend themselves. Rat, if I ask you to cut, can you pierce Lousy's skin? The blade did not penetrate Kaido of the Beast's chest, or even touch his skin, but a heart burst out from behind Kaido of the Beast's. Phew. The figure that suddenly appeared suddenly disappeared. 50 Control Kaido of the Beast's. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Bang. Suddenly Kaido of the Beast's collapsed and fell to the ground. How? How is it possible? Whitebeard looked at this scene in shock. Can an unknown person knock Kaido of the Beasts to the ground with just one move? Even if the consumption of Kaido of the Beasts is extremely close to the limit, it can't be like this, right? Whitebeard stood in front of Kaido of the Beasts, naturally unable to see the heart bursting out from Kaido of the Beasts' back. But Crocodile saw it in the distance. Heart. Kaido of the Beasts had his heart taken away. His pupils couldn't help but dilate. Is that Kaido of the Beasts? Was he killed like this? Who was the mysterious person just now? Isn't it too pervert? I didn't expect it to be so simple. In the distance, Luo and secretly held his heart in his hand. He didn't expect such simple success. As Kaido of the Beasts absolutely confident in its own defense. Plus it has invincible health recovery, so why doesn't it bother to be on guard? Op Op Fruit is very strong and has various weird attack methods that make it hard to guard against. But Armament Hockey is the nemesis of Op Op Fruit. In particular, Hockey is a stronger opponent than Luo, and it is difficult for Op Op Fruit's various attacks to exert their power. Does Kaido of the Beasts have Hockey? He definitely has it, and Hockey is very strong. Definitely better than Luo. If Kaido of the Beasts defends Hockey slightly, there is no way he can take away his heart with a scalpel. Advertisement. Kaido of the Beast's ability made him lose the vigilance of a strong man, or did he not need to be vigilant at all? Unfortunately, he encountered Op Op Fruit. Luo put his heart away and looked at Whitebeard. What if Whitebeard's heart is also taken away? You actually let Lousy fall to the ground. What ability did that bastard use? Having his heart taken away will cause him to fall to the ground temporarily, but he will soon regain his strength. The angry Kaido of the Beast slowly stood up. How could Beast Boy be defeated so easily? Whitebeard showed a look of understanding, which was in line with reality. It's not that simple. Crocodile didn't believe that Kaido of the Beasts was unscathed. Could it be that the heart he saw just now being deprived of his heart was an illusion? Room. The circular space instantly covered a radius of more than a thousand meters. A piece of gravel disappeared under Whitebeard's feet, and a mysterious figure suddenly appeared. Room. Scalpel. The blade shone with a strange light and stabbed Whitebeard in the chest. Hidden rat. You are marine, right? You dare to take action. 
Whitebeard glared, and the terrifying aura crushed the world. Conqueror's hockey appeared, and Luo's eyes flashed, and he was not afraid of the pure majesty. But Conqueror's hockey can be called a direct attack method. But it's not enough to be unconscious. With Luo's strength and courage now, if Conqueror's hockey can make him unconscious, there is probably no one in the sea who can do it. Chang. The sword struck Whitebeard in the chest. Advertisement. No heart bursts out, and Whitebeard is not dissected. Now that you've appeared, let's stay. The air pressure covered fist came crashing down, causing the atmosphere to crack and cover with cracks. Call out. The massive ground layers ahead collapsed and tilted, a devastating blow. A thousand meters away, Luo appeared instantly, with a little blood on the corner of his mouth, a little late. After all, the transfer of objects in space is not a pure teleportation, nor can they leave just by thinking. It requires the use of abilities. No matter how fast the ability is used, it will take a certain amount of time, and it was affected by Whitebeard's terrifying attack. It's such a terrifying attack power. It's difficult to resist such an attack head-on. Luo quickly disappeared and stayed away from this place. Luo is very strong, but most of the abilities are auxiliary or weird abilities, and there are not many pure output attack methods, and the strength is not strong, so he can't wait to get the thunder fruit, just to get a powerful output attack method. The weird ability is hard to guard against. But everyone wants to crush the other party head-on, instead of always sneaking up and hiding in the dark. It seems there is no chance of taking away Whitebeard's heart. Luo shrugged from a distance, not having high hopes in the first place. Whitebeard, who is not immortal, obviously will not be as careless as Kaido of the beasts. With armament hockey's protection, there is no chance of a sneak attack. Getting the heart of Kaido of the beasts is an unexpected joy, that's enough. Advertisement. Luo looked at the heart in his hand. With the heart, he could naturally study the mysteries of Kaido of the beast's body. I wonder if Kaido of the beasts will die if he destroys his heart. If it were anyone else, there would be no need to consider such a question, he would die. However, Luo Zhen cannot guarantee whether Kaido of the beasts can survive even having his head split open, and whether destroying the heart can be fatal. Even if I can destroy the heart and hold Kaido of the beasts lives in my hands, I still can't control him. Luo Modian naively believed that he could make one of the four emperors do his bidding. Even if it can determine the life of one of the four emperors, it is impossible. The four emperors are the top figures. People like Kaido of the beasts, such a domineering emperor, are not afraid of death at all. Death is not a threat to people like Kaido of the beasts at all. They are not afraid of death. Control Kaido of the beasts. Luo's eyes suddenly lit up. Crazy thoughts come to mind. These troublesome guys, one after another, can't fight with all their heart. Damn it. Kaido of the beasts roared angrily, and the terrifying momentum stirred the world. Whoever dares to disturb Lousy's interest again, Lousy will kill him. HMPH, I wish you good luck. Crocodile looked at the two emperors coldly. Turn around and leave. He has no intention of interfering in today's battle between the emperors, knowing that his strength is not enough, but he believes that the mysterious person in the secret will definitely leave a deep impression on the two emperors. At this time, the proud Kaido of the beasts became a pitiable creature in Crocodile's eyes, and his heart was taken away. How could it be that simple? Don't know who the mysterious person is. How terrible. 19%. 51 What if the entire marine army is dispatched? Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Very good. The rats have left. No one will disturb us from enjoying our time. Whitebeard, come again. External objects cannot affect Kaido of the beasts. His purpose is only to fight, and he can only fight to the death with Whitebeard. I'm afraid you haven't left, right? Whitebeard looked around, seeing, hearing, and feeling in all directions. But Luo's location was not found. Observation Hockey has strong sensing ability, but Hockey is not invincible. With Observation Hockey, you naturally know that if you hide your aura and hide everything about yourself, you can naturally prevent being sensed by Observation Hockey. The same goes for Armament Hockey. Armament Hockey can capture the entity of Logia, but if a strong Logia possesses Hockey, and the level of Hockey is higher, it will be difficult to capture their entity. The same goes for Op Op Fruit. Armament Hockey can resist many of Op Op Fruit's weird abilities, but Luo naturally also has Armament Hockey. If Luo's Armament Hockey is stronger than the enemy, 
there is no way he can resist Op Op Fruit's weird abilities. So what if I didn't leave? The attack is not strong at all. It can't even pierce Lousy's body. What's there to consider? Kaido of the Beasts obviously disdains sneaky guys like Luo. It's true that the attack power is not too strong. Whitebeard also withstood Luo's attack, and it did not bring him any sense of crisis. It seems that the opponent is not a strong combat type, but more of a support person. I'm really too worried. Whitebeard also forgot about Luo. The two emperors once again faced each other crazily. Advertisement. Rumble. The broken island suffered serious damage again, and the ground tilted and collapsed. Dot 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 dot. CP9 warship did not go directly back to Eni's lobby. Instead, they stayed on an island a hundred miles away. Their mission was to collect information about the battle between the two emperors to determine whether Marine had the opportunity to send troops. The defense of the Whitebeard pirates is too strong. All the affiliated pirate groups have gathered together, and there is no way to reap the benefits. After collecting various intelligence, CP9 got the answer. Got the answer. You can leave naturally. Report the news to Chief Spandam. Let him solve these troublesome matters. Trafalgar Law is probably in danger. No news came all day and night. They did not believe that they had fallen into the center of the Whitebeard Pirates. There is a chance to leave. It can be seen that the dozens of vassal pirate groups of the Whitebeard Pirates surrounded the surrounding sea area with water, and the warships almost couldn't leave. One person. Unless it was Admiral, there was no chance of leaving. Poor little brother. He has the potential to become a king, but he doesn't have that fate. Khalifa said sadly. Dot 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 dot. Huh. Eni's lobby. After Spandam learned the news, he was stunned for a moment and then showed a look of ecstasy. Master Trafalgar Law, fell into the Whitebeard pirate group and was hunted down. Now he is alive or dead. Advertisement. If the devil Trafalgar Law dies, wouldn't Eni's lobby still be in my hands? Spandam couldn't help but laugh wildly. The guy was looking for death, and he had no one to blame, but he soon stopped laughing. Because he remembered that his heart was still in Luo's hands. By the way, heart. Spandam hurriedly ran out the door. You all follow me. He rushed into Luo's room with a large number of his men. Dig the ground three feet to find my heart. Yes. Every corner was not spared. Even the walls were broken open. The floor was pried open. Nothing. Not at all. Digging three feet into the ground. Dig thirty feet into the ground and you might be able to find it. Luo buried Spandam's heart and Thunderfruit under a hundred meters. It would be difficult for ordinary people to do it, but Luo could do it easily. It's over now. If that demon has been carrying my heart and he was killed by the Whitebeard pirates, wouldn't my heart be gone? Spandam was panic-stricken and rushed to the office. That demon must not die. Otherwise my heart's whereabouts are unknown and I may die at any time. For yourself. That bastard, he really thinks he is a god. Sure enough. No matter how hard he recruits, he can't change his arrogant character. That's the four emperors, that's the Whitebeard pirates. Who do you think he is? He's such an idiot to rush in. That's not asking for death, it's asking for death. Spandam cursed secretly and angrily. But no matter what, for his own sake, he wanted to ensure Luo's safety. But he was facing two emperors. Not to mention that he is the highest official of CP9 and a senior official of the world government. Even Admiral would find it difficult to make a difference in such a situation. Advertisement. Only by relying on Marine, Marine can save him. Spandam didn't dare to think about whether Yilua was dead. He only dared to hold on to a glimmer of hope, picked up the phone, and hurriedly dialed. But in the end, Marshal Marine's phone number was not dialed. One recruit, no matter how talented he is, can't send out the entire Marine army to fight against the two emperors, right? Spandam looked desperate. Those are the Whitebeard pirates and Kaido of the beasts. Without the conditions to send troops, how could Marine send out its entire army for a recruit, no matter how amazing this recruit's potential is, so what? Are you betting on the entire Marine future? Marine can't agree. Spandam desperately grabbed his hair, twitching again and again, inform Zephyr Admiral first. I hope Zephyr Admiral really values that devil. Maybe Zephyr Admiral can find a way to get Marine to send troops. Zephyr's voice in Marine headquarters is definitely much higher than Spandam's. Beep beep beep. After dialing Zephyr's phone number, Zephyr, 
who was teaching students in the recruitment camp, heard about it, his face changed drastically, and he rushed to the Marine headquarters in a panic. Luo, why is that guy so impulsive that he actually joins the Whitebeard pirates alone? Doesn't he know how scary that guy Whitebeard is? Zephyr blamed him with worry. Luo was a student he valued very much. At nearly 70 years old, he knew that he no longer had the energy to guide the growth of a strong man, and Luo became the final perfect ending to his life. But the matter is so big and serious that it goes beyond Zephyr's own capabilities and rights. Bump. Zephyr ignored the knock on the door and pushed open the Marine Marshal's office. He was surprised to find that the Marshal was not the only one in the office, but the admirals were also there. It just so happens that you are all here, so there is no need for me to look for them one by one. Zephyr rushed to the desk, held the table firmly and looked at the stunned Sengoku. Sengoku, my student is trapped in the Whitebeard Pirates. We need Marine's power. 19%. 52 can you protect yourself? Who believes it? Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Quote dot 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 question mark quote. Sengoku was at a loss for a moment before he woke up looked at the anxious Zephyr, and frowned. Zephyr. What's going on? Your student is a recruit, right? How can it be related to the Whitebeard Pirates? Trafalgar Law was arranged by me to enter the CP9 trial. He followed CP9 to the New World to collect information about the Whitebeard Pirates, but accidentally broke into the Whitebeard Pirates. Now his life or death is unknown. Zephyr said anxiously. Wow. That's strange. You don't need to break into the Whitebeard Pirates directly to collect information, right? Kazaru Admiral said lazily. As that's so, Trafalgar Law, Sengoku was somewhat impressed and had made a lot of achievements. How did he join the Whitebeard Pirates? The specific situation is not known yet, but my student is in danger and needs Marine's rescue. Zephyr said anxiously. Tisk, 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 teacher Zephyr. Don't you know that we have just received various intelligence, which shows that there is no condition to send troops at all? With all the forces of the Whitebeard Pirate Group gathered together, there is no chance to take advantage of the fire, and it seems that Whitebeard and the battle with Kaido of the Beasts is almost over. By the time we arrive, they will have already returned to their peak strength. Kazaru shrugged and said, there is no chance of sending troops against Whitebeard. This. Zephyr's expression changed slightly but my students are still in crisis. Recruit dares to join the Whitebeard Pirates alone. His courage is commendable and he is more bloody than most Marines. Akainu praised. Zephyr looked at Akainu expectantly. If one more admiral agreed to send troops, there would be a glimmer of hope. However, Akainu changed the topic. Since he followed CP9 for the purpose of gathering intelligence and breaking into the Whitebeard Pirates alone, it is tantamount to disobeying orders, and a three-year-old child knows how scary Whitebeard is. How can a soldier be so arrogant and impulsive? You. Zephyr looked at Kazaru Akainu and the others angrily. Advertisement. Sengoku. I'm asking you for the first time, can you send troops? Zephyr looked at Sengoku expectantly. Buddha Sengoku rubbed his temples in distress. There are no conditions for sending troops at all. But the old man made such a request, and it was hard for him to refuse. It seems that this recruit is very important to you, Zephyr. It's just the Whitebeard Pirates, so what if we send troops? Sengoku, let me lead the team. Garp said solemnly, either because of his relationship with Zephyr, or because of his involvement in this matter this is the main war faction. Sengoku remained silent. Such a big matter cannot be decided hastily. Tisk, tisk, tisk. All the intelligence is enough to show that there are no conditions for sending troops at all. Sending troops now is equivalent to starting a full-scale war with the Whitebeard Pirates in the New World. The price will be high. Other emperors may take advantage of the fire. One recruit, do you have the right to let our marine bet the entire future? Not to mention recruits' own arrogance and impulsiveness. Kazaru was simply dissatisfied with Zephyr. It is impossible to know the internal information of the Whitebeard Pirates, but it has obviously been some time since the recruit broke in. Maybe, Qingji said with a frown. Even if an admiral falls into the encirclement of the Whitebeard Pirates, absolute safety cannot be guaranteed for a day and a night, not to mention that a recruit may have been killed long ago. It doesn't feel right to risk Marine's future for a dead person. Impossible, Luo is very strong. Although he is a recruit, his strength is amazing. He must have the power to protect himself. 
Luo has grown up. I believe that he will soon grow into an admiral. Isn't such a character enough? Let us make a bet, Marine. Zephyr said solemnly. Advertisement. He also knew that it would be impossible to get Sengoku to agree to such a big thing based on emotion alone. They must understand Luo's potential and future. Only if there is sufficient benefit to Marine's future can we naturally send troops. Really. Sengoku remembered that Corazon seemed to have said the same thing. Did any recruit really grow up? Becoming an admiral. Wow. What an astonishing evaluation. It's really scary to say that a recruit is terrible. I wonder what kind of record he has. Is he also the recruit camp record holder? Which record did he break? It's impossible to break it anyway. My record. Kazaru asked curiously. This. Zephyr's expression froze. He suddenly remembered that Luo didn't work hard at all in the various assessments in the recruitment camp, and he didn't even participate. His results were not very good. The best result seemed to be getting second place in the first actual combat assessment. With such results, he is considered an outstanding student in the recruiting camp, but it is not as good as Admiral Eyes at all. Luo's strength has long surpassed that of the recruiting camp. He rarely participates in recruiting camp assessments, but I know his potential and strength, which are amazing. Zephyr said firmly. To be honest, he doesn't know Luo's specific strength now. But it takes two years to reach the level of practicing hockey. Now four years have passed, and it must be very strong. It's unrealistic to let Marine risk everything with just one word, right? Kazaru spread his hands and said, I don't want to fight for this reason, because I'm not sure about a recruit. It's not worth it. I agree to send troops to the Whitebeard Pirates, but not for a recruit, but to destroy the four emperors. Akainu has always been the main combatant, and he will not look down on any excellent recruit, let alone whether it is excellent or not. Must. Advertisement. Sengoku looked at the admiral experts in distress. Sengoku is considered a peacemaker because he understands how difficult it is to defeat the Whitebeard Pirates and destroy the four emperors. How can it be done so easily? It requires long-term planning and arrangements. If you rashly send troops into the new world, Marine may even suffer a major defeat. And for a recruit, as the Marine Marshal, he has to consider the entire Marine. He cannot issue such an order for a recruit who is not sure whether he is a good recruit or not. Wait a minute, Marine gathers troops and dispatches to enter the new world Whitebeard territory. It will take three days at the shortest. In three days, too many things will change. We have no time to change many things. We can only wait. Maybe it is like what Zephyr said. Does Trafalgar Law have the power to protect itself? Sengoku said. I couldn't bear to look into Zephyr's eyes. Because in Sengoku's mind, this is tantamount to giving up on any recruit. Although he has made a lot of contributions, it is not enough for Marine to risk everything. As for the last sentence, it is just a comfort. How to protect yourself if you fall into the Whitebeard Pirates? If he escapes, Admiral will be in danger, let alone a recruit. Or that recruit is already dead. Zephyr's face darkened. Which recruit I hope will be lucky? What if he escapes by luck? Who believes it? 53 The End of the War. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Boom. The confrontation between the four emperors has passed for five days and five nights, and it is difficult to find a safe place on the large island. Mountain peaks collapsed and forests were shattered. The earth is riddled with holes. The battle finally came to an end. Haha. Ha. It's really interesting. As expected of Whitebeard, come on, use all means to kill Lousy. Kaido of the Beasts, standing proudly and covered in blood, roared. The victory of an emperor is also the failure of an emperor. The roar echoed throughout the world, and with Kaido of the Beasts unconscious, this earth-shattering battle finally came to an end. This bastard. Whitebeard breathed heavily while wielding his Naginata, slowly regaining his bottom strength. Good opportunity. Room, scalpel. Luo in the darkness disappeared in an instant and appeared in front of Whitebeard, stabbing Whitebeard's chest with the blade in his hand. The sword edge stabbed the chest, and some sparks burst out. You haven't given up yet, do you still want to take the opportunity to kill Lousy? Whitebeard glared and waved his Naginata. The Naginata covered by the air pressure cover swept across, and the terrifying shock wave shattered everything in front and spread continuously. Call out. Luo disappeared, disappeared again and again, and appeared thousands of meters away. Advertisement. 
After the war, he still has such pervert power. He is worthy of being Whitebeard. Luo smiled bitterly, as if he had no chance to seize Whitebeard's heart. Whoosh. After the war, a dozen captains from outside the island quickly rushed into the island, and Luo's sneak attack on Whitebeard happened to be seen by them. That bastard is still here. He still wants to take the opportunity to sneak attack on Dad. The captain stared angrily at the place where Luo disappeared. Don't worry about that kid for now. Let Lousy take Kaido of the beasts to the boat and keep him under strict supervision. Whitebeard ordered. Yes. He was tied up with sea stone chains and finally imprisoned at the bottom of the pirate ship. Dad, that marine has caused serious injuries to many of our companions. We can't just let him go so easily. Marco's dead eyes flashed with cold light. Roko destroyed a pirate ship of the Whitebeard pirates, and all the pirates fell into the sea. Although there were no deaths, many pirates were seriously injured. Search. Yes. Hundreds of pirates entered the island and spread out like a fan, searching for traces of Luo. Tisk, 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 you can't be found. Luo quickly moved away. The broken island was riddled with holes, too many abyss and pits, and he finally hid in the depths of an abyss, clinging to the cliff. The room space was always maximized. Present. In the event of an unexpected situation, immediately relocate your position. Advertisement. Where is that guy hiding? The pirates were not so polite in their search. They kept destroying all hiding places along the way in order to force Luo out. Luo had no choice but to move his location many times, and his ability to transfer items prevented him from being discovered. Half a day passed. It's dusk. After several hours of searching and several hours of destruction, the somewhat tired pirates returned to Whitebeard. The island is too big, and that guy is so good at hiding places that he can't be found at all. It's interesting. Whitebeard scanned the surroundings. Luo was on the island, but no one knew where he was hiding. Boy, get out. Although you are a marine, you are a bit bloody. Just catch Lousy's three moves, and Lousy will let you go. Go, if you dare to hide, you will only die. The sound echoed in the air. Find me, don't say three moves, I will take thirty moves. Luo's voice came from the southeast. After the captains rushed, Luo disappeared long ago. That guy. Whitebeard glared fiercely. Walk. Turn around and lead the way to the shore. Room. Luo quickly appeared in space, disappeared quickly, bypassed Whitebeard and the others, and came to the shore faster than them. The space now appeared by Luo had a diameter of 3,000 meters, showing it to its maximum extent. Advertisement. The space is too small and it is too easy to be discovered. Even if you are in a circular space of 3,000 meters, it is difficult to find the existence of space. Call out. Luo disappeared, and the next moment he appeared in a utility room of the pirate ship on the shore. It took more than 10 minutes for Whitebeard and the others to return to the ship. If you want to stay on the island, then stay forever. Standing on the bow of the ship, his naginata striking the ground, Whitebeard punched the air to the left and right with both fists. Jam. The atmosphere cracked beneath the fist. Let's go. The pirate ship turned away. A few minutes later, the sea became rough. Waves hundreds of meters high appeared on both sides of the broken island, covering the entire island. Boom. The waves completely covered the island. Hide. Hiding anywhere on the island is useless. Do you really think that if you can hide and hide, you will be invincible? The captains looked coldly at the island covered and impacted by the waves. Anyone with abilities among them would definitely die. Just wait quietly for the moment we dock. In the utility room, Luo sat leisurely on the abandoned sofa, holding a freshly grilled steak in his hand. By the way, there are still there's Kaido of the beasts. Eat and drink enough. Late at night, Luo disappeared from the utility room in an instant. 54 Thank me in hell. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. On the bottom floor of the pirate ship, in a cell made of steel, Kaido of the Beasts was bound by dozens of armed thick sea stone chains, unable to even move his fingers. Boom. The fate of being caught is, of course, execution. However, the Whitebeard pirates used all kinds of methods. The captains took turns to fight, and they used all their ultimate moves, but they were unable to destroy Kaido of the Beasts. In the end, they had to accept that Kaido of the Beasts really couldn't be killed. In the dark, Kaido of the Beasts, who was tied up, was covered in injuries. 
The injuries were recovering at an extremely slow speed. The fierce eyes slowly opened in the darkness, and a roaring momentum roared out. The two marines who had been on guard outside the iron gate were in a state of violence. Then, he passed out silently. Not dead yet. Tisk. Kaido of the beast struggled and seemed unable to move. Finally woke up. In the darkness, a figure came out of the corner and sat casually on the ground. You. Kaido of the beasts glared. The darkness could not block his sight, and he saw clearly who was coming. It turns out to be a marine rat, hiding on Whitebeard's ship. Aren't you afraid of death? It seems that your outcome is worse than mine. The visitor was Luo, who came here alone in the middle of the night. Advertisement. Ha ha. Kaido of the beasts didn't think about his own fate at all. It seems that your situation is very miserable. Luo kicked the chains around Kaido of the beasts. Do you need my help? How about cooperation? Cooperate. Are you worthy? Lousy is immortal, so he still needs to cooperate with you. Who do you think you are? Kaido of the beasts mocked, his tone full of disdain for Luo. Oh, is it so? Luo grinned. Actually, I never thought about cooperating with you. I just checked your physical condition. It seems to be very bad. Boy, are you referring to Lousy's injury? Once Lousy regains a little strength, this injury will recover soon. Do you need to worry about this guy? Kaido of the beasts said coldly. Then it can be understood that all the physical strength you have recovered now is spontaneously used to recover from the injury. Restoring the injury consumes physical strength. The injury has not been fully recovered and you cannot gather any strength in your body. Naturally, you cannot use hockey without physical strength. The corners of Luo's mouth showed a strange arc. So what? Why do you want to take the opportunity to kill Lousy? Unfortunately, Whitebeard can't completely break Lousy's defense. At most, it will only cause two more injuries. Kaido of the Beast said proudly, ignoring everyone in the sea. Lousy I want to die, but who can kill Lousy? Okay, fulfill your wishes and die. It's actually very simple. Luo disappeared. Haha, you are an arrogant guy. You actually think you can kill Lousy. If you can kill Lousy, that's great. Kaido of the beasts could only show disdain and contempt. The room space, at the moment Luo boarded the ship, was presented to the greatest extent, covering the pirate ship. Although this consumes physical energy all the time. But in this way, the ability to use it will naturally not be discovered. Advertisement. Call out. In the room space, Luo was like a god, instantly entering the kitchen from the cell. Roar. There are mountains of food in the kitchen, as well as a large number of prey waiting to be slaughtered, including tyrannosaurs and lions, and all kinds of prey. It's up to you. Luo walked to the human height iron cage. Inside was a large dog, but it seemed powerless at this time. What kind of treatment could it get for the prey waiting to be slaughtered? Little guy, do you want to live? He was stroking the dog's hair while feeding him. Woof woof woof. The dog's head leaned close to Luo's feet, wagging its tail happily, recognizing its owner. Call out. Luo and the big dog disappeared, and the place they appeared was a prison. Woof. Kaido of the beast's momentum was too fierce. The moment the big dog appeared, he hid in the corner with his tail between his legs. Haha, why do you still want a dog to bite Lousy to death? Kaido of the beasts mocked, Lousy's defense power is even worse than that of Sea Kings, but you still expect a dog, who do you think Lousy is? Lousy is immortal Kaido of the beasts. Don't be so eager to ridicule, maybe you or him. Boy, do you dare to say that Lousy is a dog? Advertisement. Room. Transplant. With a stab of the blade, Kaido of the beasts and big dog's hearts were stabbed out of their bodies. Their hearts were essentially in the shape of a pink heart, with a line connecting them to the host. Use this method to separate the targets, mind, and body. Kaido of the beasts and big dog's bodies turned into empty shells at that moment, similar to an out-of-body experience. Transplant. Kaido of the beasts and big dog transformed mentally and then entered their respective bodies. Woof woof woof. The big dog screamed several times, but the sound came from Kaido of the Beast's body, and there was no sound for an instant. Kaido of the Beasts was seriously injured and had to endure severe pain all the time. He could bear it himself, but the big dog couldn't bear it. He fell into a coma and was unlikely to wake up in a short time. Woof woof. And in the eyes of Kaido of the Beasts, his body is right in front of him, and his soul is out of body. 
Somewhat panicked, he roared angrily, but the sound was that of a dog barking. What's going on? Although he said it like this, the sound he made was still barking. Call out. Luo and Doggo both disappeared. Luo is outside and the big dog is inside the cage. By the way, I seem to be planning to eat dog meat at noon tomorrow. I wish you good luck. Luo stroked the hair of the grinning dog. Your dream will come true tomorrow. Thank me in hell. 55 Kaido of the Beasts is really dead. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Whoa. Whoa. The big dog growled in a low voice. Lousy actually turned into a dog. Lousy is Kaido of the Beasts. How is that possible? How can Kaido of the Beasts accept this reality? But the reality is that he became a dog waiting to be slaughtered, a dog locked in a cage. Roaring and struggling. How can the majestic four emperors become dogs? Sharp claws and canine teeth tore at the iron bars. In the past, steel could be molded into any shape in the hands of Kaido of the Beasts, but now, the steel as thick as his fingers has become an insurmountable barrier for him, and countless roaring words can only turn into barking dogs. Lousy is the four emperors, lousy is the Kaido of the beasts, how can he be a dog? Woof woof woof. A terrifying momentum rose into the sky, and the island-like ship shook violently. The soul enters the dog's body, and the former power is completely separated from Kaido of the beasts. The power he has now is the power of this dog, but momentum is the embodiment of courage, and conqueror's hockey is the embodiment of high-level courage. Not good. Luo's face changed slightly. Armament Hockey hardened his punch and disappeared instantly. I, Kaido of the Beasts, am immortal, immortal, woof. One punch shattered his brain, but there was no obvious trauma. Beast Boy. Whitebeard suddenly sat up from the bed, all the captains rushed out of the room instantly, and many pirates fell unconscious. Advertisement. The captains all took action. Still there. The door opened, and Whitebeard looked at Kaido of the Beasts who was still tied up in surprise. It's strange, the momentum just now is not here. What's going on? Dad, Kaido of the Beasts has not woken up, he is still unconscious. Marco stepped forward and judged carefully before saying doubtfully. The aura just now was indeed Kaido of the Beasts. Deng deng deng. Captain Josie and several other captains also came here. Dad, the aura appeared in the kitchen just now, but there was nothing strange about it. It's just that the aura of another strong person seems to be lingering in the kitchen. In the kitchen. After being searched carefully by the team captains, there was nothing unusual. Naturally, the death of a dog could not be taken seriously. Just like that, silently Kaido of the beasts died. One of the four emperors died like this. Whitebeard frowned and thought, there were too many unanswered questions. Why did Kaido of the beasts aura appear in the kitchen? but others were still tied up and unconscious, and who was the mysterious strong aura? Have you ever been to the kitchen before? No. All the captains shook their heads. Maybe someone stole the food. It's normal. Pirates are not weak, they consume a lot of money, and pirates often go to the kitchen in the middle of the night to look for food. Let the sun search. Whitebeard is not a reckless person. If he has doubts, he will search thoroughly. Advertisement. Hundreds of pirates began to patrol every corner of the ship. I was careless. Luo, who was hiding in secret, scratched his head in distress. If the aura is hidden, it will be difficult for observation hockey to sense it, but the use of any ability will definitely leak a certain amount of aura. Therefore, Luo waited until late at night to take action, just to wait for the strong men to fall asleep before taking action. After all, observation hockey is not a spontaneous ability it needs to be used actively. Obviously there are very few strong people on their own ships who can use observation hockey to sense their surroundings at all times. The pirates searched all night, searching every room and corner on the ship. Without the ability to transfer items like teleportation, it would be impossible to escape. After searching all night, the pirates determined that there was no one else on board. Dad, several companions admitted that they went to the kitchen to find food today. There should be no outsiders on the ship. Are you worrying too much? Whitebeard frowned slightly. It seemed that he was overthinking. Finally escaped. Luo finally breathed a sigh of relief. Fortunately, there were many pirates, the movement was huge, and the aura was chaotic, covering up the slightest aura leaked by using the item transfer ability, otherwise it would be really troublesome. Hoo hoo. He took a long breath, and his anxious heart finally calmed down. 
Don't be careless anymore. Learn from your mistakes. Luo knew that having the ability to transfer items was like teleporting, which made him less vigilant, which was not a good sign. This is the Whitebeard Pirates. Once discovered, items can be moved anywhere on the ship. But after all, this is a ship. Its area is not comparable to that of an island, but it is dangerous. Luo hid all his aura and did not reveal any information. At the slightest moment, even the heartbeat and breathing dropped to the lowest level. Advertisement. Dot 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 dot. Dad, how do you deal with Kaido of the beasts? I've tried every means, but I can't kill him at all. Have he been imprisoned all this time? The captains looked at Kaido of the beasts in distress and helplessness. The immortality ability was simply the most rogue ability. Whitebeard was also a little troubled. After finally defeating Kaido of the Beasts, now that he has not recovered from his own injuries, should he let Kaido of the Beasts go after paying such a heavy price? I guess these methods won't be able to imprison Kaido of the Beasts for long, right? After he fully recovers, it will be difficult to save the ship, right? Then let him go. Isn't it too easy for him? Not to mention that the captains were depressed, Whitebeard himself was also depressed. No wonder Beast Boy is brave enough to challenge Lousy alone. It turns out that this is his trump card. He is obviously the winner, but he can't do anything to the loser. It really makes people want to vomit blood. We can't wait for Beast Boy to recover, otherwise he will destroy Lousy's ship, but it's too cheap to let him go. Whitebeard said. Tie him up with the thickest sea stone chains and throw him into the sea. Yes. Are you going to throw it into the sea? Luo's eyes turned purple. He didn't dare to use observation hockey to sense. Although he used observation hockey, using observation hockey was equivalent to actively leaking his own aura. Naturally, others could also use observation hockey to sense Luo. The ability to see through is safer and more convenient. I hope the sea will be your graveyard. Josie carried Kaido of the beasts, who was tied tightly, and threw it hard, falling into the sea. 21%. 56 strip Kaido of the beasts of everything. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Boom. Kaido of the beasts fell into the sea and quickly sank to the bottom of the sea. 100 meters, 200 meters, 500 meters. As it sank rapidly, Luo's expression became nervous. Kaido of the beasts has sunk more than a thousand meters. If we wait any longer, Kaido of the beasts will fall outside the room space. Luo's room space can now reach a maximum circular space of 3,000 meters in diameter. But space has itself as its origin. In other words, it is the center of space, and its radius is naturally only 1,500 meters. The strong ones shouldn't use observation hockey, right? Luo sensed carefully and used observation hockey. In the eyes of other observation hockey owners, it is simply a bright light. If other strong people use observation hockey, Luo should also be able to vaguely sense it. But now he doesn't sense any strong person using observation hockey. Of course, it is not ruled out that the captain's observation hockey are much more powerful than Luo. Already 1,400 meters away. Advertisement. Can't wait any longer. Luo no longer cared about whether he would be exposed. Even if Kaido of the beast's body was exposed, he couldn't lose it. At worst, he would use the entire ship to threaten Whitebeard. No matter how strong he was, this was in the sea, in room space. Luo is definitely no match for Whitebeard. If they fight to the death, it would be difficult for even Marco and Josie to defeat him. But if he wants to hide, it will be difficult for Whitebeard to catch him in a short time. During this time, Luo can control the ship and let it sink into the sea. Room Slaughterhouse. Deep in the sea Kaido of the beasts disappeared instantly, leaving only the sea stone chain that continued to sink into the sea. And Kaido of the Beast suddenly appeared in front of Luo, still unconscious. Hasn't it been discovered? Luo used his clairvoyance ability to pay attention to the movements of the captains. As for Whitebeard, Luo never pried at all. Although clairvoyance ability is an extremely weird ability, top experts are very sensitive to any target. Luo didn't allow himself to make any more mistakes. Pay a lot of attention to make sure it has not been discovered. Scanning. After careful judgment, Luo determined that the soul in the body of Kaido of the Beasts was not his own, but the soul of the dog. As for the soul of Kaido of the Beasts, it had no choice but to disperse as the big dog died without a carrier. Advertisement. One of the four emperors is really dead. 
A generation of legends died silently without anyone knowing. Perhaps this is the most humble way to die. We can no longer let the dog's soul occupy Kaido of the beast's body, otherwise he will be exposed when he wakes up. Luo's sword tip stabbed Kaido of the beast's body, and his mind materialized in the shape of a heart, with a line connecting the heart shape, with the body. Whoa. The sword cut off the connection line, and the mind and body were separated. It's equivalent to now that Kaido of the Beasts is really just a shell. I didn't expect to get everything from Kaido of the Beasts during this trip. Luo Yan Chunin couldn't help but look ecstatic. This is Kaido of the Beasts, one of the four emperors, one of the few top figures in the sea. But now his body and all his strength belong to Luo. You have to make good use of it. Luo took the Kaido of the Beast's body and moved it to the deepest part of the cabin, where it was also the darkest place where it was least likely to be discovered. The rising heartbeat never completely calms down. How to maximize the benefits? Rama stroked his chin. Solving Kaido of the Beasts in this way was also an impromptu decision to take action according to the situation, because the opportunity fell from the sky, how could he not accept it? Advertisement. The easiest way is to send Kaido of the Beasts to the Marine Headquarters and get amazing credit. With such credit, becoming an Admiral is not an exaggeration at all, right? But Luo instantly rejected such a proposal. Admiral position is one of Luo's goals. But the essence of this world is that strength is the most important thing. It is not a good thing to have the position of Admiral when you are not strong enough to be an Admiral. And when you are strong enough, you can become an admiral without any merit, so why waste the body of a four emperors? Moreover, in doing so, he would have to bear the revenge of the entire beast's pirates, and the beneficiary would be marine. Such an approach that would harm himself and benefit others, Luo would not consider at all. Put the soul of a subordinate who you fully trust into the body of Kaido of the beasts, so that you can have a subordinate of four emperors soon. Luo couldn't help but laugh. It seemed that he had no one he could completely trust. Even if he has subordinates who are absolutely loyal to him, will he still be loyal when he has the power of the four emperors? Luo K doesn't believe in human nature. His so-called loyalty is just that he doesn't have the strength to resist. He has the power of the four emperors. Who would choose to surrender to others? Of course you can only enjoy such a good thing. Luo looked at Kaido of the beast's body. Every part seemed to contain endless power. Who wouldn't want the power of the four emperors? If I can enter the body of Kaido of the Beasts, wouldn't I be able to control the power of a four emperors, and also control the power of a four emperors, and reach the top of the sea in one fell swoop? Luo's eyes flashed with ambition. Who wouldn't be tempted by the top level of strength and power? 57 Thanks, bye. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Having everything in Kaido of the Beasts is naturally the best, but, also has the most problems. Once I enter the body of Kaido of the Beasts, how do I return to my own body? Mind transplantation requires op-op fruit ability. Once you enter the body of Kaido of the Beasts, you will naturally have his power and abilities, but you will not be able to possess his own abilities. Op-op fruit abilities cannot be used while inside Kaido of the Beasts. Is it still inside Kaido of the Beasts? This is not a good suggestion. Luo's current strength is definitely not comparable to Kaido of the Beasts. But he is not willing to give up his body and abilities and choose Kaido of the Beasts. Others might choose Kaido of the Beasts. After all, they only need to enter the body of Kaido of the Beasts and instantly possess the power of the four emperors. As for giving up their own body and strength, so what? But Luo shook his head. Kaido of the Beasts possesses the power of the four emperors and is immortal. But one thing is certain from the original work. The kings of the sea in the previous era were Roger, Golden Lion, and Whitebeard. And Red Hair, Kaido of the Beasts, Big Mom, and Blackbeard are the new four emperors. The kings of the next era will definitely be Kid, Luffy and Trafalgar Law. The original Trafalgar Law will definitely end up being one of the kings. But now, everything is far beyond the original work. Luo doesn't think that he is not even as good as the original work. He will definitely become one of the kings and stronger and he just got the thunder fruit and the blackbeard gene. Advertisement. As long as the research is successful and thunder fruit is added, Luo is confident that he will be stronger than Kaido of the Beasts in the future. Kaido of the Beasts has reached the top. Although he is an emperor, he has already stood at the pinnacle of life, and there is no possibility of climbing higher. 
And Luo still has an unlimited future. How could you choose Kaido of the Beasts and give up everything you have worked hard to have now? But it seems too wasteful to give up the body and strength of Kaido of the Beasts like this. Could it be that the body of Kaido of the Beasts can only be used as an experiment? It is such a waste of resources. If you can enter Kaido of the Beasts' body at will and control it, or even control it with your thoughts, and become one of your own clones. Luo's eyes couldn't help but light up. Although it is a bit fanciful, Op Op Fruit already has some control over soul abilities. Covered. It's not impossible. The road ahead, Luo knows what to do. The most important thing is to possess Thunder Fruit, Thunder Fruit plus Op Op Fruit, as well as various development capabilities, and you will soon become an admiral. Secondary. Perfectly control Kaido of the beasts and become one of his clones. At that time, he became an admiral and climbed to a higher path, secretly controlling Kaido of the beasts and mastering the beasts' pirates. Once you have such power, no matter how the times change, you can still stand firm in the world, no, you can control the direction of the times. As for the death of Kaido of the beasts, how will it change the plot in the future? Luo didn't care at all. Being familiar with the plot of the original work seems to be the biggest cheat for time travelers, but Luo has never intended to follow the plot of the original work. If he is strong enough, he can just create his own plot. Only the weak dare not change. The future era is mine. Advertisement. The pirate ship that rides the wind and waves carries the current absolute King Whitebeard, as well as the future king. What is a pirate? Adventure. Treasure hunt. None of this has anything to do with the Whitebeard pirates. Is the danger of the sea considered dangerous to the top pirate group? Baby. Do the Whitebeard pirates need those treasures? So the pirates of the Whitebeard pirates, their attitude towards life is to live a wild and carefree life. Drink wine. Still drink. Keep drinking. Everybody likes to drink. I hope to reach the next island as soon as possible. Luo Luo looked very bored in the dark. He couldn't reveal any aura let alone practice. Although there were too many things waiting for him, he couldn't do it. Fortunately he got the message. The next destination of the Whitebeard Pirates is a large island with a country. The purpose is to supply. After all, the base was destroyed, a pirate ship was destroyed, and the ship had too many supplies that needed to be replenished. Naturally, Luo's purpose was to wait for the opportunity to leave when they docked. He had long been unwilling to hide any more, it was too boring. Especially for those who can't wait to own Thunder Fruit and want to control the power of Kaido of the beast's body, it seems to take a long time. Two days later. Advertisement. A huge island appeared on the horizon. The wine is almost finished. We are finally here. Sons, follow Lousy to the island. Whitebeard carried the huge wine bottle and walked leisurely to the island, followed by the Emperor Pirate. Enter the island. All the pirates dispersed. Some went to bars, some went to casinos, and some went to buy items. Anyway, they all had their own purposes. The arrival of the Whitebeard pirates on the island did not cause much of a sensation, and the people here seemed to be used to it. This is one of the territories of the Whitebeard pirates, and the flag of the Whitebeard pirates is also planted on the island. It's me guarding the ship again. It's so boring. Josie, the captain of the third division, looked at his companions entering the island with envy. Unfortunately, he was assigned to protect the ship, I don't know why dad is so vigilant. Is there anything else here? Is that blind guy coming to sabotage our ship? Actually, I planned to destroy the ship when I left. Listening to what you said, I won't destroy it with my eyes wide open. A hand was put on Josie's shoulder. Well, I can't afford the boat fare. Please carry me here, thank you. Josie's shoulder was patted by those hands. You. Josie looked dumbfounded at the guy in black robe 3.6 next to him. Isn't this guy the damn marine from before? Shouldn't he die on the island? Why is he here? Has he been on the ship these days? How can it be? You bastard. Josie roared angrily, covered in diamonds, and punched Luo with his fist. Haha. Ha. They're all gone. Why bother fighting and killing? The voice came from the port. People were coming and going in the port. Luo, dressed in black robe, easily lifted a huge box, a box bigger than a house. The other hand waved. Goodbye. P.S. The first update is on the shelves. The old rule is that there are at least eight updates on the first day of release, which is a guarantee of eight updates. If the results are better, it will naturally continue to explode. 
The more subscribers there are, the more updates there will be. Please subscribe. Please subscribe automatically. 58 Return. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Call out. Before Chowsey's roar could be heard, Luo in the crowd had already disappeared. That bastard. Furious, Josie rushed towards the port, his roar echoing in the city. What's wrong? Among the captains who had recently entered the island was Whitebeard, who frowned slightly. They all rushed to the port. Josie, what happened? The first one to arrive was the Phoenix, which flew over. Kick, kick, kick. The captains and Whitebeard come back here from all over. Dad, that damn Marine is not dead. Marine. They were all stunned for a moment. Where is Marine here? Marine dares to come. Marine. Marcos' dead eyes suddenly widened. There seems to be only one Marine who was related to him during this period, but shouldn't he be buried on the island? Even if he is not dead, it shouldn't be here either. It's the mysterious Marine. I saw him walk out of our ship with my own eyes, and then leave in style. Josie said angrily. He actually let the other party use our ship as a back garden, and he could come and go as he pleased. It's a shame. Advertisement. Lousy has always felt that there are outsiders on the ship, but he didn't expect it to be true. Whitebeard laughed. As Marine so brave now. How dare you board Lousy's ship, are you not afraid that you won't be able to get off? Dad, let's go after him. A Marine dares to be so arrogant. Yes, he must still be on this island. The pirates roared indignantly. Chasing. Whitebeard looked at the city distress Edley. This was a large island with a population of hundreds of thousands or even nearly a million, and this island was a must-pass for several routes. Hundreds of ships pass by and back every day. If you don't even know who the other person is or what he looks like, how can you pursue him? By the way, Dad, when the other party left, he was carrying a huge box and stole something from us. Ziz said anxiously. What? The pirate became even more angry and dared to steal. Inquire immediately what is missing from the ship. Yes. There were many important things on the ship. The pirates hurriedly boarded the ship to search. After a long search, the captains finally concluded that there was nothing missing at all. If they had to say that they had lost something, it was just a huge loss. Just a box. Just take away a box. There's nothing missing. What's so valuable about a box? There must be something in the box, but it doesn't belong to our captain. Yu Huzi couldn't imagine what was in the box. Although it is difficult to find the other party, you can't do nothing. Let's check. Whitebeard waved his hand, and all the pirates rushed into the city. It seems that a great person has appeared in Marine. From the sound of his voice, he seems to be young. One day he will know his identity. Whitebeard observation hockey sense the whole city. I want to see if I still have the courage to come. So crazy. The pirates were searching throughout the city not letting go of anyone with suspicion. Advertisement. But Luo is no longer on the island. How is it possible to find out? Now Luo has left the island on a merchant ship bound for the first half of the great route, and his method of getting on board must have been subtle. Of course now he would not choose to hide in the dark. If you can't defeat Whitebeard, why can't you deal with the boss of a merchant ship? Easily defeat all the soldiers, order the boss, and head for the Grand Route Any's lobby. Can't beat it. I can't afford to mess with my identity. The boss of the merchant ship had no choice but to be obedient. A few days have passed, and the news of the end of the battle between Whitebeard and Kaido of the Beasts has spread throughout the sea. The result was not surprising. Although they were all four emperors, almost everyone believed that the final winner was Whitebeard, but the members of Beasts Pirates were not worried about the safety of their emperor at all. Eni's lobby. The CP9 members are also back. The atmosphere was a bit heavy. Spandam looked at CP9 and kept roaring. Why didn't you stop him? Why did you let him die? Don't you know that if he dies, I may die too? Spandam died immediately, but the prerequisite for his death was to take back his heart. We can't stop his actions at all. Lu Chi said indifferently. Advertisement. Maybe he won't die. Khalifa said. He is very strong. He can fight against Marco without losing. What if he can protect himself? It's ridiculous. If you can block Marco's attack in a short time, can you beat Marco? What's more, there is a monster like Whitebeard. He is qualified to protect himself. There has been no news for so long. He must be dead. Spandam roared. 
Would it be possible that Lousy's heart can't be found? Isn't it that you're not dead yet? It proves that your heart is fine. Maybe it is hidden in a place where no one knows and will never be destroyed. In this way, his death is good for you, at least we at Eni's lobby are not controlled by the other party, Jabra said. Spandam's angry expression relaxed. This is all I can do to comfort myself. Is this the purpose of his solo break into the Whitebeard Pirates? Calm down. Spandam looked at the 460 mysterious box brought back by CP9. The box not only has the function of cooling like a refrigerator, but the sealed box is also filled with a green mysterious viscous liquid. What is soaked in it is naturally Blackbeard's flesh and blood. Yes. CP9 nodded helplessly. He didn't know why a piece of human flesh was worth fighting for with all his strength, even risking his life. A piece of meat, Lousy may die at any time in the future, throw him away. Spandam said angrily, because this piece of meat made Lousy's heart missing, damn it. No more waiting. This is something he strictly ordered to keep. If he throws it away, if he comes back. T-C-H. Does he still have a chance to come back? You jumped into hell and you want to climb out. Throw him away. Spandam picked up the box and walked towards the window. Throw him away, and I will cut off all the flesh on your body piece by piece and feed it to the dogs. The cold voice made Spandam tremble all over. This sound was his nightmare. You. The CP9 members looked at the figure that suddenly appeared in the room. Although the black robe covered everything, they were sure that it was him. How can it be? A character who was deemed completely dead by the Marine headquarters actually came back. 59 is really back. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Bring it here. Luo opened his black robe and crushed Spandam with murderous intent. The latter was trembling all over. Sir, are you back? Spandam was scared and happy. He rolled and crawled to Luo's feet, his flattering smile really looked like a dog. Luo's cold eyes glanced at Spandam, who collapsed on the ground in fear. He took the box and said, it seems that when I come back, you are all surprised and don't want me to come back. No, 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 how is that possible? We welcome you with both hands and a warm welcome when you come back, but we didn't expect. Spandam smiled fawningly. I just didn't expect that I would come back alive. Spandam smiled flatteringly, not daring to answer. Although this is indeed what I think in my heart, I don't dare to nod. Isn't that looking for death? He's actually back. CP9 looked at Luo with dull eyes. They saw Luo being chased by Marco and surrounded by the entire Whitebeard pirates. How could he still come back in such a desperate situation? How can it be? Is he strong enough to fight against the entire Whitebeard pirates alone? It's absolutely impossible. You can't find such a person in the sea. It will be of great use to me to completely clear out the three underground floors of the Tower of Justice. I will immediately collect the most high-end medical equipment. Doctors from the top of the entire sea will come to me to find them. I need a large number of human test subjects and more than ten devil fruits. Luo ordered directly. He had no choice but to start studying Blackbeard's genetic cells. Advertisement. Urgently want to know the secret of Kaido of the beast's body. After witnessing the Emperor's war, Luo's pursuit of strength became even more intense. Although he had toyed with the Whitebeard pirates once, at most he could secretly use his strength to play with the Whitebeard pirates, and that was worthy of praise. The bottom floor of the Tower of Justice is where prisoners are held. We have no way of ordering the doctor at the top of the sea, and human experiments. Spandam said distress Edley. I'm not here to listen to your troubles, but to give orders. If you can't do it, then find someone else to do it. It's a luxury for a useless guy to be a dog. Luo said coldly. The Ennies lobby is so big, you can do it anywhere. To detain prisoners, top-notch medical equipment can be obtained naturally from Ennies lobby by applying to the world government. Doctors at the top of the sea can do it by using some means, forcing or directly capturing them. Ennies lobby is a court, and there are constantly prisoners. Come to the trial, it is easy to obtain human experiment products, and with the rights of Ennies lobby, it is not difficult to obtain ordinary devil fruit. That's the benefit of rights. Otherwise, no matter how strong one is, it will take a lot of energy to obtain these. Spandam said with a sad face, saying that, but it is not that simple to do it well. Didn't you hear your lord's order? Go and carry it out immediately. 
All the famous doctors in the sea are invited to come. If they don't want to come, they will be charged with crimes and arrested by me. In the future, 30% of the prisoners who will come to Eni's lobby for trial will be stay and immediately ask Marine to modify the equipment structure on the three underground floors of the Tower of Justice. Spandam issued the order to CP9. Yes, CP9 still looked stiff. They still find it difficult to accept the fact that Luo Neng can come back. It's unbelievable. How did he escape? Lu Qi couldn't figure it out. If he was in that situation, he knew that there would be no chance of survival. It seems that Arani's lobby is controlled by an amazing big man. Khalifa's eyes showed admiration. In the room, Spandam slumped on the sofa. Advertisement. What is that devil going to do? Spandam didn't dare to speculate on Luo's purpose. His life was in the hands of others, so he could only obey. It's better to report the news here to the Marine headquarters first. Picked up the phone bug. Marine headquarters. Sengoku. No news has come back yet. Zephyr looked at Sengoku expectantly. He has been coming to the marine building several times a day these past few days just to know the latest news. Sengoku shook his head helplessly. The battle between Whitebeard and Kaido of the Beasts has ended for five days, but there is no news about Trafalgar Law. Tisk tisk tisk. Teacher Zephyr, you are really persistent. You have never cared so much about us before. It's so strange. What is it about this Zinli that makes you worthy of doing this, Teacher Zephyr? Taizichi asked while sitting on the sofa. Shut up. Kazaru. Zephyr. Don't be impatient. I will tell you as soon as there is definite news. Sengoku comforted, but in his heart, Trafalgar Law was already dead, and died among the Whitebeard pirates. Even if there is news, also death news. Quote dot dot dot. I'm afraid it's just news of death. I haven't heard of anyone breaking into the Whitebeard pirates and surviving Marine. Kazaru. I told you to shut up. Beep beep beep. Suddenly, the phone on Sengoku's desk rang. Spandam. What? Trafalgar Law is back, Sengoku exclaimed. What? Zephyr also exclaimed and snatched the phone away. Spandam, what exactly happened? Kazaru couldn't help but come closer. Advertisement. Okay. Great. After learning this, Zephyr couldn't help laughing. I was sure that Luo must have a way to protect himself and escape, and I was not disappointed. Really left. Kazaru opened his mouth in surprise. A recruit left the Whitebeard Pirates. Are you sure this isn't fake? How did you do it? Sengoku was puzzled. Even if Trafalgar Law is as good as Zephyr said, a recruit who has just grown up, no matter how good he is, has a limit, right? Can he do such an incredible thing? Ha ha ha. Zephyr's laughter never stopped. Put Trafalgar Law on the phone. Sengoku wanted to know what happened and what conditions could save a recruit from certain death. Can a recruit really accomplish a feat that even an admiral would find difficult to accomplish? Is recruit better than admiral? How is that possible? Even the Buddha Sengoku, who is called the resourceful general, cannot figure it out. Robin is an incredible guy. I'm not surprised at all. Zephyr said proudly. Kazaru, didn't you just swear that you couldn't come back? Now what else do you have to say? Kazaru laughed dryly. A few minutes later. The voice on the other end of the phone came again. I'm Trafalgar Law. 60 Start Experiment. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Trafalgar Law. How did you escape from the Whitebeard Pirates? What exactly happened that day? Tell me all the details. Sengoku said quickly. He was eager to know how all this was done. That day, I was chased by Marco. I had to enter the island as a last resort, and then hid until the end of the battle between the two emperors. Finally, Kaido of the Beasts was captured by Whitebeard, and I had been hiding on the island. A day later, a ship passing by, I took the opportunity to leave by boat. How could Luo tell others those details? Whether it's Thunderfruit and Blackbeard's cell genes, or Kaido of the Beasts' shell. This is Luo's biggest secret and his trump card in the future. He will not tell anyone. Huh, Sengoku was confused. It's that simple. I thought that such a thrilling event must have a twists and turns, but it turned out to be so ordinary. It's so strange. Being chased by Marco, you can still hide yourself. Kazaru said strangely. I'm faster than Marco. Marco has a rare ability to fly. Except for me, I can definitely say that he is faster than him. It seems that no one else in the sea has such a great ambition, right? Kazaru said. What if I'm faster than you? 
Luo said coldly. With Luo's current strength of 477, there is no need to fear Admiral. Even if he is defeated, he still has a certain resistance. What's more, Luo believes that he will soon become a strong admiral and surpass it. Faster than me, speed is the most proud thing about Kazaru. He smiled disdainfully. Who dares to say that he is faster than me? He is really overestimating his abilities. Advertisement. Marshal Sengoku, I have something else to do. I'll hang up first. Luo became the first person to take the initiative to hang up the call of Marshal Sengoku, and he did so as a recruit, the lowest status facing the highest status. Sengoku's mouth twitched and he smiled a few times, what a proud guy. Whether they believe it or not, Luo's lack is indeed back. I escaped by hiding. My courage and wit are better than recruit, but I can't call him a miracle. Kazaru said contemptuously. Eni's lobby. One month later, a large amount of medical equipment was escorted to the Eni's lobby, and the three ground floors of the Tower of Justice were completely transformed. There are nearly 10,000 Marines as a labor force, and everything is completed at an extremely fast speed without considering the materials. The bottom three floors are covered with steel, especially the gate connecting to the ground, which weighs dozens of tons. Even Eni's lobby CP9 with the highest combat power can't even think of breaking through this iron gate. The first floor is set up as a laboratory. This floor is prepared for top doctors. Their task is naturally to study the secrets of Blackbeard and Kaido of the beast cell genes here, but Luo will let them divide their labors differently, and each of them will study different aspects. Keeping them from peeking into the real heart of the experiment. And Luo was ready to complete the core experiment himself. The second floor is Luo's own laboratory. It is a completely enclosed space with no door. Only Luo can enter it through the ability to transfer objects. The entire second floor wall is made of steel and is several meters thick. It is difficult to break through the elite vice admiral in a short time. Advertisement. The bottom floor is also a completely enclosed space, which is the final experiment. It is also where the body of Kaido of the beasts for security is located, and where Luo researches and develops his abilities. Absolute protection. Your mission is to study the cellular genes that are different from ordinary people. Luo pointed to the cellular genes in the two instruments on the experimental bench, which naturally belong to Blackbeard and Kaido of the Beasts. Next to it are dozens of cell genes extracted from ordinary people. Yes, more than a dozen of Dahai's top doctors nodded. They all came here under coercion and inducement. Even if they didn't come, CP9 would make them sinners and then capture them justifiably, CCBF. Luo's condition for letting them serve is that if the research is successful, not only will they be released, but each of them will be rewarded with at least 100 million belly. Research it. Top doctors took action. The medical equipment is all of the highest quality. The pirate world is very different from the earth, and many technologies are very different from the earth. The pirate world of guns, missiles and ships is definitely not as good as the earth, but the technology of transforming humans and robots is higher than the earth. As for medical technology, the pirate world is not much worse than the Earth. There are also equipment such as microscopes. The cell nucleus is actually a hundred times smaller than that of ordinary people, and the division speed is more than a hundred times faster than that of ordinary people. A top doctor looked at the cells of Kaido of the Beasts under the microscope in horror. Doesn't it mean that the number of cells of Kaido of the Beasts is a hundred times more than that of ordinary people? The strength of the cytoplasm is a hundred times stronger than that of ordinary people. Advertisement. Is this why Kaido of the Beasts has amazing defense and powerful self-healing ability? Luo frowned and thought deeply. What kind of cell is this? It can actually engulf other cells. A doctor looked at Blackbeard's cells under the microscope in horror. The gene chain is completely different from that of ordinary people. Is he still a human? He was not involved in these initial studies. After these researchers have successfully studied all the initial problems, Luo's task is to study the core part. Room. Luo instantly reached the bottom. Looking at Kaido of the Beast's body soaked in nutrient solution. How can we perfectly control the body of Kaido of the Beast's? How can the soul switch between Kaido of the Beast's and our own body at will? How can we control Kaido of the Beast's with our thoughts and make him a perfect clone of ourselves? The above-mentioned research by the researchers will not produce results in a short period of time. Luo temporarily devoted his energy to developing this ability. Ooh, on the shelf next to them, 
Two prisoners who were bound and gagged struggled and looked at Luo pleadingly. They were pirates and should have been sent to impel down after trial, but now they are human experiment subjects. Room. Transplant. Luo stabbed the two prisoners in the air with the tip of his sword, and his heart-shaped soul burst out of his body. There was a line connecting his soul and body. Transplantation is the exchange of souls. The connection between the soul and the body is temporarily disconnected. If this line is kept constant, will it enter someone else's body and be connected to your own body at the same time? Can you come back at any time? 61 The Final Experiment Previous Chapter Next Chapter Advertisement Cooperate with the experiment. Once it succeeds, you will be free. Luo said to the prisoners. Yes. The prisoner nodded obediently, not daring to ask about the result of the failed experiment. There is still a glimmer of hope for survival with cooperation, but there is no glimmer of hope at all. Transplant. Luo transplanted a prisoner's mind into the body of Kaido of the beasts, but did not let him disconnect the mind and body. It was like there was a line connecting the mind and the prisoner's body. Can you control your current body? Luo took out his notebook and asked. No one answered. Kaido of the beasts isn't breathing, let alone opening his eyes. Can't it succeed? Luo re-transplanted the prisoner's mind into his body. How I felt just now. It seems that I have entered a closed dark space without any five senses. The prisoner described the frightening situation just now. After Luo wrote down these words, he asked again, can it return to one's own body? I don't feel anything. I'm completely trapped and can't leave at all. Let's rest first. After writing down the failure experience, Luo frowned and thought deeply, is it really not that simple to succeed? Then how to develop it? He grabbed his hair in distress. It is extremely difficult and painful to develop an ability, especially this kind of weird ability. If the soul leaves the body on its own, can it be freely used in Kaido of Kaido? Switch between the beasts and yourself. It's troublesome. Luo rubbed his head. Too many ideas, too many experiments, too many ideas. It can't be like this. He got out of the crowd and said, it's not realistic to bite off more than you can chew. It's simply unrealistic to quickly complete every goal. It's better to concentrate on defeating one experiment first. It's faster and easier to do it. Then break the secret of Blackbeard cell genes first. Luo's most important thing is naturally the development and future of his own strength. Advertisement. Put Kaido of the Beasts aside for now. Come to the second floor laboratory. Start studying the mysteries of Blackbeard cells. The top scientific researchers, under Luo's orders, are now mainly studying Blackbeard gene cells. Normal people have 23 pairs of gene chains, and the arrangement of the gene chains is extremely complicated. However, the experimental product has only three pairs of gene chains. The complexity of the gene arrangement is actually more than 10 times that of ordinary people. I am very curious about who would have such a gene coming from. First experiment. Disrupt 1% of the genetic sequence of the test product. Top doctors have obtained various data through various experiments. Ordinary people's gene chain is disrupted by 1%, and a genetic mutation has occurred. The arrangement of the gene chain is completely changed. The experimental product disrupts the arrangement by 1%, and it actually recovers on its own. The second test disrupted 2% of the gene arrangement. Still recovering on its own. Third experiment. Still, after counting all the arrangements of the gene chain, is there any pattern? Huge amounts of data are constantly being recorded. Second experiment. The cell nucleus is larger than normal. Cells have the ability to eat each other. Second experiment first. Implantation of other experimental cells. Being swallowed. A large number of other experimental cells were implanted. Advertisement. Still devoured. In an ordinary experimental subject, one cell of the test article is implanted. Totally devoured. The third experiment. Various data obtained through multiple studies were finally passed to Luo's hands. The data shows that the Blackbeard gene chain cannot be changed at all. No matter how it is disrupted, will it eventually recover? Cells have the ability to engulf other cells. Any unfavorable cells will be engulfed. Is it exclusive? Luo frowned and thought deeply. He came to the experimental table and looked at the Blackbeard cells under the microscope. Is this the secret of his body? More massive data are needed to support such a judgment. Luo still has some spare time for the time being. When he was free, 
All he could think about was experiments, but he never gave up on practicing. There was an exercise room next to the laboratory, where Luo spent his free time practicing with extreme weights and exercising his body. Experiment 32. Top doctors researched from all aspects to find out the difference between blackbeard cell genes and ordinary people, and massive data were compiled. The data all point to one conclusion. Blackbeard cell genes are exclusive and unchangeable, and have the ability to autonomously phagocytose any unfavorable cells. Please give me flowers. It's time to really experiment. On the second floor, Luo was alone, wearing sterile surgical clothes, and picked up the test tube, while the operating table was occupied by a comatose prisoner. Implant blackbeard cells first. Cells cultured in test tubes are implanted into the prisoner's body. Room. The space covers the operating table. Next, disrupt the genes of the experimental subject, and then arrange them bit by bit, exactly the same as the arrangement of the blackbeard cell gene chain. This is an extremely painful and troublesome operation. It is so tiny that it cannot be operated on. Only op op fruit can perform such cell genetic surgery. Advertisement. One day one night, Luo worked for a whole day and night, and finally completely changed the genetic chain arrangement of the experimental subject. The next task is naturally to observe the changes in the experimental body and record the data. 12 and 3% of the cells have been swallowed up, and there are no mutations in the gene chain for the time being. 13.4% of the cells were devoured, but there is still no mutation in the gene chain. Cells are. In three hours, Luo's expression changed slightly. The experimental subject's gene chain had undergone a mutation, its arrangement was completely changed, and the blackbeard cells implanted in the body had a fierce conflict with the experimental subject's cells. The final result was that the experimental subject screamed and died. Failed. Luo looked at the recorded data. Filling in the gaps. Ten days later. Second experiment. The arrangement of the gene chain is chaotic and constantly changing, and the medical treatment fails. The third experiment. Failed. The sixteenth experiment. Failed. Experiment 28. The cells have completely merged with the blackbeard cells, and the gene chain arrangement has been completely stabilized. Is it successful? After too many failures, Luo has become numb. While waiting nervously, did he finally show a smile? Was the transformation finally successful? But we still need to wait for the final experimental test. A week later, Luo was completely sure that the experimental body had been transformed successfully. Then the next step is the final experiment. Luo took out two devil fruits. Will it be successful if the test subjects eat it at the same time? 62 Eat Thunder Fruit. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Devil fruit is a treasure from the sea, and many people flock to it. With the power of Eni's lobby, it is not difficult to collect some devil fruit with poor abilities. The subject ate one. The second subject gritted his teeth and refused to eat anything. Everyone knows that eating two devil fruits will lead to death, but in the end Luo forced them into his mouth. Will it be successful? Luo observed the experimental subject screaming in despair. Bang! The experimental subject suddenly exploded and died. Did you fail? Luo rubbed his brow in distress. Feeling a little tired, he teleported to the ground and walked towards Spandam's office. Prepare more devil fruit, the more the better. Ah, uh, my lord! Eni's lobby has been desperately looking for more than a dozen devil fruits this year. Isn't that enough? Spandam cried with a 513 face. Devil fruit is not so easy to get. Especially lots of devil fruit. And my lord, the world government has just sent an order for CP9 to perform a special task and go to the water city to find clues about the ancient weapon Pluton. At least half of the CP9 members will leave temporarily, making it even more difficult to find devil fruit. Spandam begged. That's your business. If not, I'll ask you. Luo Li left. Every experiment would waste two devil fruits, which was very costly. By the way, it doesn't matter who goes to the water city to perform the task, but Khalifa stays and she still takes care of my food, clothing, housing and transportation. Yes, sir. Spandam looked at Luo Yuan's back and almost cried. This year, we need both people and devil fruit. When will it be the end? They have hidden dozens of prisoners secretly. If this continues, Marine and the world government will find out sooner or later. Spandam wanted to cry. Eni's lobby is only a place for trial, but not a place for prisoners. Once the world government finds out, 
Any's lobby secretly hides prisoners, which is a big mistake, but in a short time, I will probably ask a large number of prisoners, what should I do? Spandam is so worried that his hair is almost falling out. After the break, advertisement. Luo entered the laboratory again. Continue. It means to keep experimenting, keep getting wrong data, and eventually you will get the correct answer. Second experiment. Bang. After half a month of various efforts, the experimental subject still exploded to death after eating the devil fruit. Fail. The third experiment. Failed. The ninth experiment. Failed. There are only the last two devil fruits left. Although Eni's lobby tried its best to find devil fruit, it couldn't help Luo's consumption. There were only two devil fruits left in his hand. If it still failed, the next experiment would have to wait for a while. Time. Hold your breath. The twelfth experiment. Luo began to record the various data generated in this experiment in the notebook. 1. At the same time, Luo forced the subject to eat the second devil fruit. After getting so much wrong data and correcting so much, it's time to succeed, right? A second passed. Two seconds passed. Three seconds passed. In the quiet laboratory, the heartbeats of Luo and the experimental subject were so clear. The tense atmosphere seemed to have solidified. Advertisement. A minute passed. Didn't the body explode? Luo's eyes lit up, and he hurriedly studied the genetic conditions of various cells in the experimental subject, which were still very stable. I'm not dead. The subject's eyes widened like a fool. He ate two devil fruits, but I didn't die. Ha ha. I knew I was different from ordinary people. I actually ate two devil fruits and didn't die. Ha ha. Ha ha. Congratulation. Luo Yi also smiled. In the past two years, he had conducted various experiments and failed more than a hundred times. Has he finally succeeded? Has he finally gained something? Try both of your abilities. Roar. The experimental subject roared, and his body swelled into a huge body. Two feet were born from his head, and he turned into an antelope. The devil fruit he ate was the zone antelope fruit. But the experimental subject in the form of an antelope does not have hair growing all over its body, but dry and rough skin, covered with horny scales, which is the skin of a lizard. The second devil fruit is also in the form of a zone lizard. Very good. Luo couldn't help but clapped his hands and applauded, the perfect experimental body. One month later, it was completely confirmed that there would be no problems with the experimental subject, and that it really had two abilities perfectly. Luo couldn't help but smile. Having two abilities, I can have more abilities in the future, such as seven warlords of the sea, four emperors, and finally I will be the final king. The experimental subject laughed arrogantly. Unique abilities, I can only be the king. Wong. It's a pity that I don't have a chance. What? The experimental subject's pupils shrank sharply, and a cold light flashed across his neck. This kind of ability is enough for me. Luo Lang looked at the corpse that was completely cremated into powder. After the ashes are scattered into the sea, they return to the laboratory. One more success is needed. One success Luo didn't dare to be careless enough to transform his body. Fortunately, in January, Eni's lobby got two more devil fruits. Advertisement. You can experiment again. One month later. Luo was finally completely sure that he could perfectly transform his body, and that the transformed body could perfectly possess two devil fruit abilities. The corpses were also destroyed. It's my turn. Luo himself lay on the experimental table and transformed his body. This will be a more difficult surgery. Start. After dozens of failures in the past, Luo was already familiar with body modification, but that was to transform other people's bodies, and this time it was to transform his own body, which was several times more difficult. This can be done perfectly in 3.8 days. But this time, it took Luo three full days and three nights to transform his body. He didn't dare to make any mistakes in any small details, and he always concentrated on it. This is a long and troublesome process. Three days later, Luo, who was too exhausted to even walk off the operating table, finally transformed his body perfectly, with changes in his cells and genes. Luo may be negligent during the experiment. But when he transformed himself, he did not dare to be negligent in order to prevent any mistakes. After transforming his body, he spent a full month observing various data of his body. After obtaining 100% perfect transformation data, he finally took out the data that had been collected for two years. 
Year of Devil Fruit. Logia Thunder Fruit. This moment has finally come. He opened his mouth and gently bit down a piece of Thunder Fruit pulp. 63 The Power of Terror. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Law ate the Thunder Fruit quickly. The room space always covers the entire laboratory, and the blade is always pointed at itself. The ability has been prepared for a long time. If anything goes wrong, Luo will instantly use the ability to let his mind enter the body of Kaido of the beasts. Although each experiment was presented perfectly, no one can guarantee 100% success. If it really fails, the result will be death by explosion, but it is really death. If that moment, there is no choice but to enter Kaido of the beasts and use his body to survive. Of course this is a last resort option. Bang bang bang. The heartbeat sounded so clearly in the absolutely quiet space. Every pore was closed, and Luo, with sweat on his forehead, was always feeling any subtle changes in his body. Was it successful? One second. Two seconds. E.D. Time passes so slowly, and every time the clock on the wall moves, it makes people's scalp numb. The second hand finally went through a long circle, and one minute passed. Successful. A smile spread across Luo's lips, and he finally succeeded. Looking at his hands, the sound of wild laughter finally came out and echoed in the laboratory for a long time. After two years of hard work, hundreds of failures, and countless days and months, I finally succeeded. Advertisement. Finally got thunder fruit, finally got a second ability. Luo raised his fingertips, and the blade hanging on the wall instantly fell into his right hand. With his left hand straightened, the blade slashed toward the arm without hesitation. Whoosh. The blade swiped across the arm and severed it. Zilla. The broken arm turned into thunder and lightning in the air, and arcs flashed at the fractured area. Thunder and lightning flashed in the air, quickly gathering at the broken arm, and in an instant, a new arm was formed. Logia's most eye-catching and dazzling ability is naturalization. Now, who can stop me? His stern eyes showed disdain for the entire sea. Zilla. Luo collapsed instantly, turned into lightning, and hit the steel wall. Steel naturally conducts electricity. Luo no longer left the closed laboratory with the ability to teleport, but returned to the ground with the ability to transform into lightning. I don't know how much lightning power I have. With the top abilities of the sea, everyone can't wait to experience it. Draw your gun and raise your gun. Silver metal guns pointed at the street. Having just acquired the thunder fruit, Luo had countless thunder and lightning attack methods in his mind, but it was obviously impossible to use them instantly after he had just acquired them, and it would take time to develop them. But Luo has the ability to realize the benefits of thunder fruit immediately. In the past, the power of the high-energy electromagnetic gun he owned was difficult to increase due to the current and voltage, but now that he has thunder fruit, these are no longer a problem. Everyone, get out of my way. Standing at the end of the street, Luo pointed his gun at the street ahead. Advertisement. And there are quite a few marines on the streets. Who is he? Is he also marine? Why do you want us to get out of the way? How dare you, a guy you don't even know, to get us out of the way with just a gun? Naive. This is Eni's lobby, if you dare to shoot, are you looking for death? The marines looked at it mockingly. What's going on? Spandam in the office heard the noise coming from the street, opened the window and cursed angrily. What's the point of making noise? Do you all want to be tried? There was a sudden silence. Spandam has the highest power and status in Eni's lobby. That guy is still standing there. Didn't you hear that Master Spandam is angry? Is he looking for death? The Marines looked at Luo at the end of the street with ridicule. With such a dazzling location, Spandam naturally quickly noticed it. Who is that? What are you doing standing there? Don't you think? He is an adult. The majestic Spandam instantly turned into a slave, and rushed in front of Luo as fast as possible, smiling flatteringly. Is it quite impressive? How can I? I am managing Eni's lobby for you, right? Spandam smiled flatteringly. Let them move away, or they will die. Luo pointed his gun at the marines on the street. You rubbish, why don't you get out of here? How dare you stand still when the adults ask you to go away? Do you want to get into Impel Down? Spandam roared at Marine. Remember, whoever dares to disobey the adults will be directly executed to death. Yes. Marine crawled away from the street, and the lively street suddenly became deserted. He is actually called. Sir. By Spandam. 
Is he a high-ranking official in the world government? Or is he a strong Marine? It doesn't look like that at all. Marine looked at Luo with confusion. He was so young and embarrassed, how could he be a strong man or a high-ranking official? With one gun, if you don't get out of the way, can it still kill us all? It's nothing to make a fuss about. Ziz. Advertisement. Arcs of electricity flashed across the pistol. Luo loaded the lightning power he could use at this time to the maximum extent, loaded it on the pistol, and then used the op op fruit ability to change the current into an electromagnetic gun. Boom. Bullets wrapped in lightning shot out. The terrifying speed left a clear afterimage in the air, like a beam of light passing through. A trace instantly spread to the other end of the street and bombarded the second city wall. At this time, the concrete floor of the street where the 817 bullet was fired was instantly dug into a ravine, and the terrifying strong winds produced in the aftermath tore apart all the houses on both sides of the street. The wind howled. Spandam was dumbfounded, and all the marines who backed away became like statues. The several meter thick city wall collapsed instantly under the bullets. Dozens of meters of the city wall disappeared, leaving a huge gap. There was only that dull expression in the strong wind. Big. Dot big. Sir, is this a bullet? Spandam opened his mouth as wide as possible. What kind of bullet has such power? This power is comparable to the power of a hundred cannonballs. Am I dreaming? Bullets can be so powerful. Monster. Marine looked at Luo with fear and respect. He was obviously a strong man, and a super strong one at that. The power increased tenfold in an instant. Sure enough, Thunder Fruit helped me a lot. Luo couldn't help but smile. Admiral strength is at your fingertips. Pull the wrench again. My lord, my ancestors, you can't shoot anymore. If you shoot again, Eni's lobby will disappear. I beg you, please don't use your powers again. Eni's lobby is only so big. I can't bear your torment, my lord. Spandam knelt down and begged. After a few more visits, Eni's lobby was gone. 64 Angry Ace. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Where is the nearest desert island? Luo also realized that he really shouldn't use his abilities in Eni's lobby. He was not thinking about Eni's lobby, but he didn't want so many people to watch. But can't wait to continue experimenting with his abilities and developing thunder fruit abilities. 300 miles northwest, there is a large desert island. Spandam said quickly. Prepare the boat. Yes. He put away his gun, waved his hand casually, and a sword blade appeared out of thin air in his hand, put it into the scabbard, and walked forward. Along the way, the dumbfounded marines watched Luo leave. It took a long time before too many gasps and exclamations broke out, especially when they saw the broken ground and broken city wall, they were even more shocked. Are the CP9 members still performing missions in the water city? Luo didn't have much interest in the ancient weapon Pluton. To build such a warship, Eni's lobby didn't have that much energy and couldn't hide it. Finally, it is not made for world government. Luo was interested in the original, Proverbs of the Ark, in which the thunder and lightning created by Enel were used as the driving force. Not only does it have the ability to fly, but it can also further enhance the power of thunder fruit, allowing it to use the, thunder welcome, and, thousand thunder, moves. These are all attacks that can destroy an island in one move. With a group of indigenous people able to produce it, and with the water city's shipbuilding technology that surpasses the sea, Enel will definitely be able to create a more perfect, arc proverb. Luchi, led by Kaku and others, are still lurking in the water capital. When I come back, I will have orders for them to execute. Yes. When we walked to the shore, the warship was ready and the equipment on board was completely ready. By the way, where are the remaining CP9 members? Why are there no traces of them? Not all CP9 members are lurking in the water city, nearly half of them are still left. Advertisement. Jabra led the team to carry out the task issued by the world government to investigate the supernova spark fist ace who emerged this year, to investigate how harmful he is to the world government, and whether he can cooperate with him. Spandam said. Fire fist ace. Luo stopped, a little surprised. What's the matter, sir? No. Luo didn't expect Fire Fist Ace to go to sea. Time flies so fast. So it was less than three years since Luffy went to sea. Unknowingly, Luo Kai discovered that he had been in the pirate world for eight years. Already 21 years old. But he is still an unknown person in the sea. 
With my current strength, I am at least at the upper middle level of seven warlords of the sea. Once I master the thunder fruit ability and improve the op op fruit abilities, my strength will explode greatly, right? Luo Zui couldn't help but with a smile. In the past two years, I have focused almost all my energy on experiments. Although I have not forgotten to practice, after all, I have not improved as fast as if I practiced wholeheartedly. But having thunder fruit is definitely worth it. After I completely control thunder fruit and further enhance the power of op op fruit, it's time for me to dig up. Luo's eyes stern. With such strength, he is still unknown. Among the marines, people who know Luo can only count him on their hands. It's really too low key. It seems that I am about to graduate. So, at that time, the sea should become my stage. Standing on the bow of the ship, looking at the entire sea, Luo Wei would not forget the second time he entered the recruitment camp. Picture. But he said he would break all the legendary records in the recruiting camp. Can it be done? Absolutely. Advertisement. Call out. The warship took Luo and headed for the desert island. And marine hundreds of miles away. The Eni's lobby warship encountered a pirate ship. Jabra. We are just collecting information about the harm the spade pirates pose to the world government and judging whether he can become the seven warlords of the sea. No need for direct contact, right? Fukuro Odanashi held Jabra tightly. That's a fire fist. Ace, this year's supernova, don't be impulsive. Huh, so what about supernova? We're not even new, how strong can we be? Don't forget, that gentleman has been asking us to collect prisoners. There are no prisoners in any's lobby anymore. Isn't it the best target in front of us? It's a pirate after all. So what if I'm caught? Jabra said coldly. Do you want to bear the wrath of an adult? Dot dot quote. Thinking of Luo's methods and terror, Odanashi Fukuro let go. The warship quickly approached the spade pirates. Boss Ace, there's Marine. No, it's any's lobby CP9. It's boring. Even any's lobby wants to arrest me. Fire Fist Ace curled his lips in disdain. I'm not that easy to bully. Moonwalk. As he approached, Jabra quickly rushed to the pirate group. Newcomers, congratulations, you were caught. Ha ha ha. How naive, even with Boss Ace here, you still want to catch us. Can you do it? Quote dot dot dot. Boss Ace is the strongest and is not afraid of any attack. The pirates laughed, and Fire Fist Ace couldn't help but smile. After getting the Mara Mara fruit, he is now not afraid of anyone. Looking for death, finger pistol. Jabra attacks quickly. Odanashi Fukuro and others also rushed to the pirate ship and started a battle with the pirates. Advertisement. Fire Fist Ace was instantly defeated, and Fire Fist Ace, who turned into flames, quickly recovered without moving. I am a flame man who ate the Mara Mara fruit. Your attacks can't hurt me. Absolute contempt. Logia. Jabra looked ugly. Without hockey, no matter how strong he was, it would be useless. Retreat. Jabra rushed towards the warship without looking back. TCH. Ace didn't even bother to chase him, he was completely contemptuous. Odanashi, Fukuro and others also hurriedly returned to the warship, which quickly moved away from the pirate ship. Boss Ace and the sixth brother were killed by them. Ace, who was yawning, turned his head and looked at his dying companion in a pool of blood in shock. How could this happen? With Logia's fire fist ace, you are naturally not afraid of CP9. But it's impossible for ordinary pirates to be CP9's opponents, right? One of them was killed in a short time. Boss ace, do it for me. This unfortunate pirate interrupted. I will definitely avenge you. Killing my comrade is unforgivable. Ace roared angrily, staring at the retreating warship with flames all over his body, chase. Quote. Damn pirates, they are still chasing us, please hurry up. Jabra cursed secretly, he actually encountered the most difficult word, Logia. Chase together, paddling through calm water. Boss Ace, if we continue to chase, we will reach Eni's lobby, and it will be dangerous. What about Eni's lobby? Killing my companions is absolutely unforgivable. The worst possible outcome is destroying Eni's lobby. Keep chasing. 65 Invading Eni's Lobby. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. P.S. Please subscribe. Please subscribe automatically. Sir, we have arrived at the desert island. The warship retreats 10 miles. It is not allowed to approach without my order. Stepping in the air, 
Luo rushed towards the desert island. Yes, Marine said respectfully. Zilla. The moment he landed, Luo turned into thunder and lightning and disappeared. In the dense forest, a thunder and lightning quickly shuttled through. He got the thunder fruit, but he just had it, and he needed development and training to attack with thunder and lightning. But even if he just had the thunder fruit, Luo also had the most basic ability to naturalize thunder and lightning. Call out. How fast is lightning? In nature, the speed of lightning is equal to the speed of light. However, in reality, it is slightly lower than the speed of light due to the influence of the propagation medium. Such a speed is difficult to judge using conventional speeds. A bolt of lightning flashed across the forest. Visible. But it was just a visual afterimage. The thunder and lightning I saw was just the trajectory after it had passed. In fact, it had already gone away. Bang bang bang. He shuttled through the forest at the speed of 917 like lightning teleportation. Along the way, ancient trees were pierced or destroyed by lightning, and they aimed hard to open a path in the forest. In an instant, Luo had gone deep into the forest. I don't have strong control. Thunder and lightning gathered into the crowd, and Luo looked helplessly at the plowed road behind him. If you have strong enough control over lightning, you won't touch any trees at all. Even if the forest is full of branches, you can easily avoid it and teleport silently, instead of running rampant like now. Advertisement. To control the power of thunder and lightning, the only way is continuous training. Room. The space appears with a diameter of hundreds of meters. I don't know how strong the electromagnetic field can be. Thunder fruit not only gave Luo the power of thunder and lightning, but also greatly helped his own abilities. The biggest help was naturally the high-energy electromagnetic gun and electromagnetic field. As soon as you possess the thunder fruit, the power of the high-energy electromagnetic gun increases tenfold. As he has greater control over the power of lightning, he can control more powerful lightning, and the power of the high-energy electromagnetic gun will naturally become stronger. CCBI. The electromagnetic field controls the gravity of the Earth. Ziz. 17. Luo's whole body was flashing with thunder and lightning. He originally needed a charged body to feel the force of the electromagnetic field. Now that Luo himself is the incarnation of thunder and lightning, he is naturally the best charged body. Use the thunder and lightning all over your body to control the electromagnetic field, thereby controlling the gravity transformed by the electromagnetic field. Gravity. Bang. In the space of hundreds of meters, the gravity of the earth instantly strengthened, which was equivalent to the increase of gravity in space. One by one, the ancient trees continued to crack, and the cracks spread from the crown to the roots. In the end, all the ancient trees in the space completely collapsed. All vegetation shattered. Rubbles are embedded in the ground. It should be five or six times the gravity, right? Luo frowned slightly. He was in space and had to bear gravity. But if you have stronger control over the electromagnetic field, you can naturally change the electromagnetic field around you, and naturally you don't need to bear the gravity of space changes. The power has increased two or three times. Lowering his head, Luo looked at Pisces. Arcs of electricity flashed in his hands. Advertisement. According to the current power of lightning, the power is only a few million volts, right? Millions of volts is an extremely large figure, but compared with the highest current of 200 million volts possessed by the original Enel. The difference is dozens of times. Here, Luo recalled the lightning attack method possessed by Enel in the original work. The fingertips are pointed forward, and thunder and lightning flash at the tips. Feel the lightning at your fingertips with all your strength, and try to control the lightning at your fingertips. Lightning. The most direct and simplest way of attacking lightning is to attack with pure lightning. Crackling. A large amount of arcs shot out from the fingertips. The ground around Luo was torn randomly, the ground with a radius of 10 meters was whipped into scorched earth by lightning. Even Luo himself suffered a lot of lightning attacks, but of course he would not be harmed at all. Sure enough, the first thing to master is control. Luo smiled bitterly. He originally wanted to use lightning to attack the boulder in front of him in a straight line, but as soon as the lightning burst out, it disintegrated in the air and attacked randomly. Only by having absolute control over thunder and lightning can one develop attack methods. Logia is the fruit ability with the highest starting point, and it is also the easiest to master, right? Luo transformed into thunder and lightning. Feel the thunder and lightning formed by your own transformation, 
feel the traces of thunder and lightning. God's sanction. Luo displayed thunder and lightning to the greatest extent. His whole body was wrapped in thunder and lightning, and he rushed into the sky with a hiss, and then shot vertically onto the earth. Thunder and lightning are separated from the body, and the control power is too weak. Luo Xian started training from the very basics, using himself to control and guide lightning attacks. A pillar of thunder and lightning crashed onto the ground, everything collapsed, and the ground was filled with dozens of meters of craters and scorched earth. Five million volts. His fingertips pointed at an ancient tree that was embraced by several people, and lightning was instantly transported to the ancient tree. Advertisement. Boom. In an instant, the ancient tree dozens of meters high collapsed, and the fragments were scattered around. Five million volts is the strongest lightning power Luo currently possesses. With my current strength, I should be able to increase it to tens of millions of volts in a short time, right? On a desert island, the sound of explosions kept coming, the forest was destroyed layer by layer, and the power increased at a speed visible to the naked eye. This is the power of the top logia. Eni's lobby. Call out. A warship quickly approached the port. A somewhat embarrassed Jabra and the others rushed into Eni's lobby and rushed into the first city gate. Close the city gate. Everyone prepares to fight, pirates are coming. While rushing into Eni's lobby, Jabra roared, ordering all marines to take action. Pirates invade Eni's lobby. Marine, who has over 10,000 islands, is a little confused. This is Eni's lobby, but there has never been a history of pirate invasions. Who is so bold? Call out. From the horizon, the spade pirates rush towards Eni's lobby at top speed. Boss Ace, do you really want to invade Eni's lobby? That is one of the three major institutions of world government. Some pirates looked at Eni's lobby with some fear. No matter how powerful Eni's lobby is, after all, it is clearly one of the three major institutions of world government. Mechanism. An institution as famous as Impel Down Marine's headquarters. Invasion of Eni's lobby, can the world government agree? 66 Unstoppable. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. I don't care about world government, I will never harm my companions. Ace said angrily. But, some pirates still looked worried. But more pirates are excited and excited. How many pirate groups dare to do such a feat as invading Eni's lobby? What's there to be afraid of? Don't forget the power of Boss Ace. That's Logia. It has the same ability as Admiral. Even if Admiral comes, Boss Ace can resist it. It's just Eni's lobby. What's there to be afraid of? Can they hurt Boss Ace? The worried pirates looked at Ace's back blankly. The look in his eyes slowly turned into admiration and confidence. Yes, Ace's ability is not afraid of anyone. Pirates, this is Eni's lobby. If you dare to take another step forward, you will be against the world government. On the first city wall, hundreds of marines pointed guns at the pirate group approaching the shore. Fire punch. Flames sprouted from the fists, and with the punches, a large amount of flames condensed into fists and slammed onto the city gate. The city gate, which was thick enough to block the cannon, collapsed under the terrifying fire fist attack. Walk. Eni's lobby's first city gate and main entrance were destroyed instantly. It's supernova starfire fist ace. Pervert, why did he come to Eni's lobby? A frightened marine on the city wall looked at Ace who rushed into the city gate. Eni's lobby is huge. After the main gate, there is a second city gate, after the second city gate, there is the Inquisition, and after the Inquisition is the Tower of Justice. Stop him and never let him break into the second city gate. Advertisement. Thousands of marines charged in with guns blazing. Eni's lobby's standing strength is 10,000 marines, as well as Eni's lobby's own patrol and other teams. The force is not weak. Get out of the way, I'm not looking for you. Ace stared at Jabra and the others who had already rushed into the second city gate. He was furious and covered with flames, like a god of fire. Fire punch. The terrifying fire fist blasted out and moved along the main road, destroying everything along the way. The marine who rushed from the road flew backwards screaming under the powerful fire fist attack. In an instant, hundreds of marines hit the walls of houses everywhere, wailing all over the place. Walk. Ace took the pirates and continued to rush forward. All the marines blocking his way in front were easily defeated by his fire attack, and they rushed forward with an invincible attitude. No one could stop him, and they couldn't even slow down Ace by half a minute. It's too scary. Supernova Spark Ace is too strong. 
We are no match for him. Eni's lobby needs rescue. A brief period of time. Fire Fist Ace quickly rushed to the second city gate with great power. Thousands of marines behind him were quickly defeated. With such power, no matter how many ordinary marines you have, it will be useless. We are guarding the second city gate and will never let you pass. The two giants stood at the second city gate with weapons in hand. The giant mace blasted towards Ace. Fire Ring. Pillar of Fire. While his hands were covered with flames and spinning, a huge pillar of fire shot into the sky and clashed with the smashed mace. Sparks were flying. At the same time, the terrifying power made the mace escape from the giant's hand. Advertisement. Fire punch. The terrifying fire fist suddenly hit the giant. The powerful burning power made the giant look ferocious, and the huge power caused the giant to fly backwards, and the wolf smashed on the city gate. There was a loud bang. The second city gate was broken. Walk. Rushing into the second city gate is equivalent to entering the inside of Eni's lobby. The power of Eni's lobby is really weak. With Ace's powerful combat power, the pirates behind him hardly need to take action and can just follow their boss Ace leisurely. It's not that Eni's lobby isn't strong, it's that boss Ace is too strong. That's right. The pirates looked at Ace's back with admiration. Block him. Thousands of marines, plus Eni's lobby's own patrol team, attacked at the same time. Musket. Bang bang bang. This is a completely unequal competition of strength. It can't be stopped at all. No matter how many marines there are, they can't stop it. The strong can't win by numbers, especially the strong Logia. No matter how many people there are, it's useless. Please give me flowers, zero. Sinner. You are still not punished. This is Eni's lobby. This is the adjudication court, your crime is bang. He rushed into the tribunal, and the three-headed referee pronounced Ace's crime. Advertisement. The final result was, I was punched out ten times by the impatient Ace. Boss Ace is so powerful, Marine also wants to judge him. He is overestimating his own abilities. What's going on? In front of the Tower of Justice, Spandam rushed out in a panic and roared at Jabra and the others who came back. Why did Fire Fist Ace invade Eni's lobby? Boss Spandam, now is not the time to worry about this. Fire Fist Ace has already broken through the tribunal and will rush to the Tower of Justice soon. Jabra and the others looked ugly. It's so embarrassing to be chased back to my hometown. Damn it. Spandam had already seen the horrific battle scene in the distance. Countless marines rushed to block it, but were all knocked back by the powerful flames. Why are you still standing there? You are CP9, the highest combat power of Eni's lobby, go and kill Fire Fist Ace. Spandam roared at several members of Jabra. There are currently four CP9 members left in Eni's lobby. Jabra, Kumidori, Odanashi Fukuro, Khalifa. The total combat effectiveness is only half of the total CP9 combat effectiveness, but it is also a strong combat force. I would like to, but Fire Fist Ace has Logia, so it can't hurt him at all, and there's nothing we can do. Jabra said depressedly. What? Spandam's face changed with shock and panic. He doesn't have power, but he has a lot of experience and knows what Logia means. With our strength alone, we can't stop Fire Fist Ace at all. If this continues, Eni's lobby will be destroyed by him. Khalifa's little face looked panicked as he looked at Ace who was sending Kamui not far behind. But it's not even despair and fear. I couldn't help but glance at the Tower of Justice out of the corner of my eye, and my heart couldn't help but slowly stabilize. We in Eni's lobby have a super pervert. 25%. 67 who allowed you to approach. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Boss Spandam. Fire Fist Ace is almost rushing to the Tower of Justice, who will take action. Khalifa whispered carefully. Huh. Which adult is not in Eni's lobby right now? Spandam said with a sad face. By the way, the Tower of Justice cannot be destroyed. If it is destroyed, we will definitely be killed by that adult. The third underground floor of the Tower of Justice is Luo's laboratory. There are not only Kaido of the Beast's bodies, but also various test items and various experimental reports. Now top scientific researchers have begun to study the secrets of Kaido of the Beast's body. In the past, if CP9 and others wanted to enter the Tower of Justice, they would need Luo's order. This is a place where Luo would never allow any loss. Then ask Marine for help. 
Eni's lobby is not too far from Marine headquarters. Let's temporarily hold fire fist ace and wait for Marine's strong men to rescue him. Jabra said gloomily. 880. Eni's lobby is different from Marine headquarters. Department. Asking Marine for help would prove that CP9 is useless, but now there is no way to preserve dignity. Ask for help. Spandam looked ugly. It's a big deal to let a pirate break into Eni's lobby. If you ask for help, the world government will definitely know about it, and then. As the nominal highest officer of Eni's lobby, any responsibility needs to be shouldered by Spandam. Being invaded by pirates and suffering heavy losses would be a huge mistake. In the original work, in order not to bear the punishment, Spandam had to give up CP9 and let them take the blame. We can only let Lu Chi and the others come back. Spandam thought of Lu Chi, the strongest CP9 player, who is called the strongest CP9 killing machine in history. He can always resist it, right? TCH. I admit that Lu Chi is very strong, but he can't do anything to ace fire fist, that's Logia. Jabra has always been dissatisfied with Lu Chi. What should I do? Advertisement. Spandam was extremely anxious. Ace and the others were hundreds of meters away. Although Marine kept trying to stop him, they couldn't stop him at all. Getting closer. I can only ask that adult for help. Even if I am blamed, I will still be of some use to that adult, right? After weighing the pros and cons in his mind, Spandam decided to ask Luo for help instead of the Marine headquarters. You block the fire fist ace from me, and remember not to let him get close to the Tower of Justice, let alone damage the Tower of Justice, otherwise we will all die. Spandam said sternly, then hurried back into the house and picked up the phone. Insect. Start dialing. Bang. The terrifying fire fist flew away dozens of marines. It's you. Ace stared at Jabra and the others angrily. It's you who killed my companions. It's unforgivable. Huh. This is Eni's lobby, but it's a world government organization, fire fist ace. You have to think clearly. World government will not allow you to invade here. Do you dare to go against world government? Jabra said sharply. Generally speaking, the pirates will not confront the world government head on, not even the four emperors. Unfortunately, CP9 encountered Ace, a very neurotic guy who has no idea what fear is. I don't care about the world government. I will never turn a blind eye if it hurts my companions. Flames spread all over Ace, with punches. Quote. The terrifying fire fist blasted out. Tempest kick. Jabra roared angrily, and the blue edge whizzed out, slashing at the fire fist. Sparks flew out, but instead of destroying the fire fist, he was destroyed by the fire fist. We can't let him destroy the Tower of Justice. That would really be the end. Jabra looked at the roaring fire fist. I really want to avoid it. But behind you is the Tower of Justice. Advertisement. Of course he was not willing to bear such a horrific attack for the Tower of Justice, but thinking about the consequences of the Tower of Justice being destroyed and Luo's methods, that was more terrifying than death. Iron body. Boom. The fire fist bombarded Jabra, and his clothes and hair were burned. The terrifying force pushed him back. The earth continued to crack, and he roared with a ferocious face. Stop. He transformed into a werewolf and used his best iron body to block the fire fist. He was forced back dozens of meters and finally stopped when he was still 30 meters away from the Tower of Justice. He was seriously injured. Harm. Shave. Kumidori quickly came behind Ace, his long hair turned into finger shapes, and at the same time appeared as a finger pistol, and attacked Ace crazily. In an instant, Ace was stabbed into a sieve. It's useless. Boss Ace is not afraid of any physical attacks. No attack can do anything to Boss Ace. The pirate looked at this scene with cold eyes. With Boss Ace here, we have no chance to take action. Rumble. Ace, who was full of wounds, was covered in flames and recovered quickly from all his injuries. Tempest Kick. The terrifying edge tore Ace's body apart, but it was still useless. Musket. Ace's hands were shaped like muskets, and he quickly fired flaming bullets at Jabra and the others. Advertisement. This is simply an unequal battle. CP9 can't hurt Ace, who doesn't even need to dodge, but Ace can hurt CP9, and although Marine 6 styles is powerful, it consumes a lot of energy. While Logia's attack is powerful, it doesn't consume much. Logia strong men can easily fight for days and nights. Because they control natural elements to attack, their physical requirements are indeed too low. 
Bang, bang, bang. Ace remained motionless, allowing any attack to hit him. As for the flame attack, CP9 could only dodge in a panic, exhausted. Unless the attack is going to hit the Tower of Justice, it has to be blocked. Boom. Khalifa, who was affected by the aftermath of the flame wave, rolled in the air and hit a wall. With a look of pain on her face, she looked at Daihatsu Kamui's ace. It's too strong, it's not an opponent at all, it's difficult to even block it. Quote. What should we do? If this continues, we will all die. Kumadori, whose hair was almost burned off, also looked desperate. Jabra, who was the strongest at this time, was also out of breath and seriously injured. 4.0 CP9 is indeed very strong, but it cannot be compared with Ace Boss. It seems that Ace Boss will become famous after today. What are you afraid of? With the strength of Boss Ace, no matter how high the reputation is, it is worthy. The pirate showed a proud smile. It's over. The marines who were supporting each other in the distance looked desperate. Especially when they saw Ace bathed in flames like a king, they were greatly shocked. He is too strong, no one is his opponent. You are pretty strong, but you can't hurt me. Ace looked at CP9, Fire Fist. The Fire Fist destroys everything in front, targeting the Tower of Justice. Any's lobby, destroy it for me. Not good. Jabra and the others' expressions changed drastically. It was too late and they couldn't stop it now. It was completely over. Who allowed you to approach the Tower of Justice? 25%. 68 Your ridiculous confidence, shatter. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. God's sanction. A pillar of thunder and lightning fell from the sky and crashed onto the fire fist. Boom. The explosion ring spread tens of meters and appeared in front of the Tower of Justice. The ground continued to crack and the air waves made everyone cover their faces with their hands. Thunder and lightning. Ace looked at the slight flash of thunder and lightning on the ground in surprise. Thunder and lightning falling from the sky. But is it a sunny day? What's going on? Who was talking just now? The pirate looked at the huge pit in horror. Boss Ace's attack was destroyed. How is that possible? Is it an adult? Khalifa's eyes lit up in despair. Tell me. Who allowed you to go to the Tower of Justice? The indifferent voice came again, this time so clear. Who? Ace looked up at the top of the Tower of Justice. A figure stood there. His eyes narrowed slightly. Who is he? Is he also a member of CP9? Luo glanced at Ace and others with cold eyes. After making sure that the Tower of Justice was intact and that the underground laboratory had not been destroyed, the terrifying murderous aura slowly dissipated. There were too many secrets in the laboratory, especially the body of Kaido of the Beasts. It must not be exposed. You should be lucky that the Tower of Justice was not damaged, otherwise you would all die. Luo fell slowly, landing without wind. My lord ancestor, you are finally back. If you don't come back, your most loyal subordinate will die, but there will be no one to serve you, lord. Spandam rolled over and crawled over, with a runny nose. Tears. Go away, you useless thing. Luo glanced coldly. Advertisement. Spandam was shaking all over. Yes, I'm going to get out. He really rolled away on the ground. Luo strolled forward. He glanced coldly at Jabra, Ace and others. Sir. We. Jabra lowered his head in shame. It's not your fault that you failed. Luo reached out and touched Jabra's head, but bringing them here deserves punishment. Boom. Jabra flew out his head was full of blood, he vomited blood and hit the ground heavily, seriously injured. You. Ace looked at this scene in shock, a little angry. He should be your companion, how could you hurt yourself? Shut up, or you'll die. Luo's voice appeared behind Ace. The speed of teleportation was much faster than that of thunder and lightning, and it was even more traceless. Pointing his fingertips into a pistol shape, he aimed them at Ace's temple. It doesn't matter whether any's lobby is destroyed, but no one is allowed to approach the Tower of Justice within a hundred meters without my order. Get out of a hundred meters away, understand. Luo said coldly, scanning all the pirates with cold eyes. Astonishing speed and pressure. The scene fell silent. So fast, I didn't even see how he moved. The pirate looked at Luo in horror. I don't care what the rules are here. It's unforgivable to hurt my companions anyway. Ace said. For him, he doesn't know what fear is, especially when he has absolute confidence in his own strength, he will not be afraid of anything. So, 
You are going to reject my proposal. Luo was in a bad mood. Advertisement. He was originally developing his abilities on a deserted island, but he had no choice but to rush back as quickly as possible. Luo was annoyed by being disturbed when he was practicing. During the recruitment camp, even if he was the last one and had no grades, he would not practice in the recruiting camp because he hated being disturbed and interrupted. You are also from Eni's lobby, right? Then, you are my enemy. But you are not, Luo said coldly. Opponent. Luo's goal was to focus on the Admiral Four Emperors from the beginning. Here, it was shaped like a pistol, and lightning flashed at the fingertips. The flashing lightning was only a few inches away from Ace's temple. Are you really crazy? Is it Marine? But I've never heard of it. Is it one of the members of CP9? The strength of the members of CP9 is just that, they are no match for Boss Ace. No matter how strong they are, they can't hurt Boss Ace. After regaining consciousness, Hai the thief looked at Luo with disdain. Boss Ace is not afraid of any attack. Are you still afraid of threats? I am a fireman who ate Mara Mara fruit. You can't attack me. Ace also had the same mentality. He was not worried at all when his life was threatened. Logia. Luo smiled. Sure enough, he was a guy who had just entered the Grand Line and thought Logia was invincible. Lightning. Thunder and lightning shot out instantly from Luo's fingertips, with an electric current of tens of millions of volts. The time to practice thunder fruit is very short, but Luo's own basic strength is very strong, so it is easy to increase the power of thunder and lightning. In a short period of time, he can have tens of millions of volts of thunder and can also attack with thunder and lightning. Advertisement. Of course, Luo can't simulate it yet. Fire Fist. Dark Hound. Ice Cube Storm Mouth. Tian Kong Yun Sword, White Snake, Thunder Dragon. These are all attacks that the owner of Logia can condense into various shapes by controlling his own elements. This can only be achieved if the control over natural elements reaches an extremely high level. Luo can now only attack in the most basic form of lightning. Crackling. Powerful thunder and lightning passed into Ace's body, flashing arcs. Bang. Destroyed by lightning. Ace burst into pieces and turned into a large amount of flames that splashed on the ground. One of the flames in 740 rapidly expanded and turned into Ace. Fire Punch. The powerful fire fist instantly bombarded Luo's body, and the flames completely covered Luo's traces. You actually looked down on boss Ace's abilities. Are you dead now? You overestimate your capabilities and dare to fight with Mr. Ace. The pirate mocked. I forgot to tell you. Logia is not the only one, you are not unique, I also have Logia, Thunder Fruit. Thunder and lightning cut through the flames, and the thunder and lightning condensed into lightning. Logia. Ace's face changed in shock. This was the first time he encountered an opponent with the same series of abilities as himself. He has Logia too, the pirate exclaimed. Even the CP9 members looked at Luo. Master in horror. When did you possess Logia? So you also have Logia. So you are not afraid of any attacks. Ace looked at Luo in distress. There was no restraint between lightning and flames. It seems that I can't hurt you, and you can't hurt me. There's nothing you can do. If you can't stop the other party, on the contrary. Dot you can't stop me either. Still think Logia is unique. The guy who thinks he is invincible with Logia will not live long. Luo disappeared in an instant. Lightning teleported behind Ace, and his fist armament hockey hardened your ridiculous confidence, shatter. 69 run away. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. P.S. Can friends who subscribe can be set to automatically subscribe. I beg you, if you still have friends who have flowers, I hope you can give them to me. Behind him, the wind of fists was fierce. Ace stood proudly and refused to retreat. He didn't care about the attacks from behind. They couldn't hurt me. Boom. Armament Hockey's hardened fist slammed into Ace's back, and the power was transmitted into his body. Suddenly, without any defense, his face changed drastically, and he flew out across the ground. How? How is it possible? Boss Ace was knocked away. The pirate looked at this scene in horror. Isn't Logia fearless of any attack? It must be fake. Boss Ace must have rushed out on purpose. Sir, you really know Hockey. The CP9 members are not as ignorant as these rookie pirates. Call out. Ace, who flew out across the ground, looked back in horror, completely confused. 
He is very familiar with Lodia's abilities. Any attack is useless. How could it hit me? Can't you accept it? Do you still think Lodia is the strongest? Luo's voice appeared next to Ace. He was flying upside down. And Luo teleported with lightning, easily keeping up with Ace's speed. Boom. The bewildered Ace hurriedly naturalized, flames bursting out. It's useless. Luo casually grabbed Ace's body amid the flames that were flying all over the sky. Armament Hockey's hardened palm easily grasped Ace's body. Advertisement. If Ace also has armament Hockey, then it may not be possible to capture his entity, but now, Hockey may still have an ability that Ace has never heard of. Boom. He grabbed Ace's ankle and smashed it onto the ground, causing the ground to crack and continue to mine. Puff. Ace, who was vomiting blood, quickly turned over and said, Cage Yan. Terrifying flames erupted from his limbs, instantly surrounding Luo. I am the owner of Thunder Fruit, your attacks can't do anything to me. Luo Yushan walked out of the flames. I am also Lodia, why can you attack me? Ace was so depressed that he wanted to vomit blood. It was all Lodia, why could the other party attack him, but he could not attack the other party. In the past, it was Ace who stood in Luo's corner and toyed with his opponents. And through all this, Ace finally realized the frustration of his former opponent. Here, Luo lay electrified and disappeared instantly. Not good. Ace hurriedly retreated back, the flames all over his body swelling rapidly, fire ring. The flames spread, I hope I can use this ability to block Luo's sudden attack. Whoosh. A cold light split open the flames, and the sword edge slashed towards Ace. After the hasty shot, he chose to use Taijutsu instead of continuing to attack with Mera Mera Fruit. Bang bang bang. Ace's physical skills are not weak, and are even very strong, but he is facing Logia. Without Haki's physical skills, what does it matter no matter how strong he is? Advertisement. Luo allowed Ace to attack him everywhere. Useless, absolutely useless. Luo only needed to casually grasp Ace's fist, and then get close and kneel in to make heavy contact with Ace's abdomen. Puff. The severe pain caused Ace to arch his whole body and fly out, crashing into the wall. The wall shattered and smashed several houses before he came to rest in ruins. You can sweep the floor. Turning around, Luo said to the stunned CP9, take care of this place as soon as possible. Yes, yes. Even the most arrogant and unruly Jabra lowered his head and did not dare to make eye contact with Luo Yuyu. This lord is indeed ridiculously strong. No wonder he was able to escape from the Whitebeard Pirates easily. Even Super Super Nova is no match for this lord. Does he have the power of Admiral? Khalifa looked at Luo's back in admiration. My heartbeat couldn't help but speed up. My lord is actually so strong. Spandam's wide mouth couldn't be closed at all. Suddenly I felt happy. Being a dog to such a strong man might not be a shame, but an honor, a great honor. Who is he? Lord Spandam seems to respect and fear him very much. Is he a strong marine? But a marine with such strength should have become famous in the sea a long time ago. Haven't you heard of him? Marine looked at Luo in a daze from a distance. Some marines had seen the power of one hit that Law casually experimented with before. But they have no idea about Luo's identity. The pirate was confused. Completely confused. Like a clay sculpture, it stayed in place. After a long time, he woke up tremblingly. He glanced at Luo with fear, and the pirate rushed away in panic. Boss Ace. Advertisement. The pirates rushed into the ruins, shouting in panic, looking for traces of Ace in the ruins. Bang. Under the ruins, a huge pillar of fire rose into the sky, and a figure stood in the flames, with blood flowing from his head. Great. Boss Ace, you're okay. Ace. Boss, your injury. The pirate looked at Ace's injuries in horror. He was injured, and he was seriously injured. I'm fine. Ace stared at Luo. More and more flames appeared all over his body. I'm not defeated yet, fire fist. Ace refused to admit his failure and rushed over with a roar. Boom. Looking back, Luo glanced at Ace with cold eyes and appeared in front of him in an instant. With a casual blow, the fire fist that Ace had just presented shattered, and Ace himself vomited blood and flew out like a meteor. This time, he flew backwards for a thousand meters from the Tower of Justice, Zhao Dezhao, and landed outside the second city gate. City walls and houses were smashed along the way. Ace old. 
The pirates stared blankly at the trace left in the sky. Their boss flew far, far away. The pirate turned his head stiffly and looked at Luo Xian in horror. When Xiao Xin and Luo's eyes met, the pirates trembled all over, and the next moment they crawled away and ran away, not even daring to say a harsh word. Boss Ace. The pirates, expressions changed drastically as they looked at the dying Ace in the pit. Run away, Ace said with difficulty, while blood kept coming out of his mouth. Want to leave? Any's lobby is not a place where you can come and leave whenever you want. I didn't let you leave, are you qualified to leave? Jabra and other strong men came with a large number of marines to surround them. Be judged. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Spade pirates, you are under arrest. Jabra and the others surrounded the area with sea stone handcuffs and chains, and a large number of marines also surrounded the area. Don't even think about hurting boss ace. Dozens of pirates drew their guns and angrily pointed at the marines, but the confrontation between dozens of people and thousands of people was simply incomparable. Leave me alone, you go quickly. He stood up with difficulty, covered in blood, Ace tried hard to squeeze out the power in his body, and some flames emerged from his arms, but the flames were too small. Shave. CP9 took action and disappeared instantly. Bang bang bang. The pirates who resisted tenaciously were retreating steadily. They once protected Ace, the divine fire fist, but now they can only be protected by them. Ace was furious as he watched his companions fall one by one, his eyes bloodshot and roaring hysterically. However, his injuries were too severe and he was unable to use his abilities. He could only watch helplessly as his companions were continuously captured. In the end only he was left. The spade pirates were all defeated. Take them all away and wait for trial. Jabra looked at Fire Fist Ace being escorted excitedly. This is a big credit. Although the credit belongs to the Lord 583, we CP9 can also get some credit. That's also a huge benefit. Sir, all the spade pirates have been captured, do you need to inform Marine? Spandam looked excitedly at Ace and the others who were escorted back. That was a supernova, the most eye-catching supernova this year. The rise of Fire Fist Ace caused a sensation in the entire ocean. Catching Fire Fist Ace would be a great achievement, but he didn't dare to steal the credit. Advertisement. HMPH. Fire Fist Ace and the others were escorted back. The pirates stared at Luo angrily, but could not hide their fear. The captain they thought was invincible was defeated by this man in front of them. Ace also stared at Luo unwillingly. He was unparalleled in the limelight in the sea. Although he was not so arrogant that he was truly invincible, he believed that he was at least the strongest among his peers. But I didn't expect to lose so quickly and so easily. Sir, what should we do with them? It doesn't matter. Luo's attention was not here at all. If you deal with them, you can do it, but when reporting to Marine or World Government, don't have anything to do with me. Question mark quote. Dot 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 dot. Not only Spandam CP9 and the others looked at Luo in shock, but even Ace and other pirates stared at Luo in shock. Sir, what are you doing? This clearly means that you don't want credit. Catching Fire Fist Ace is at least a first-class skill, enough to make him famous in the world, but the adults actually disdain him. Why? Prepare a ship for me and prepare more supplies. We will sail far this time. Luo ordered. It's not that Luo meant to keep a low profile. It's just that he doesn't want to be entangled in trivial matters right now. Now he focuses on developing abilities and cultivating strength. The body of Kaido of the beasts has not yet been solved. Catching Fire Fist Ace will certainly make him famous and gain glory. But then naturally comes all kinds of trivial matters. As long as you are strong, it is easy to become famous. Advertisement. Yes. Turning around, Luo walked towards the Tower of Justice, never looking at Fire Fist Ace again. Ignore, or despise. Luo will not deliberately punish him because he is an important character in the original work, nor will he intentionally treat him well. As long as it doesn't harm one's own interests, as long as it doesn't benefit oneself, it's just someone else. Don't think that just because you are a supernova is great, adults don't look down on you at all. Spandam looked at Ace and the others sarcastically from above, you can't even catch the eyes of adults. The pirate stared at Spandam with disdain. Ace could ignore Spandam who was acting like a fox but a tiger, 
but when he saw Luo disappearing into the Tower of Justice, his eyes narrowed slightly, that guy. I can't help clenching my fists, cccc, and gritting my teeth. Am I so out of line? Lock me up, to await trial. Spandam laughed triumphantly. Although he is a high-ranking official, he doesn't have much time to show off his authority against a strong man like Fire Fist Ace. Tell me, who is he? Fire Fist Ace didn't care about the situation at this time, but more about whose hands he was defeated by. How can you find out the name of my lord? Bring it down to me. Yes. Back to the lab. After inspecting the research of top scientific researchers, Luo went to the lowest laboratory alone. It is safest to keep these secrets with you at all times. Whether it is Kaido of the beast's body or various experimental data, they are important things that cannot be exposed, let alone lost. Advertisement. Luo collected all the important core experimental data. Kaido of the beast's shells are also housed in specially made sealed mobile chambers. Phew. Luo took these important items and put them into the lowest level of the warship without anyone noticing, and ordered Marine that no one could enter the lowest level. A large amount of supplies were quickly transported to the warship by Marine. Just wait until the supplies are loaded and you can set off. This time when he went to sea, Luo had something important to do, so he took the body of Kaido of the Beasts with him for insurance and at the same time, he could experiment with various ways to control him during the journey. I wonder what kind of reward you will get if you catch Fire Fist Ace. Spandam picked up the phone bug excitedly. He didn't expect that under the hands of an adult, he could get such a big credit for nothing. CP9 Khalifa and the others were also very excited. The adults disdain such credit, but they dream of everything. Since the adults don't want it, then the final credit must belong to CP9. Beep beep beep. After careful consideration, Spandam chose to report to Marine Headquarters instead of reporting directly to the world government. Unless there are special circumstances, Pandam's rights are not enough to call Marshal Marine directly at any time. Instead, Qingji Admiral, who is in charge of intelligence work at the Marine Headquarters, reported, Qingji Admiral, I am CP-9 Commander Spandam. I have an important report. There is a bounty of 380 million. Fire Fist Ace was captured by Eni's lobby. What? At the Marine Headquarters, the lazy Qingji stood up in shock. Are you sure it's Fire Fist Ace? Sure. P.S. Let's talk about the update issue. I know I didn't update quickly after it was put on the shelves. It's not that I can't explode with all my strength. Whether it's Woody or Sinner, I've been doing it for half a month or a month since it was released. I can do it, but after I explode with all my strength, it will take a long time to recover. I don't want to code updates at all, constantly causing interruptions. Therefore, I decided to update this book five or six times a day. The quantity is not small, but the most important thing is persistence. 26%. 71 become seven warlords of the sea. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Marine building. Marshal, there is important news from Eni's lobby. Fire Fist Ace has been captured. Qingji, are you sure? Ace was caught by Eni's lobby. Buddha Sengoku exclaimed. Does Eni's lobby have such power? What? Ace was caught. Garp, suddenly stood up while leisurely eating donuts. Garp, do you think it's incredible too? The most dazzling supernova this year was actually caught by Eni's lobby. Does CP9 have such power? What Fire Fist Ace has is Mara Mara Fruit Logia. Sengoku frowned in confusion. Sengoku are you sure Ace was caught? Huh. Buddha Sengoku looked at Garp in astonishment. Although it was a bit unexpected, the reaction didn't need to be so big, right? Sengoku, I'm going to Eni's lobby once. Garp rushed out in a hurry. Quote dot dot question mark quote. Eni's lobby is not far from the marine headquarters, and with the gate of justice, the two can be reached in a very short time. Boom. At the moment the warship arrived, Garp jumped to the ground and walked quickly towards Eni's lobby. At this time, at the port, a figure on a warship looked at Garp's back indifferently. It's actually Marine Hero Vice Admiral Garp. He actually came in person. The Marine headquarters would actually value it so much. The Marines looked at Garp with admiration and were even more excited. Catching Fire Fist Ace would actually be valued so much. Is R. Eni's lobby finally famous? After learning the news, Spandam rushed out to greet him. Garp in the middle. Why are you here? Advertisement. 
Spandam's status is higher than the ordinary vice admiral, but although Garp is a vice admiral, his status is slightly higher than that of the admiral. Where is Ace? Garp became unusually serious. No need to lead the way, just tell me. Where? Spandam pointed to a building. Just as he spoke, Garp rushed out instantly. No one is allowed to approach without my order. Well, Garp, with a frown on his face, rushed into the cell with a complex look on his face. He was worried, angry, and even resentful of the iron. Boss Ace, what should I do? We will definitely be sent to impel down, what can we do? The pirates were anxious and asked about their backbone. Ace, who was imprisoned alone in a cell, sat helplessly against the wall, is it over? No one would give in. I even started to feel panic in my heart. There are so many strong people in the sea, and even an unknown person is so strong. How far can Luffy go after going to sea with his character? Ace was worried about Luffy's impulsive feelings. He is more impulsive and reckless than himself. Suddenly everything went dark. The burly figure in front of the iron gate blocked the only dim light. Bang! He punched the iron door directly, and the figure rushed in and picked up Ace. Advertisement. Who? Ace, who was still recalling the battle in his mind, was suddenly awakened. Looking at the angry visitor in front of him, he couldn't help but look stiff and slowly lowered his head. Grandpa. You're really good enough. Does becoming a supernova make you arrogant? You actually have the audacity to invade Eni's lobby. Don't you put marine and world government in your eyes. Now that you know the failure, are you unwilling to accept it? Garp said to Ace. Roared. Ace lowered his head in shame. What? I know I'm too embarrassed to see anyone. Look at you now. You are still. Garp, who hated iron and steel, cursed angrily for several minutes. Looking at Ace who was ashamed and seriously injured, he couldn't help but feel heartbroken. Do you know your fate? You will be executed or imprisoned in Impel Down forever, with no future. I know, but I'm not afraid. What? Isn't it great that you are not afraid of death? Don't you think about them? Garp pointed at the pirates in other cells. They believed in you and followed you, but they sacrificed everything because of your arrogance and recklessness. Are you still not aware of your mistake now? I. Ace was too embarrassed to look at his companions. Boss Ace, we are not afraid. Yes, the worst case scenario is death. Ace felt even more ashamed and regretful. But, what can I do now? I can't do anything. Ace held his head and collapsed weakly. I tried my best but I'm no match for him, what can I do? I also want to take everyone out, but I can't do it. Quote. Dot dot dot. Please give me flowers. Him. Garp was curious, but there were more important things now. Advertisement. Do you want to rescue them? Garp looked a little gentler. Grandpa, can you help me? Can you let them go? Impossible. I'm a Marine, but first can't let Marine go privately. There is no way Garp would violate the bottom line in principle. Ace's expression darkened, but Garp changed the subject. It's not impossible, as long as you agree to become a Marine. Marine. Ace's pupils widened. It's impossible. Freedom as a pirate is my dream. I can never give up on my dream just because I'm afraid of death. Garp stared angrily at Ace. Damn boy. Huh. He was very angry, but there was nothing he could do. Ace's character Garp knew that if he could be persuaded, he would have become Marine long ago. Then there is one way left, to become seven warlords of the sea. He is also a pirate. But cooperate with world government. Seven warlords of the sea. Ace remembered that the world government had contacted him and invited him to become the seven warlords of the sea, but Ace was in the limelight at that time and refused without even thinking about it. But now, he is a prisoner. Grandpa. It seems that although the seven warlords of the sea cooperate with the world government, their positions are also antagonistic. Even the seven warlords of the sea marine can be captured. Once captured, the outcome will be the same as other pirates, right? I can still do this little thing. Garp sighed deeply. But you must promise me that you will never take the initiative to remove the title of seven warlords of the sea and always cooperate with the world government. Can you do it? Ace was struggling to make a decision. After escorting his companion, he nodded with difficulty. At this time, a warship also arrives at Eni's lobby. Akainu, Fire Fist Ace is worthy of my personal visit. Shingji who went to the island looked at Akainu next to him in confusion. But Akainu, it seems that you have no reason to come, right? Why did you follow me? A month ago, 
I met Fire Fist Ace by chance and actually let him escape from my hands. I want to see who in any's lobby can catch Fire Fist Ace with such strength. Akainu said solemnly, with a tone of disdain for any's lobby, and 27%, 72 the power of four emperors. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Vice Admiral Garp. How did you bring the prisoner out? Spandam looked at Ace who followed Garp in surprise. He was not worried about what splash Ace could make with the marine hero here, but he was confused. Fire Fist Ace has become the seven warlords of the sea, so there is no need to imprison him. Huh. Spandam was stunned. Vice Admiral Garp is wrong. When did Fire Fist Ace become the seven warlords of the sea? It just happened. Any questions? But even if you become seven warlords of the sea and are captured, you will end up being judged. Spandam was a little anxious. Will the great credit of catching Fire Fist Ace be lost? I'll tell Sengoku myself. Garp took away Fire Fist Ace and others and walked outside Eni's lobby. At the same time, he took out the phone bug to contact Sengoku. Garp, you, 793, are really messing around. The captured pirates are not qualified to become seven warlords of the sea, right? Buddha Sengoku said speechlessly. It seems that Fire Fist Ace and Garp you the relationship is very close. Okay, let's make him the seven warlords of the sea. Although it would be in Marine's greatest interest to directly imprison and execute Fire Fist Ace, it would be missing a huge threat. But becoming seven warlords of the sea is also beneficial to Marine. Moreover, it was the request of an old friend, and Sengoku quickly agreed. Ace, who followed Garp out of Eni's lobby, kept looking around for something. What are you looking at? I want to find the person who defeated me. Ace looked around unwillingly. Right. Who is the person who defeated you? Garp asked curiously. Advertisement. In front of the main entrance of Eni's lobby, Shinji received instructions from Buddha Sengoku as soon as he walked to the main entrance. Huh. Shinji was stunned for a moment. The captured pirates turned out to be seven warlords of the sea, but when he saw Garp and Ace walking out of the distance, he seemed to understand, understood, Marshal Sengoku. What's wrong? Akainu asked. Information error. Fire Fist Ace was not captured, but entered the Eni's lobby and asked to contact the world government and become the seven warlords of the sea. Shinji said softly. What's going on? Akainu frowned. How can the intelligence be wrong about such a big matter? Shingji shrugged helplessly. HMPH, Eni's lobby is a bunch of trash, actually lying about the military's situation to take credit. Akainu said angrily, turned and walked towards the warship. It's a waste of time, I know, what ability does Eni's lobby have to catch Fire Fist Ace? Eni's lobby who has such ability? No. Port office. A warship is ready and ready to go at any time. A figure glanced coldly at Akainu Chingji and the others, as well as Garpace who walked out from a distance. As this the end, Luo's eyes were slightly cold. He didn't care about the so-called credit, but he was really unhappy to be wiped out so easily, especially when he was laughed at for no reason. Let's go. Luo ordered Marine, who was the first to leave the port and head towards the horizon. Sir, the Marine headquarters is too overbearing and has actually erased your credit. The marine on the warship is naturally the marine inside Eni's lobby. He is angry at this time. Originally, the credit belongs to you and belongs to Eni's lobby. That is, I still have to be questioned by others. The strength is not enough. Luo smiled and spread his hands and said, If the strength is enough, the people who question will be dead, so naturally no one will question it, you think so. Advertisement. Dot question mark quote. Marine looked at Luo with his scalp numb. A battle that only the top brass at Eni's lobby and Marine headquarters knew about was completely over. The news that shocked the sea was not that Ace was captured, but that Ace became the seven warlords of the sea. Just one month later. Garp, look at what you did, you actually terminated the relationship with seven warlords of the sea after only one month. Sengoku roared at Garp angrily. That bastard Ace, you didn't even think about becoming seven warlords of the sea. That bastard, Garp, who was deceived, also roared, I'm going to catch him myself. Snort. Now, Luo is already outside the water city. In one month, he has entered Sky Island again and used some special means to obtain all the gold in Sky Island's golden village, which is dozens of tons and worth billions of shells. Profit. Luo doesn't care about money, 
but this money is enough for Water City to create the most perfect, arc proverb. All dozens of tons of gold were handed over to Lu Qi. At the same time, the requirements for the ship were clearly explained to Luo Qi, and he also requested that the ship be collected after one year. The latter's task was to let the Water City use the money to create a perfect, arc proverb, that met all Luo's requirements. Return. After the order, the warship left Eni's lobby. Luo, who returned to the bottom of the warship alone, looked at the body of Kaido of the Beasts in distress. This month, I experimented hundreds of times, using various means to control Kaido of the Beasts, but all ended in failure. For the purpose of experiment, Luo did not hesitate to destroy a pirate group, and all the pirates were used as experimental subjects. All failed. Advertisement. Whether it's getting out of the body, strengthening the connection between the mind and the body, or all the methods Luo could think of failed, and there were only three results. Unable to control Kaido of the beasts. Can control Kaido of the beasts, but cannot automatically return to his own body. The soul is gone. There is no absolute certainty. Luo will definitely not use his own soul for experiments. All he will use are the souls of those heinous pirates. Is there any other way that I haven't thought of? Is it really impossible for me to control Kaido of the beast's body? Do I have to choose between myself and Kaido of the Beasts, rather than having both? Do we have to let others possess the body of Kaido of the Beasts and possess the power and power of the four emperors? The benefits were so great that Luo didn't want to share them with anyone, let alone give 4.8 to anyone. Sitting on the bow of the boat, thinking hard, is there any way that I haven't tried yet? Is there anything else that I haven't thought of? Or is this simply something that cannot be done? Mazi hand me the wrench. The magnet in the rudder seems to be cracked and needs to be replaced. There seemed to be a flash of lightning in Luo's mind, piercing his confusion. Magnet. Get back to Eni's lobby as quickly as possible. Spandam prepare a hundred prisoners for me. Huh. Spandam burst into tears. Half a year later, at the bottom of the laboratory, Kaido of the Beast's beast-like physique slowly stood up, his ferocious muscles slowly swelled, and his eyes suddenly opened. It was not like Kaido of the Beast's violent expression, but cold eyes. It was Luo's gaze. 27%. 73 I am the Four Emperor's Beasts. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Finally have everything Kaido of the Beasts has to offer. Looking at the palm-sized hands, the ferocious calluses on the palms were like cracks. Luo's palm is not so huge. It is the palm of Kaido of the Beasts. It is seen from the sight of Kaido of the Beasts. It has been 921 days since he obtained the body of Kaido of the Beasts. After nearly three years and countless experiments and efforts, Luo finally had the body of Kaido of the Beasts. This power, although Luo's own strength is already very strong, especially now that he has greater control over Thunder Fruit and can use more powerful attacks, and Op Op Fruit's various abilities have also been greatly improved, he is still not as good as Kaido of the Beasts at the Four Emperor's level. There is quite a distance. Especially in terms of pure strength and physique, there is a huge difference. Luo's power is mostly based on fruit abilities. And Kaido of the Beasts is pure power. In terms of power, no one in the entire sea dares to say that he is stronger than Kaido of the Beasts. He has achieved the position of four emperors with his strength. This kind of power is as if, with a gentle grip, Luo Nang could feel the power to easily crush a mountain peak. This was a feeling that he himself could not give. The impact of this pure power is the most shocking. Raise your hand casually. His steps were unsteady, and his shoulders collided with the steel wall, shaking violently. The steel wall was dented by tens of centimeters. The force was too terrifying. It seems a bit difficult to control. I was going to hold the wall to steady my body, but I didn't expect that my palms would easily sink into the steel wall. Steel is like clay to Kaido of the beast's strength. And this series of performances. Advertisement. Proving that law has no control over the power of Kaido of the beasts. This does not belong to Luo's power, nor does it belong to his body. Although he can control it now, it is like operating an unfamiliar robot. His movements are awkward and restricted, let alone flexible. It seems that training is needed before you can perfectly master the power of Kaido of the beasts. Kaido of the beasts, slowly closed his eyes, and soon there was no sound, leaving only his body. Luo, who was lying on the experimental table next to him, 
opened his eyes after a while, and his soul returned to his body. Of course you can go back. If we only consider the power he possesses when entering Kaido of the Beasts, Luo can do it the moment he gets the body of Kaido of the Beasts, but he needs to give up his own body and abilities. More than two years of hard work. What is Luo doing? Just so that he can freely move back and forth between his body and Kaido of the Beasts. He has worked hard for this goal for too long. And all this was possible because of chance. Half year ago, Luo, who had tried various methods but could not achieve his goal perfectly, even thought of giving up, but suddenly he heard the word, magnet, and was inspired. Since the separated soul cannot always be connected to the body, since the soul cannot leave the body at will. So Luo relies on the characteristics of magnets to develop. After half a year of various efforts, dozens of failures, and the sacrifice of nearly a hundred experimental subjects, we finally succeeded. The biggest characteristic of magnets is that they attract and repel each other. Advertisement. Since magnets can attract each other when they are close, then if the body and soul both have the characteristics of magnets, can they also attract each other when they are close and return to their own bodies? Magnets in nature are made of various elements, and then, under the guidance of the magnetic field, they attract and repel each other, and the planet is a huge magnetic field. Luo could not make the body and soul have the atomic structure of various components like magnets. However, this aspect of magnetic field has already been covered. Although electromagnetic fields are different from magnetic fields, they have many things in common, so experiments are developed based on them. The principle is not difficult and the logic is simple. But it is too difficult to accomplish this. After dozens of failures and hundreds of days and nights of constant deliberation, I finally succeeded. After several successes and perfect data display, it can finally be proved that when the body the soul enters is close to its own body, the soul can move to its own body independently. And this distance is 100 meters. In other words, if Luo's soul enters the body of Kaido of the beasts and is within 100 meters of his own body, then the soul can return to his body according to his own will. But beyond 100 meters, the mutual absorption force between the soul and the body is not enough to support the soul returning to the body. Unfortunately, it's not perfect yet. Luo thought a little greedily. The best result would naturally be to be able to control Kaido of the beasts with his mind regardless of distance, even if they were on opposite ends of the sea. This is the perfect clone in Luo's mind. Although he can now control the bodies of Kaido of the beasts, he can return to his own body as he wishes. But there are limitations and disadvantages. The limit is naturally a distance of 100 meters. Advertisement. The disadvantage is, regardless of whether the soul is in the main body or Kaido of the beasts, it can only control one person. That is to say, when entering the body of Kaido of the beasts, the main body will be like a body without a soul. Vice versa, the same process. A more perfect method can only be developed bit by bit in the long future. Law looked at Kaido of the beasts, who was built like a beast. Completely mastering the power of Kaido of the Beasts, 750 can truly possess the power of the four emperors. Luo took Kaido of the Beasts and left Eni's lobby without anyone noticing, and ordered the warship to sail to the desert island. After reaching it, keep the warships tens of miles away. After thoroughly checking the deserted island to confirm that there is no one there, open the hatch. Room. Transplant. Use the ability on yourself and the mind that leaves the body will instantly enter the body of Kaido of the Beasts. I fell to the ground softly. And Kaido of the Beasts suddenly opened his eyes. You can destroy it wantonly. Kaido of the Beasts, placed his body in a safe place far away, and then came to the foot of the cliff alone. The battle between Kaido of the Beasts and Whitebeard comes to mind. Kaido of the Beasts' fighting methods and techniques were rehearsed countless times in his mind, and then he punched the cliff suddenly. Boom. The shining golden fist hit the cliff. With the loud bang, the cracks under the fist spread rapidly, from the foot of the mountain to the top of the mountain, and also spread into the forest. Bump. The mountain collapsed with one punch. It's not enough. Luo remembered that when Kaido of the beasts punched, the energy materialized and wrapped around the fist, like a fist glove and like a golden pillar reaching the sky, instead of being like a golden light that he had not completely controlled. 28%. 74 Invasion of Marine Headquarters. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. P.S. Please subscribe. Please subscribe automatically. Please beg me. Come again.
controlling Kaido of the beasts, destroying everything crazily, and attacking everything crazily, in exchange for the continuous mastery of the power and body of Kaido of the beasts, the familiarity is getting higher and higher. After ten days of crazy destruction, the last bit of strength in Kaido of the beast's body was exhausted, and this huge desert island was on the verge of sinking. The powerless Kaido of the beasts walked hard to his side. He fell weakly to the ground, and his body automatically and quickly restored his physical strength to the calendar writing area. And the soul returns to the body of the deity. Huh. I am naturally not tired, but my soul is tired. I randomly look for a large amount of fruit on the island, gobble it up and fall asleep. I am Logia, and I am not afraid of sneak attacks by any ferocious beasts on the island. As for Kaido of the beast's defense, even if the tiger bites him all day and night, there won't even be a single opening. The next day, after waking up, I first practiced thunder fruit power and op op fruit power. Electric arcs flashed on the island, and thunder pillars continued to fall on the earth. The concentrated thunder and lightning destroyed the forest. The room space almost includes the entire forest and mountain peaks. Advertisement. The sword edge passed across and the top of the mountain was cut off. I exercised for several days and my body was exhausted before I entered Kaido of the beast's body again. I also devoured some food and rested before controlling Kaido of the beast's body to continue practicing. Two months later, with the loud noise that resounded throughout the world, the broken island, shrouded in the explosion ring, finally collapsed completely, split into several pieces, and sank toward the sea. Finally controlled the power of Kaido of the beasts, the power of the four emperors. In the air, Luo Sui looked at the sunken island, carrying a huge box, Moonwalk appeared, rushing towards the sky, who can try this kind of power? If he doesn't show up again, the sea will think that Kaido of the beasts is dead, just marine headquarters. Whoever has the marine headquarters closest is the most powerful. The warship quickly rushed towards the island and caught Luo. Go back to Eni's lobby. Luo teleported to the bottom of the warship with the box. A. Eh, I remember there seems to be a desert island in front of me, right? Where is the island? Marine blinked his big confused eyes. Did he remember it wrong? Impossible. The island disappeared mysteriously. Back to Eni's lobby. Kaido of the beasts, dressed in black robes and a huge cloak, stood in the first floor laboratory, while Luo teleported to the bottom floor, and he entered the safest cabin. Room. Transplant. The soul instantly entered the body of Kaido of the beasts in the first level laboratory. The distance between the first floor laboratory and the lowest floor is definitely not more than a hundred meters. Call out. Late at night. Advertisement. Under the black robe and cloak, Kaido of the beasts, left Eni's lobby without anyone noticing. Instead of taking a boat, he chose to conquer the sea directly and travel by sea. Come across the sea. I have no chance to swim in the sea. On the sea, a wave of water rose into the sky and quickly spread to the horizon. It was a trace of swimming. The speed is much faster than that of a warship. Call out. Using one's body to cross the sea, and it is a great sea route full of dangers. Such a move, in the entire sea, only a handful of people have such courage and ability. Marine building. Buddha Sengoku looked at Garp complainingly, and the latter kept laughing dryly. Garp, look at what you have done. Originally, Eni's lobby captured Fire Fist Ace, and the sea lost a threat, but now it is better. He has joined the Whitebeard Pirates. The Whitebeard Pirates have not only increased their strength, but also the future Marine there will be another big pirate who will cause great harm to our eyes. That bastard Ace dares to cause trouble, I will take action personally. Go away. Buddha Sengoku said angrily. I have heard this sentence hundreds of times. I really shouldn't believe you. If I had known better, I would have imprisoned Fire Fist Ace. Garp smiled dryly. Hey, the four emperors are becoming more and more powerful, and it will be difficult for us, Marine Base, to establish the new world. Buddha Sengoku became more and more troubled as he thought about it. Sengoku, isn't there just an opportunity now? Zhu Pu said. What chance? Advertisement. Garp knew that he had done something wrong regarding Ace, so he was eager to make amends. That guy Kaido of the Beasts has not shown up since he was captured fighting Whitebeard. Dahai thought he was dead. Even the captains of the Beasts pirates are a little suspicious, and the three plagues secretly want to compete for the captain's position. Kaido of the Beasts. Garp, 
You don't know what that madman is capable of, will he die? Indeed, we marine once captured Kaido of the beasts and couldn't kill him, but maybe Whitebeard has a way to do it. Don't forget that he is Whitebeard. Otherwise, with Kaido of the beasts crazy character, how could he disappear for so long? There should have been news a long time ago, Garp said. Buddha Sengoku frowned in deep thought. Indeed so. That guy from Kaido of the Beasts is a guy who can't take any time off. There's no way he can stay silent for two or three years. Does Whitebeard really have a way to kill Kaido of the Beasts? That would be great. One less four emperors is equivalent to one less whole. Why don't we take this opportunity to destroy the Beasts pirates with one blow, take back the territory controlled by the Beasts pirates, and continue to build the marine base? It is equivalent to inserting a sharp knife into the new world. If we want to take action against the other four emperors in the future, there will be many opportunities. It's also simple and easy. Garp raised his eyebrows. Huh. Garp, you actually learned how to use your brain. Although you are right, you can never cover up the mistake you made in Ace. Yes, yes, Kaka. Garp nodded while eating donuts. Sengoku, the Buddha whose head is full of black lines, is speechless. As Kaido of the beasts really dead? After thinking deeply in silence, Buddha Sengoku somewhat agreed with what Garp said. If they are not dead, what about others? It is impossible for them to disappear mysteriously, or to hide themselves actively. Is it possible? Marine headquarters, the safest place on the sea. However, necessary alertness and vigilance are indispensable. There are many marine patrols. The marine above the lighthouse always monitors the sea. Get ready. The G-12 warship returns, prepare to enter the bay. Wait, next to the G-12 warship there is a warship trying to overtake him. But no, it's not a warship, it's not a boat, it's a person. 75 Conquerors Hockey. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Human. The officer received a report from the marine patrol and was stunned for three seconds. Someone is rushing towards the marine headquarters. Not by boat. Are you sure this is not a joke? It's so fast. 3,000 meters. 1,000 meters away, you can't even see who it is. A huge wave of water quickly spread from the horizon to the Marine Headquarters Bay, surpassing all warships. Who is it? The Marines on the warship all stared blankly at the crazy figure from behind. Call out. The water wave spread into the bay and exploded suddenly. A huge water column rose into the sky, and a human figure leapt into the sky on the waves. The beast-like physique under the sun was reflected in the dull eyes of all marines who looked up. Boom. Like a meteorite crashing onto the ground, the square in Marine Bay collapsed, and the demonic head slowly rose up in the smoke. Come on, marine, add a little color to this boring day. The violent momentum rose into the sky, the hurricane picked up all the dust, and the terrifying wind instantly spread to the entire marine headquarters. The square collapsed layer by layer and even some nearby forts collapsed and shattered. This is an indescribable terrifying momentum. The sound generated by the roar alone can show substantial power. This is the power of the Emperor 647. Then, start making a plan to send troops to the beast's pirates. Kaido of the beasts should be in trouble. We really can't waste this opportunity. Otherwise, when the other four emperors react, Marine will not have the chance to seize the beast's pirates' territory. So this time, it's up to you Garp, what? This momentum. The terrifying momentum spread to the marine building instantly. Buddha Sengoku's expression changed drastically as he made a plan to dispatch troops. Advertisement. In an instant, they rushed to the window with Garp, looking at the terrifying figure in the square in the distance, their expressions couldn't help but stiffen. After a while, the two of them looked at each other, looking bitter and speechless, guy beasts. This moment, everyone at Marine Headquarters suddenly raised their heads. With such momentum, there are only a few people in the sea, right? Akainu rushed out of the office in an instant, and many strong people rushed out. But more weak people crawled to the ground in fear under such a violent momentum. Four Emperors Kaido of the Beasts. The guarded Marine was frozen in fear. Four Emperors came to the Marine Headquarters. How is it possible? CCCE alert. There were many hysterical roars at this moment. Sharp and piercing sirens instantly sounded throughout the marine headquarters. Invasion of Kaido of the Beasts. No one thought that Kaido of the Beasts, one of the four emperors, suddenly appeared at the marine headquarters, which was a good thing. Messy. 
Marine headquarters is in complete chaos. Although this is the place with the strongest defense and force in the sea, the enemy is the four emperors. Countless marines rushed out from every corner. Even the city behind marines headquarters became panicked. Marine quickly rushed through the streets and ordered all residents to stay indoors and not go out. In the recruit camp, Zephyr asked instructor to guide the frightened recruits to escape, while he commanded the marines in the city to guard and defend. Call out. Advertisement. One after another extremely fast figures rushed into the square. Kaido of the beasts. How dare you come to marine headquarters. Akainu rushed over quickly, and Admiral arrived, bringing confidence and courage to marine. Thousands of marines pointed guns at beast guy. It's so scary. Kaido of the beasts, a lunatic, actually came to the marine headquarters. Why? Kazaru arrived at the scene at the speed of light, looking a little wary. Facing the four emperors, even marine's highest combat power admiral cannot be arrogant. Seeing that you two don't like each other, I naturally came here. Kaido of the beasts Luo grinned, and marine couldn't help but tremble. The body belongs to Kaido of the beasts, and the voice of the throat is naturally the same, so the voice must not have changed much from the previous Kaido of the beasts, at most the tone has changed. Buddha Sengoku and Garp came to the square with heavy expressions. Just after Kaido of the beasts was determined to be dead and a plan was made to deal with the beasts pirates, the enemy invaded the marine headquarters. This dramatic scene made Sengoku speechless. Kaido of the beasts, why are you coming to the marine headquarters? Buddha Sengoku frowned and said seriously. He is the marshal of marine headquarters. There is always a reason to invade the marine headquarters, right? This is the marine headquarters, but it is a place that is feared by all pirates. There is no absolute reason. Even the emperor cannot come here casually, right? Something big will happen. Although Kaido of the beasts is strong, he is not the only one with the same status and strength in the sea. There is a king in every era. However, in the past decades, the marine headquarters has only been invaded once in its records. Nearly 20 years ago, Golden Lion, one of the kings of the previous era, invaded the marine headquarters. There is a reason for the Golden Lion invasion. What about Kaido of the Beast's rationale? Advertisement. It's so boring. The Marine Headquarters seems to be a good place to kill time. Kaido of the Beast's Luo said, Anyway, the body does not belong to him, and he has just gained such terrifying combat power. Even if you fail, you don't have to bear any consequences. Luo is indeed crazy. All Marine couldn't help but have black lines on his head. Even Buddha Sengoku almost choked to death with these words. Do you think this is an amusement park? This is the marine headquarters, the place where all pirates die, and you do it just to kill time. Are you sure you're not joking? If the enemy were anyone else, even the other four emperors, Buddha Sengoku could roar like this. But the enemy is Kaido of the beasts. The most famous and craziest guy in the sea. With your character, it's really possible. Buddha Sengoku said with a bitter smile. The notorious Kaido of the beasts, there are many people who randomly invade other powerful forces out of boredom. Who among the other four emperors has not been affected by Kaido of the beasts? Experience with beasts invasion. Marine was attacked countless times by Kaido of the beasts for no reason. This madman, I would rather face that whitebeard guy than face this madman. Kazaru could not maintain his usual lazy and joking expression. Among the top experts, the opponent that everyone least wants to face is probably Kaido of the Beasts. His abilities are too rogue. Have you accepted the reality of Lousy's arrival? Then raise your gun and draw your sword, and let's make a scene. The terrifying momentum roared, and many marines looked frightened and dull, their eyes were dull, and they fell to the ground. Conqueror's Hockey. Not part of Kaido of the Beasts Conqueror's Hockey. 76 or UF asterisk King Sick. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Conqueror's Hockey. Sengoku and Admirals. No one was shocked. Although Conqueror's Hockey is rare and has the qualifications to be a king, as the four emperors, the pinnacle figures of the sea, possessing the pinnacle of power and influence, not having Conqueror's Hockey is shocking. But now, Kaido of the Beasts, presents Conqueror's Hockey. But Sengoku and the others frowned slightly. I am not shocked by the horror of the Conqueror's Hockey shown now but confused by the weak Conqueror's Hockey shown now. Conqueror's Hockey also has levels. Although there is no clear written level, the strength of the Conqueror's Hockey each possesses is naturally different. 
For example, the red-haired man is called the most hockey, and the conqueror's hockey he possesses is recognized by the sea as the strongest hockey. Although there are only a few owners of conqueror's hockey, there are already more than two hands in the entire ocean. The conqueror's hockey possessed by Kaido of the Beasts is naturally one of the best in the ocean hockey level. However, the level of conqueror's hockey contained in the current aura is very low. It seems that the level of hockey he has just awakened is completely inconsistent with Kaido of the Beasts' identity and power emperor. Huh. Kaido of the Beasts, Luo, himself was at a loss. Advertisement. Conqueror's hockey is a concrete manifestation of spirit, not a direct output ability. Even if you control Kaido of the Beast's body, you cannot get Kaido of the Beast's Conqueror's Hockey. This Conqueror's Hockey belongs to me. Luo couldn't help but be surprised. Is this the awakened Conqueror's Hockey? Luo has never been very interested in Conqueror's Hockey. This ability, which is difficult to play a key role in the battle between top players, is indeed a bit useless compared to the direct output of attack capabilities. Luo prefers direct attack capabilities. What's more, he knows that his current abilities are numerous and complex, and all abilities have not been cultivated to the top level. Luo now just wants to improve the power of various abilities that Thunderfruit and Op Op Fruit already have. As for new abilities, Luo is not in the mood to learn for the time being. He is biting off more than he can chew. He must first master all the existing abilities perfectly. Otherwise, in the end, he will be good at everything but not good at anything, and will not be able to become a top figure. So I haven't been in the mood to spy on Conqueror's Hockey, and Conqueror's Hockey is not obtained through practice. Luo knew that as a Marine, it would be difficult for him to possess Conqueror's Hockey. Are there few strong Marines? There must be many pirates who are weaker than Admiral and Marshal but possess Conqueror's Hockey. But as strong as Admiral, it doesn't have Conqueror's Hockey. Conqueror's Hockey is an ability that only those born with the qualifications to be a king can possess. Although the Admiral is strong, in terms of status, there is a marshal above the admiral, there is a marshal above the marshal, and there are five elders above the marshal. Neither the admiral nor the marshal are the same in terms of status and fate. The king is just the strong one. Luo has no plans to leave the marine headquarters for the time being, nor does he plan to rebel and become a pirate. Anyway, he has no plans to surrender to marine, and he has no sense of belonging. He just chooses the best identity among the various identities in the sea and becoming the pirate king. Dominating the sea. These are not Luo's dreams nor his goals. Luo has always had only one goal, to become a top powerhouse and gain the ability to live forever. This is his goal. This is the ultimate goal that is more difficult to achieve than becoming the pirate king. Advertisement. But didn't expect Conqueror's Hockey to appear so unexpectedly. Am I born with the qualifications to be a king? Or is it because I stand proudly as Kaido of the Beasts now and my destiny is different, so it naturally triggers Conqueror's Hockey? Luo thought curiously. Is Kaido of the Beasts the king? He is the emperor. He is the absolute king among the Beasts pirates. Among the large number of territories and countries owned by the Beasts pirates, he is the only master. Not bad. Now that it has appeared, it is somewhat of an unexpected surprise, not to mention that Conqueror's Hockey does not need to be practiced. As its own strength and courage improve, it will naturally improve, and it can be regarded as an ability. I wonder if other marines will be shocked if I present Conqueror's Hockey in the future. Luo thought interestingly, I'm first the only marine man in history to own Conqueror's Hockey. Something strange. Sengoku looked at Kaido of the Beasts, Luo. Please give me flowers. Roar. Suddenly, Kaido of the Beasts, Luo, roared and the terrifying air waves sent hundreds of marines around screaming and flying out. The body of a humanoid Tyrannosaurus rushed out angrily. Attacked. Anyway, if you are here to mess around, then just mess around as much as you want. Ro targeted Akainu first. Right. Is Luo a person who must avenge his revenge? Eni's lobby Akainu's eyes and tone made Luo very unhappy. He has never been a person who can stand anger. If he is unhappy, he will naturally seek revenge. If he can't do it on the surface, then he will do it in a negative way. Anyway, if you are not happy, others will not be happy either. Advertisement. He has always maintained the ruthlessness of being a gangster. No matter how glamorous his identity is in the underworld, if he lacks ruthlessness in his heart, he will not survive long. Are you afraid of you? Akainu roared angrily, 
His arms turned into karst, and the scorching air waves made the surrounding marines move away quickly. A kainu boy, vomit blood, I said so. Kaido of the beasts Luo's fist was covered with substantial energy, golden light flourished, and he rushed to a kainu's side, but the opponent actually shot first. Karst fists bombarded. Boom. Hit. Right at the beginning, the karst fist hit Kaido of the beasts Luo in the chest. This madman, a kainu's pupils were wide open. Should he fight with my fist? Why shouldn't he hide? Kaido of the beasts Luo opened his mouth, and Akainu couldn't help but feel his scalp numb. It was not good. Hold back your fist. Is it too late? The terrifying power had been condensed long ago, and he grabbed the karst fist, and at the same time, the terrifying fist slammed on Akainu's head, which was to exchange injury for injury. Boom. Kaido of the beasts Luo had a huge blood hole in his chest, and Akainu was even worse. One of the four emperors attacked with all his strength, and the terrifying air wave was enough to cause an abyss-like crack to instantly spread to the guesthouse of the city square. Bang! It flew away. Akainu flew out with blood on his head and hit the ground a thousand meters away. That lunatic! Akainu stood up with difficulty and vomited blood. He could not vomit out the gloomy anger in his heart. He couldn't help but cursed. Are you f asterisk king sick? 77 Kazaru. This is power. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Are you sick? Akainu patted his head, which was in severe pain and bleeding. As an admiral, he had fought against too many strong men. But I have never encountered such a fighting style. It has just begun and it has not reached the last moment, but you are actually exchanging lives for lives. You are not a weakling. Do you still want to kill me with one strike? Although you are four emperors, but I am admiral, do you still want to crush me and kill me instantly? Absolutely impossible. Even if you have immortality, you still have to endure the pain, right? Recovering from the injury will at least waste your energy, right? The more he thought about it, the more depressed Akainu became, which was simply unreasonable. TCH, I thought you could kill me with this move, but I didn't expect it to be this bad. Lowering his head, Kaido of the beasts Luo looked at the blood hole in his chest that was rapidly recovering, and said something that Akainu couldn't help but. You are so scared of 040. As Kazaru spoke, his fingertips flashed with golden light, and a laser beam shot out instantly. Call out. With a casual move, the palm covered with energy blocked the laser, and golden light shone everywhere. All vice admirals and marines below, immediately retreat a thousand meters. Buddha Sengoku quickly issued an order. The opponent was the four emperors. Even the elite vice admiral would have difficulty getting involved. The choice of siege would only increase marine casualties. Although Qingji is not at the marine headquarters, he is strong enough. Garp, you should take action too. We can't let the damage expand further. We can't let Kaido of the beasts, a madman, destroy it. Buddha Sengoku said seriously. Advertisement. I'm going to take action even if you don't tell me. Garp moved his body, making a crackling sound. Akainu, Kazaru, and Garp are the three top powerhouses, and the finished glyphs surround Kaido of the beasts Luo. What? You don't take action, Buddha Sengoku. Kaido of the beasts Luo looked at Buddha Sengoku, who was leading the army at the rear. The latter did not speak, but the angry Akainu said coldly, Kaido of the beasts, the three of us isn't that enough. If you can defeat the three of us, you won't lose to that old guy Whitebeard. Quote. It seems, Akainu, you didn't bleed enough, point. HMPH. Akainu looked slightly ferocious. This guy Kaido of the beasts cannot be killed, so there is no need to aim at his fatal point. You just need to continuously cause damage to him, constantly consume his physical strength, and exhaust him as quickly as possible. Garp was wrapped in hockey. Come first. Garp. Kaido of the Beasts Luo felt Garp's amazing energy and his pupils shrank. Although Garp is a vice admiral, no one thinks that he only has the power of a vice admiral. He definitely has the ability of an admiral or even more. Is four emperors strong? Very strong. Is admiral strong? Very strong. Who is better, four emperors or admiral? Under normal circumstances, four emperors is slightly stronger than admiral but two admiral four emperors are at least 50% likely to lose, and three. Even Whitebeard at his peak cannot win. Will Kaido of the Beasts Luo be defeated? When fighting, you can't be distracted. 
I didn't expect that the dignified Kaido of the beasts would make such a mistake. It's so strange. While squinting at Garp, a golden light suddenly dazzled in front of Kaido of the beasts Luo, and he moved at the speed of light. Kazaru raised his right foot as he came, and a large number of light particles gathered on the sole of his foot. Kaido of the beasts, have you ever tried the feeling of being kicked at the speed of light? Speed is power. Advertisement. Call out. A light speed kick, instantly hitting Kaido of the beasts Luo, in the abdomen. The terrifying explosion ring expanded hundreds of meters and shattered hundreds of meters in an instant. Is this your power, Kazaru? It's very weak. In the smoke and dust of the explosion, Kaido of the Beasts Luo used his body to withstand the light speed kick while grabbing Kazaru's right foot. You lunatic. Kazaru's face changed drastically, and he could no longer maintain his usual lazy and lewd smile. How could anyone not block or dodge in the face of such an attack? Suddenly, a terrifying air wave tore open the explosion ring, Garp rushed in angrily, and the fist covered by the substantial armament hockey bombarded the back of the white handed Kaido Luo. Hakusho Kaido, aren't you still hiding? So what if I let you attack? White-handed Kaido, Luo, grinned, ignoring Garp's attack from behind. While holding Kazaru's right foot with one hand, he covered it with the fist of the other hand. Kazaru, let you realize what real Emperor Lee. Laser. Anxious Kazaru instantly shot out a terrifying laser beam. Boom. The fist shattered the beam and crashed into Kazaru's body. Garp's fist also slammed into the back of white-hand Kaido, Luo. The same terrifying power was loaded into both of their bodies. Advertisement. The terrifying power made all the wrinkles on Kazaru's wretched old face stretch out. He vomited blood and flew backwards like a laser with a hiss, flew thousands of meters, hit the building, and exploded. The power is not yours. Playing tricks is strength, understand, Kazaru. And Garp's fists were also difficult to withstand. The bones in Beisho Kaido's body are not broken, and the dented fist marks are clearly visible on his back. It's very strong. Looking back, Kaido, Luo, looked at Garp with his bare hands. The strength of the wheel was that Garp was not weaker than Kaido of the beasts. Maybe what Garp lacked was just an immortal body. This guy. Garp's brows twitched, and the hockey that appeared all over his body improved again, to the highest level, and his fists wildly bombarded Kaido of the beasts. Not far away, Akainu looked sympathetically at the beam of light that flew out. There is quite a feeling of sympathy for each other. Boom. Waves of air rising into the sky stirred up the wind and clouds. The two men, who could be called the most terrifying pure power of the sea, fought frantically with their fists. Every blow, the air waves seemed to split the world into two halves. Two different energies of black and gold appeared, the entire marine headquarters was shaking violently, and abyss-like cracks quickly spread out from the square. Horrifying. Marine retreated again and again in the distance, looking at the two people who were fighting madly in horror. It was so terrifying. One punch was enough to destroy a mountain, and they actually fought hundreds of times without stopping. What kind of power is this? How can I let you continue to destroy? This is Marine headquarters, not New World. Akainu roared angrily. With his fist karstified, he instantly participated in the battle. Two fists are no match for four hands. What's more, both of them are top powerhouses. Although Akainu is a Logia, his power is also extremely terrifying. With the bonus of fruit ability, his destructive power is not much inferior to Garp. 29%. 78 Che, are you still alive? Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Bang bang bang. Unable to block. Kaido, Luo's bare-handed fists could not block the two people's crazy attacks at the same time. Fists kept hitting his chest. Boom. The beast-like physique of Kaido of the beasts was forced to retreat under the terrifying attack, and kept retreating, 100 meters, 200 meters. How about this? Kaido of the beasts, Akainu said proudly. It doesn't feel good. Such a crazy attack. Akainu and Garp couldn't bear it. Their breaths were disordered and they looked at the white-handed Kaido, Luo, with his head lowered. Did he immediately fall into a coma? The fluffy long hair hangs down naturally, and as the white-handed Kaido, Luo, suddenly raises his head, the fluffy long hair rises like a lion's mane. Are your fists hurting? Have you hit enough? Beisho Kaido, Luo, grinned, and Garp and Shigu couldn't help but twitch their eyelids. Now Kaido, Luo, is in a very bad situation. 
There was a huge blood hole in the chest, and there were a lot of injuries, and the skin was torn. It would be difficult for anyone to survive with such injuries. But by 22 hand Kaido, Luo, didn't care at all. The appearance of such a smile despite such an injury is most shocking and frightening. It's my turn. Kaido of the beast stepped out suddenly, his momentum rising to the sky. Boom. Garp and Akainu shot again at the same time. Advertisement. But this time, the white-handed Kaido, Luo, ignored Garp's attack and allowed it to be loaded into his body. He only aimed at Akainu, used his palms to withstand the karst and power, and caught Akainu. He wants. The scene just now flashed through Akainu's mind. Not good. Without any surprise, Kaido of the Beast's fists attacked Akainu frantically. Block it. Akainu hurriedly blocked it with his fists. But the bottom was ignored. Boom. Kaido of the Beast's terrifying elephant-like right foot was wrapped with energy, like a golden pillar reaching the sky, and crashed into Akainu's chest. The power was so terrifying that the terrifying shock wave instantly extended from the back of the dog to the outer seaside. One of the four emperors attacked with all its strength, and the admiral couldn't even hope to hold it back. Puff. Akainu spurted out a mouthful of blood and flew backwards again. His body shattered with a bang in the air, and a large amount of karst was scattered on the ground. Garp is still attacking crazily. White-handed Kaido, Luo, still didn't protect himself. But now without Akainu's side support, Kaido, Luo, can take action. The fist attacks Garp, bypassing Garp's fist, just to retaliate with injury. Rumble. The two men's terrifying fists attacked each other at the same time, and they retreated at the same time. The ground shook and cracked with every step. Garp groaned a few times, and his blood couldn't help but surge up. The injuries were not minor. It's just a mental illness. The karst of the earth slowly condensed into Akainu. He wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth with a ferocious expression. His abdomen was sunken and his injuries were even more serious. Advertisement. So much fighting. Akainu has never experienced such a frustrating battle. And his fighting style is so rogue, it's disgusting. Kaido of the beasts, are you just here to suffer? Akainu cursed angrily. Kaido, Luo, must have been seriously injured among all the injuries, but his injuries recovered at an extremely fast speed. Horrified. It took more than 10 seconds for the top powerhouse to be seriously injured and difficult to treat, and more than half of it was recovered. How can we fight? Kazaru, who teleported back at the speed of light, smiled bitterly and looked at Kaido of the beasts with some fear. He was indeed a little scared of this fighting style. His fists were not so easy to bear. He still feels I felt severe pain all over my body. At the same time, although this fighting method is difficult, his physical strength is exhausted very quickly and he cannot last long. To be honest, Garp is also very resistant to this fighting method from the bottom of his heart. But what else can be done? Rumble. The three top strong men rushed at the same time and attacked at the same time. Facing such a situation, any strong man would find it difficult to resist. Boom. The terrifying attack was simultaneously loaded into Kaido's body, and the explosion ring spread to a thousand meters. On the broken earth, Akainu and the others stared at the motionless white-handed Kaido. Are you unconscious? TCH, are you still alive? Suddenly, Kaido, Luo, laughed dissatisfiedly. What are you doing? That's it. Keep going. Neuropathy. Even Garp couldn't help but curse. The three men came angrily again. Rumble. The terrifying attack crazily hit Kaido, Luo, no matter how fast the recovery speed was, it was difficult to keep up with the damage caused by such an attack. Advertisement. But the three of them didn't feel so comfortable. Every time, the white-handed Kaido, Luo, only targets one person, and then he catches one person and attacks crazily, regardless of how the other two attack. And every time someone is caught, everyone is unlucky, at least having to withstand a powerful blow from the four emperors. As for this kind of unlucky guy, Akainu plays the most often, followed by Kazaru, and finally Garp. As for it, within a short period of time, the loyal dog was seriously injured. Boom. Akainu flew upside down again, and stood up with difficulty holding on to the ground. The blood at the corner of his mouth had no time to wipe away. Every time it was wiped off, it would reappear soon. Akainu, who flew upside down more than ten times, looked at the completely crazy white-handed Kaido, Law. I'm starting to have some doubts about life. Is he really crazy? Do I have a grudge against him? 
he gritted his teeth and participated in the battle again. Ha ha ha, so happy. Faced with the crazy attacks of the three top powerhouses, Beisho Kaido, Luo, was still in a mood to laugh. I never want to meet this monster in my life. Such a terrifying scene made many marines swallow their saliva and Admiral was so embarrassed. If he met this madman, wouldn't it be even worse? Among the four emperors, the beast's pirates are probably the most troublesome. Once Kaido of the beasts goes crazy, he can be more harmful than Whitebeard. Sengoku also looked at Kaido of the beasts with some fear. Forget about the terrifying strength. It just so happens that he also has the ability to be immortal. And it's so crazy. Doesn't this give the sea an extra bomb that can detonate the world at any time? Sengoku felt that his brain was hurting. It seems you can't kill me. During the melee, Beisho Kaido, Luo, was in a good mood and showed his hands, as if all kinds of terrifying attacks were not loaded into his body at all. Then the game is over. 79 It's time to graduate. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. P.S. Please subscribe. Please subscribe automatically. Kaido of the Beasts, Luo, shook his tiger body, and the energy wrapped around his body expanded instantly, forcing the three strong men around him to retreat. Goodbye, Marines. Kaido of the Beasts, Luo, grinned at the Marines. The smile was obviously not ferocious at all, but it made all the Marines' scalps numb, and Sengoku couldn't help but twitch the corner of his mouth. Boom. As soon as he finished speaking, Kaido of the Beasts, Luo, rushed towards the seaside at a high speed. More than half of his body's strength was actually consumed. If he continued to fight, he would really be defeated by exhaustion. Although he would not die, it would be a waste of time. I'm still waiting in Eni's lobby. It's best to leave. Sengoku breathed a sigh of relief and did not order to stop it. It's not like I haven't caught Kaido of the beasts before, but what happens after I catch him? He can't be killed, and in the end he just leaves leisurely. It would be best to leave now. Even the most angry Akainu rarely held back and looked angrily at Kaido of the Beasts, Luo, passing by. Oh, yes, let's do it again. Kaido of the Beasts grinned at Akainu, took advantage of him and punched Akainu away, then rushed into the sea with laughter and disappeared into the vast sea. That's psycho, I'm going to kill him. Akainu roared. Akainu, are you sure you can do it? Akainu almost choked to death at Kazaru's words. Advertisement. It's finally over. Sengoku looked around. Although the damage was serious, Marine suffered little loss and no deaths. The square was seriously damaged but could be restored soon. It's the best result. It seems that Madman is really bored and is here to have fun. Facing Kaido of the Beasts, Sengoku could only smile bitterly. Only this guy can come to the Marine headquarters to have fun, right? Otherwise, even the stronger Whitebeard and Marine headquarters can still be defeated by the human sea tactics. It's best not to meet that lunatic again. Pipe pipe dot quote. Kazaru cursed secretly, fighting was too frustrating, and he was beaten in vain. Even the most angry Akainu thought so in his heart, he really didn't want to meet him. It seems that the plan to exterminate the beast's pirates has been aborted. Garp also smiled bitterly, and Marine also smiled bitterly. An inexplicable battle, and then an inexplicable end. How many Marines are still confused? Why? What happened? Kaido of the Beasts invaded the Marine headquarters. Although the battle came to an end quickly, such an amazing battle could not be hidden at all. Soon it spread across the sea. In an instant, any news that Kaido of the Beasts was dead was shattered. Faced with such a strange and unexpected battle, everyone within Marine was still at a loss, let alone everyone in the sea. The Emperor has finally appeared. Beasts Pirates, Kaido of the Beasts are the absolute emperors, and the top combat power is called the three major disasters. The three of them are sitting on one side of the conference table at this time. No need to fight, the emperor has appeared. I hope our emperor will come back soon. He has been away from the pirate group for three years. He is so incompetent. Advertisement. The emperor is used to being alone. As long as the emperor is around, no one will dare to mess with this beast's pirates. I said that the emperor is immortal and cannot be killed by anyone. The center of Dahai's discussion was now lying in the closed cabin, making no sound. Energy like a dream. Luo, whose soul returned to his body, looked at the body of Kaido of the beasts, and everything that happened at the marine headquarters was still emerging in his mind. It's just a temporary itch, and it starts and ends suddenly, which is normal. 
With Kaido of the Beasts as a clone, anything can be done. Not only because of the strength and ability of Kaido of the Beasts for Emperors, but also because of the ability to control Kaido of the Beasts to do things, the real person is completely hidden. It is equivalent to controlling everything secretly. This feeling. Luo couldn't help but recall that when he was in the underworld, the underworld bosses were no longer at the stage where they used to take out knives on the streets to kill people. They all had the status of successful people, at least on the surface they had a clear background. But secretly controls everything in the underworld. It's a pity that the underworld forces are on the rise again. It is powerless against the government and is easily destroyed. But in the pirate world, as long as it is strong, what about the world government? Can it control it? Although secret control is good, one's own strength is the most important. Luo always values the development of his own strength the most. Even during this time, we have been developing ways to control Kaido of the beasts. But the greatest focus is still on improving one's own strength. Luo's power now far exceeds what it was half a year ago. Advertisement. There is still a lot of room for improvement in various abilities. Luo recalled the abilities he currently possesses. He has no plans to focus on developing new abilities for the time being. Improving existing abilities is the most important thing. Now Luo has a lot of abilities. It already has two fruits. Surgery and Thunder. Each fruit has many abilities and many methods of attack. If you are greedy and spend a lot of energy to develop new abilities, you will definitely not be good at everything. After all, human energy is limited, and love will not make such a big mistake. At most, you can explore new abilities in your free time. Work hard, I hope to be able to crush everything with myself one day. Luo returned to his original state, forgetting everything, practicing to the extreme, crazily improving his physical strength, and constantly increasing his attack power. Strength increases rapidly, time passed slowly, and more than three months passed quickly. The aftermath of that battle was mentioned by the sea from time to time, but it was far less sensational than it was at the beginning. The marine headquarters has also returned to normal. The square that was damaged by the war has also been repaired, and everything is back to normal. Recruit camp is as usual. Chief Instructor Zephyr inspected the training situation of the recruits at the training ground. After giving some guidance, he returned to his office independently. Zephyr, who had just sat down, glanced at the calendar on the wall. Huh. Zephyr looked at the calendar. May 19th. It didn't seem like an important day, but Zephyr always felt something was wrong. On this day, nothing important happened in history, right? Thinking hard, Zephyr always felt that he had overlooked something. After a cup of tea, Zephyr slapped his head and finally remembered. He couldn't help but feel a little angry. That guy Luo, he forgot such an important day. Doesn't he know that he entered the recruitment camp nine years ago today? Time. You haven't come back to apply for graduation yet, what is that guy doing? 30%. 80 inches arc proverbs, battleship. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Recruit battalion general instructor's office. That guy Luo, did you forget the date? Zephyr raised his eyebrows and complained silently. Does he want to be the first student in the recruiting camp who fails to graduate? The headquarters recruitment camp adopts a three-phase system. Each phase is three years, and the longest period is nine years. After nine years of being unable to complete the graduation examination, he could only be expelled from the recruiting camp or become the lowest reserve marine. The headquarters recruit camp does not train ordinary marines, it trains officers. As long as you complete the graduation assessment from the headquarters recruit camp, the lowest military rank is corporal. That bastard. Zephyr angrily picked up the phone and said, put me through Annie's lobby. He never believed that Luo could not complete the graduation examination. He was able to do it for six years. Then there is only one possibility. He didn't take the graduation assessment in his heart at all and had forgotten about it a long time ago. Spandam. Put Trafalgar Law on the phone. The translator sounded dissatisfied. Zephyr Admiral. What happened? Eni's lobby Spandam asked cautiously. That was his ancestor. He didn't dare to offend the city's Hanfa General 440, let alone get it. What? Isn't Trafalgar Law at Eni's lobby? This. This. I don't know. Spandam knew that Luo was in Eni's lobby but the tone seemed like something was very wrong. He didn't dare to sell Luo casually, so he had to destroy it. Eni's lobby. 
Advertisement. I'll ask first, and after I get the accurate answer, I'll tell Zephyr Admiral. Okay. Zephyr hung up the phone with a bang. It seems something big has happened. Doesn't Zephyr Admiral think highly of Lord Trafalgar Law? Why is he so dissatisfied? Spandam hurriedly contacted Luo on the phone. Without an order, he could not enter the laboratory. Luo, who had long forgotten the time limit for practicing in the basement, was confused for a moment after hearing the news. Nothing happened recently, right? It's impossible to control Kaido of the beast's invasion of Marine Headquarters by himself, right? It's impossible. What's more, when controlling Kaido of the beasts to invade the Marine Headquarters, there was no killing. At most, some places were destroyed. These losses were easily solved for the Marine Headquarters. With doubts, Luo used the phone to connect to Zufa. Just after connecting, before I could ask, Zephyr Admiral's roaring voice came. Trafalgar Law, what are you doing? Have you forgotten today? What's the day today? The doubtful words made Zephyr even more angry. The guy had indeed forgotten. Graduation assessment is one of the most important things for recruit students. That guy actually forgot. Does the recruitment camp really have no status in his eyes? Nine years ago today was the first day you entered the recruit camp, do you want to be the first student in the history of the recruit camp who failed to graduate? Do you want to be the tenth student who failed to graduate? Oh. Luo suddenly realized. Has it turned out that graduation time has come? Advertisement. Go back to Marine Headquarters immediately and take the graduation exam immediately. Zephyr roared. I still have something to do. I guess I won't be able to come back today. Tomorrow. Is there anything more important than the graduation exam? Could it be? Forget it. I just owe you. The tired Zephyr took deep breaths to calm down the emotional fluctuations in his heart. Are all geniuses so unconventional? Then it's time to leave. After hanging up the phone, Luo calmly packed up everything before teleporting out of the laboratory. Spandam has been waiting here for a long time. Sir, nothing happened. It's nothing, CCDD, it's just a small thing like forgetting the graduation exam. My lord, you have forgotten such an important matter. As expected of your lord, no wonder Zephyr Admiral is so angry. Spandam stared blankly at Luo Yuan's back. Go to the water city first. Boarding the warship, the goal is not the marine headquarters, but the water city. The delay Luo mentioned was going to the water capital to receive the Ark Proverbs battleship that the water capital had built a year ago. Without the help of Ark's Proverbs, some records in the recruiting camp would be difficult to break. Some records cannot be achieved by strength alone. The record held by Qingji, the maximum range of attack ability is up to 24 kilometers, which is an extremely terrifying attack range. Without a super wide attack method, it is impossible to break it. Luo doesn't have many group attacks, and he can't reach the terrifying range of 24 kilometers. The City of Water. Advertisement. Sir, the Ark's Proverbs was completed a month ago. It fully meets all requirements. The material is also made of the best giant tree in the sea, Adam. Lu Qi's current identity is a member of the Water City Shipbuilding Company. The handover ceremony was completed with Luo's business affairs. Is he the owner of this good ship? He actually wanted to design it to use lightning as power to give the ship the power to fly. Although it is completed, how much current is needed to do it? Even if it is fully loaded with generators, it will not have such a large power right. The director of Water City is also the owner of a shipbuilding company. Bingxian looked at Luo who boarded the Ark Proverbs with confusion. Good. Take a look around the Ark Proverbs. 100 meters long and 30 meters wide, it is slightly larger than a marine warship, but not bloated. The hull structure is not too fancy. Luo prefers a simple and elegant style. There are no gorgeous decorations such as statues made of gold. There is only hockey's golden throne on the deck. This is Luo's position. Sitting on it, you can use thunder and lightning to generate power. Inside the ship is a complex mechanical structure. The most unique thing about Ark Proverbs is that it does not have the sails that ships usually have. This is a ship that does not rely on wind power to sail. Thunder and lightning can be used as a driving force to allow it to fly and sail quickly in the sea. But it is not only lightning that can be used as power, it is also loaded with the mechanical power component of marine warships. It can sail in the sea without lightning power. Obtain the most perfect battleship for Luo's ability. 
With such a battleship, both the future and the subsequent recruitment assessment will be unfavorable. Go back to Marine Headquarters. 81 The Weirdest Student in the Recruit Camp. Previous Chapter. Next Chapter. Advertisement. Marine Headquarters Recruit Camp. In the early morning, recruits entered the recruiting camp training ground one after another. The morning training had not yet started, and two or three friends gathered together to chat. And on one wall, a large number of recruits were clustered, pointing at the wall. What's wrong? An instructor came over seriously. What are you gathering together for? Are you making trouble? Don't hurry up. Disperse. Instructor. We are not making trouble, we are just. A recruit student pointed to the file hanging on the wall with a strange expression. Huh. Instructor looked at the wall files curiously. The yellowed paper has a slightly childish face. Trafalgar Law. See Circle Calendar 1509 entering the recruiting camp on May 19th, huh? Instructor was stunned. This year is May 20th of Sea Circle Calendar 1518. Instructor, this recruit has been in the recruiting camp for more than nine years. A recruit whispered. There are actually students in the recruitment camp who have not graduated in nine years. Or our senior, who is he? Why have I never seen this Trafalgar Law classmate? You can't die in the actual combat assessment, right? But even if you die in the battle, the file will be cancelled. Many recruits gathered here because they were curious about this. The headquarters recruitment camp selects a group of students with the highest talent and potential from all recruits. Coupled with excellent instructor quality and perfect education system. Advertisement. The headquarters recruitment camp is rich in strong people. Even if the students are not outstanding, compared to the entire C, they are still extremely good officers. Although it is a nine-year system. However, most of the graduation time for the headquarters recruitment camp is around five or six years, and ordinary students can complete the graduation assessment in five or six years. Of course, it is impossible that there will always be some super scumbags in decades. But at least I have been outstanding and have self-esteem beyond ordinary people. In those individual cases, students who are unable to complete the graduation assessment will mostly persist until the eighth year and then take the initiative to apply to leave the recruitment camp. Otherwise, the endless different looks and ridicules will drive people crazy. Therefore, in history, there have never been students who have not graduated after more than nine years. Trafalgar Law seems to be a bit impressive. Instructor frowned and thought, looking at the file records, I got second place in the first actual combat. Although the results in the subsequent assessments were not outstanding, they were still average. But six years later, there were almost no results. Didn't he participate in the performance assessment? Very weird file. The training ground is surrounded by student files, and every student's file is hung on the wall. Among them are the time to enter the recruitment camp and the results of the respective assessments. The purpose is naturally to stimulate the student's fighting spirit. It's probably just a flash in the pan. He was very good when he first entered the recruiting camp, but in the end he couldn't grow up. Although such short-lived geniuses are extremely rare, instructor has seen a few of them. In my opinion, it's clear that he is lazy. He is despised because of his excellence, and eventually falls to the bottom. That's right, otherwise I wouldn't even have the courage to take the exam in the end, and I would even forget the time for the final graduation exam. I guess I wouldn't dare to come back for fear of embarrassment. Recruits who are willing to degenerate are simply not good enough to be with us. The tone of the young and energetic recruits was not so kind. Advertisement. They all have an arrogance in their hearts that is beyond ordinary people, and naturally they only see people of the same level as themselves. After graduation, he will be an officer. And the guy who couldn't even pass the graduation exam couldn't even reach the most basic level of marine. He was not at the same level at all. Morning exercises have begun. Everyone should take this as a warning. Instructor pointed to the Trafalgar Law file. Practice hard, complete the graduation examination as quickly as possible, and become an excellent military officer. Yes, instructor. Don't worry, how could we be like this person? We will definitely be able to complete the graduation examination, and it will definitely not take more than six years. Yes, how can we imitate such a guy? Recruit Camp Gate. Recruiters are entering the recruiting camp one after another, morning training is about to begin, and the guard begins to close the door. At this time, a young man stood in front of the door, holding the closed door with one hand, 
wait a moment. Please give me flowers. Are you a recruit? The guard looked at the young man outside the door suspiciously. It seemed that he was not young. Was he a senior student? But he didn't seem to recognize him. After working as a guard for several years, he knew all the recruits. He must be another fake and wants to enter the recruit camp. Stealing lessons. The guard looked at the young man outside the door warily. Yes, I am a student from the headquarters recruitment camp. The young guard took out his student ID. Advertisement. Really? The student ID is genuine, but the guard still looked at the young man suspiciously. He didn't even wear a recruit uniform, and his temperament was completely inconsistent with that of a recruit. Is he really that? By the way, I remember, he seems to be that, recruit. At this time, another old recruit next to him pulled the doorman who closed the door. He is indeed a recruit, let him in. Really or not, the young guard looked at the back of the young man who walked in the door with confusion. Don't be wrong, if something happens, we will be in trouble. Don't worry, there is a record of him in the training ground file. He is the recruit who couldn't graduate in nine years. Oh, the young guard suddenly remembered and couldn't help but smile. It turned out to be that weird recruit whose name he only heard. He was actually back, could it be that he was here to take the graduation examination? But time had passed. And it has not been passed for nine years. Is it useful to come now? It seems that anywhere, even in the recruiting camp of the headquarters with so many talented people, there are always a few weaklings. The young guard suddenly raised a proud smile on his lips. Although I am a guard, at least I am also a real marine. Eh, hey, what is that guy doing? The two guards followed Luo's back with contemptuous eyes. Suddenly he stopped. Stop in front of the most dazzling recorder's stone in the recruiting camp. Why does he still want to break any record in the recruiting camp? Tisk, he can't even complete graduation, yet he is so ambitious and hopeless. Human nature has a tendency to ridicule the weak to gain the pleasure of one's own superiority. In front of the stone monument, the young man slowly raised his head and touched the stone tablet with one hand. Brick. Rumble. 31%. 82 just break the record. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Shatter. There was a scratch, and cracks appeared on the stone tablet touched by Luo. What is that guy doing? The guard with a sarcastic look on his face turned pale for a moment and looked at the cracked stone tablet. It's over. He howled and sat down on the ground. Do you want to die? Don't take us with you. The old guard came angrily and stared at Trafalgar Law angrily. This is tragic. The young guard looked at the spreading cracks on the stone tablet stupidly. Don't break it, otherwise I will definitely send it to Annie's lobby. The stone tablet did not exist because of that extravagant gaze. It broke into pieces with a bang, and the gravel was scattered on the ground. It's completely over. The young guard knelt on the ground listlessly. You bastard. The old guard grabbed Luo's collar and roared hysterically. We will die, we will die. That is the highest honor and the most precious thing in the recruiting camp. Recording stone. The actual value of the wheel is just an ordinary stone tablet, which is worthless. But that is the highest honor of the recruit camp, the symbolism is too great, and the record holders above are the ones with the highest combat effectiveness and power in the Marine Corps. Who knows, can they accept that their former glory has been trampled and shattered like this? If it's broken, it's broken. Just change it earlier so you don't have to move it later. Luo gently pushed the doorman aside and smiled. That madman can still laugh, but doesn't he know that it will kill people? Record the broken stone tablet and the roar of the guard. Don't be careful about any movement. He instantly attracted the recruits who were doing morning exercises at the training ground. Advertisement. What's wrong? The stone tablet is broken. That's a record stone tablet, how could it be broken? The recruits forgot about training, and the instructors also forgot about guidance, and they all looked here blankly. The stunned expression slowly turned into anger. As members of the recruiting camp, they cannot tolerate the highest honor of the recruiting camp being trampled upon in this way. The record stone is the driving force for all recruits to move forward, and the strong men recorded on it are the idols they worship. What happened? The instructors came angrily. All recruits are surrounding here. Whoever dares to destroy the recording stone tablet will not be treated lightly. Yes, kill him. The recruits roared with indignation. It's him, it's him, it's him who destroyed the record stone. The guards couldn't bear such a crime, 
and the two guards pointed at Luo angrily. You. For a moment, Luo became a popular figure. Perhaps few people here have seen Luo in person, and all the students who were in the same period as Luo have graduated. But the recruits are no strangers to Luo. I don't know how many times I secretly mocked this weird student in the recruiting camp. Trafalgar Law is a disgrace to our recruiting camp. Because I couldn't complete my career, I felt resentful and destroyed the record stone. It's unforgivable. Send him into Eni's lobby, send him into Impel Down. Advertisement. Yes, it must be severely punished. The recruits roared angrily, and if the instructor hadn't stopped them, all the recruits would have rushed forward. Where is Teacher Zephyr? Luo ignored all the angry people and did not see Zephyr Admiral. He actually looks disapproving. Catch him now. Just when the instructors couldn't help but take action. Are you making trouble together? Isn't it time for morning training? What are you doing? A serious voice came from behind. The movement in the training ground caught Zephyr's attention in the office, and he walked out with a dark face. Dissatisfied eyes glanced at the recruit instructors. They didn't take morning exercises seriously. What's the point of their future? Under Zephyr's serious expression, all the recruits and instructors lowered their heads and obediently made way for them. That bastard actually looks calm. Wait, Zephyr Admiral will definitely not let him off easily. That's right, just wait to be sent to impel down. The recruits secretly stared at Luo angrily. Make a way. Zephyr saw the situation at a glance. Trafalgar Law, are you finally willing to come back? Zephyr said angrily with a tone full of complaints, but there was still a smile in his eyes, although Luo's lack of attention to various assessments in the recruiting camp made Zephyr helpless and even angry. But Luo's efforts were highly praised by Zephyr. But when Zephyr inadvertently swept across the gravel on the ground. Eh, hey, why are there so many rubbles here? Shouldn't there be a record stone tablet here? He was confused for a moment, and when his peripheral vision scanned some words on the rubble, the corner of Zephyr's mouth twitched seriously. Is it possible? Zephyr Admiral, Trafalgar Law destroyed the record stone. Please punish him severely. An instructor said angrily. Advertisement. Dot 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 question mark quote. The corners of Zephyr's mouth were already cramped. Luo, what did you do? When he saw Luo's nod, Zephyr's expression froze. Why? The tone was a little angry. It's just a stone tablet. Just build another one. Luo said in a relaxed tone. Zephyr was speechless. What? The recruits and instructors stared at Luo with burning eyes. That is a record stone, but it is a representative of glory. You treat it as an ordinary stone. The impact is too bad, and the impact on the recruiting camp is too great. Even Ain, who followed Zephyr, looked at Luo with black lines on his head. By the way, when you build it again, remember that the name should be mine. Luo Yi grinned and said with a smile. Luo, what do you mean, you want to break the record? Zephyr looked at Luo in shock. There is a situation where the record stone will be replaced, and that is when a new record holder appears. Naturally, the name of the previous holder will be erased and replaced with a new one. The holder's name. 5.5 is correct. Luo said proudly. Are you dreaming? A guy who can't even complete the graduation exam actually wants to break the highest record in the recruiting camp. It seems really crazy. The recruits suddenly stopped being angry. What's the point of being angry with a psychopath? It seems that he is out of his mind. He has no idea what the record in the recruiting camp means. Almost all recruits can do the graduation assessment. But the record holder of the recruiting camp, no one can break any of them in 10 years. In the past 10 years, at least hundreds of recruits have come and gone in the recruiting camp, and even the first place cannot be achieved. The record holder of the recruiting camp needs to be written by the emperor. It has long been beyond the boundaries of recruits, and it is difficult for the elite vice admiral to break any of them. 83 Cheating. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Luo, do you want to break a new record or create a record? Zephyr asked with a frown. He did not look down on Luo. He was so evil six years ago. In Zephyr's heart, Luo's potential was on the same level as the current admirals. Not impossible. But Qingji Akainu and others were only in their 30s when they graduated. And Luo was only 22 years old. There are only two possibilities for being qualified to leave your name on the record stone. One is to break an existing record or create a new record. 
However, an original record must be unanimously approved by all instructors to be eligible to leave it. On top of the stone monument, there is no way that the most able to eat records in the recruiting camp and the most able to sleep with these records are also qualified, right? Trafalgar Law, come to the office with me first. Zephyr also understood that this was not the place to discuss matters, so he turned and walked towards the office. You guys, continue to practice, and this matter will eventually be explained. HMPH, the arrogant and unreasonable 22nd generation actually wants to break the record. Let's wait for the punishment of Zephyr Admiral. That's right. Especially when Aim, the goddess of the recruiting camp, left together with Luo and walked very close together, the recruits' eyes became even more angry. Huh. If Ain remembers correctly, you should have entered the recruitment camp earlier than me. Haven't you graduated yet? Luo looked at Ain in surprise. She didn't have the strength to graduate, right? Luo, how long has it been since you came to the recruitment camp? I haven't seen you in three years. Ain rolled his eyes and said in a somewhat resentful tone, I completed the graduation exam three years ago, but I just stayed in the recruitment camp. I hope to become stronger in training under teacher Zephyr. Advertisement. Oh, really? Luo looked at Aim, the once adorable little girl. It is now slim and graceful. Back in the office, Zephyr looked serious the whole time, and the atmosphere was a little solemn. Luo, you are too impulsive. Even if you have the intention to apply to break a certain record, you should wait until you achieve it before destroying and replacing the stone monument, instead of now, every record you should understand the difficulty, right? Even if Luo you want to break any of them, it is not very possible. If you can't do it, I won't be able to cover up today's mistakes. Teacher Zephyr, Luo can definitely do it. Ain helped Luo speak. What changed over time was Ain's figure, giving her the charm of a woman. But her trust in Luo has not diminished over time, even though she has no idea what kind of abilities Luo has now. When will the recording and assessment start? Luo didn't want to say more. It didn't matter whether he believed him or not. Just speak with the facts. What are you starting to do? Zephyr looked at Luo angrily. It's the 20th this year. According to the regulations, you don't have the chance to take the graduation assessment. This is the first time I have violated the rules I set. I will complete the graduation assessment first. Point 1 7. Isn't it enough to graduate after completing the graduation assessment? And the records in the recruitment camp are only valid if they are broken during the recruitment stage, right? Luo asked doubtfully. Otherwise, he wouldn't believe that Garp's current strength only has 12,000 Taoist powers. But I don't believe that Qingji's full attack at this time can only cover 24 kilometers. Completing the graduation assessment does not mean immediate graduation. Instructors also need to calculate the assessment results during the recruitment camp and what the recruit is good at. After calculating the various data, they will submit it to the Marine Building. The Marine Headquarters will pass the various development prospects of the recruit. So as to be arranged into the most suitable team, it will take at least three or four days, which is enough for you to pass the record assessment. Zephyr said angrily. Advertisement. Oh, to be honest. Luo didn't know much about the common sense in the recruiting camp. After all, the time in recruiting camp is too short. What about the graduation assessment, including those assessments? Luo Jen asked curiously. Since those guys outside could easily complete the graduation assessment, Luo Jen didn't take the graduation assessment seriously. But there was confusion in my heart. Because the record stone tablet has a record holder, it is Sengoku the Buddha. The records kept by Buddha Sengoku are related to graduation examinations. The holder of three graduation assessment times, Sengoku, nine minutes. Even Buddha Sengoku's graduation exam takes nine minutes to complete, so the intensity shouldn't be low, right? Shingji Akainu Garp and the others will need even longer. Those guys outside are simply not qualified to complete such an intense graduation assessment, right? It's rare for me to talk about these common senses, aim, tell him. Luo, who didn't know anything about common sense, was speechless, I'm going to arrange the graduation examination. Luo, Mr. Zephyr is angry. You don't care about the recruiting camp. Ain pouted and scolded. It's okay. After breaking the record and getting such an honor, I can compensate teacher Zephyr. Luo said with a smile. As a teacher and the head instructor of the recruiting camp, any new record will naturally bring greater aura to Zephyr's head. 
I believe you. Ain was still the same as before, with little stars in his cute big eyes. Advertisement. Hey, 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 it seems that you should tell me first what items are included in the graduation assessment. The palm of his hand passed under Ain's dull gaze. With a blush on his face, Ain lowered his head and whispered, the graduation assessment includes three items. The first one requires 600 to remain undefeated for 10 minutes in the hands of a recruit who has graduated for more than three years. The second one requires defeating Haidahai, who has a bounty of more than 3 million. Thief. The third item, the written test must be passed. Luo was not surprised by the first two items. Strength is the most important factor in determining graduation. Just the third item, written test. Luo frowned slightly. Do we still need to ask questions? Of course he knows that there are theoretical courses in the recruit camp, but he has never studied them. No wonder Buddha's Sengoku takes more than nine minutes. The written test is the most time-consuming. Luo rubbed his temples in distress, how to pass the written test. Is the tenth record unbreakable? No, breaking all records is my goal. How can I not break it? Luo's eyes narrowed slightly. Ain, I have to go out for a while, please wait a moment. Uh, Luo. Where are you going? What if teacher Zephyr comes to find you? I'll be back later. Luo disappeared instantly. Arriving at a deserted classroom, Luo and said, I have no idea what the written test is about, and I have never learned the theoretical knowledge in the recruitment camp. It is very difficult to pass, let alone pass in a very short time. Even if the record has not been broken, if you fail the final graduation examination, you will really become a legend. We can only use some special means, room. 31%. 84 Sengoku record, broken. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. P.S. Please subscribe automatically. Please give me flowers, and please give me rewards. Room. The room space encompasses the entire recruiting camp. Prepare for the graduation assessment. Immediately ask Impel down for a reward of about 3 million to 5 million for the prisoner. Immediately randomly select test questions from the question bank. As for the recruit three years after graduation, let's use AIM. Zephyr Admiral. AIM is too strong. No one in the recruiting camp can last three minutes in her hands. Is it too difficult? Luo's strength is not that simple, it won't be difficult for him. The sound of conversation easily reached Luo's ears from more than a dozen rooms away. Observation hockey. Coupled with the thunder fruit ability allows Luo to clearly hear all sounds induced by hockey, including dialogue. Plus the clairvoyance abilities developed by Op Op Fruit. In the room space, any secret will be exposed to Luo's eyes. When someone applies for graduation, they immediately draw a standard number of test questions from the Haxing question bank. Yes, the digital marines hurriedly prepared the written test papers, selected them randomly, and naturally easily formed the test papers, and then printed them out, and the test papers were completed. Let's go, the written test is the last one. After completing the exam, the instructor put the exam paper into a safe and left the closed room. When the door of the deserted room was closed, Luo teleported to the closed room with a hiss, and in his hand was the examination paper locked in the safe. These exam questions. Luo quickly read the test paper in his hand. He frowned. It's true that many people don't know how to do it. If we don't take measures, we really won't be able to pass. Advertisement. Luo hurriedly took out a thick book from the bookshelf. This book contained a large number of test questions, and all the test questions were extracted from it. The first question is on page 38. Luo's memory is extremely amazing and can be called a photographic memory. I quickly flipped through to page 38 and found the test question. It was a multiple choice question. The correct answer was A. The second question is on page 21. Searching for answers very quickly. There are a total of 40 multiple choice questions in the examination paper, each question is worth one point. 10 fill in the blank questions, worth two points each. Eight questions, worth five points each. 100 points system, 60 points passing. After reading the last fill in the blank question, Luo put down the book in his hand, it seems you passed. The test paper in his hand disappeared instantly and was still placed in the safe. Then Luo disappeared. Nothing happened. It was the most perfect cheating. Where did that guy Luo go? Don't you care so much about the graduation exam? 
Just as he walked outside the office, Luo heard Zephyr's roar. Ain, didn't I tell you to take good care of him? I can't control him, Ain said agreeably. Teacher Zephyr, if I have something to do, I'll leave and talk to Icy. He pushed the door open and entered. Zephyr opened his mouth to reprimand, but held back in the end. If this guy can listen to me, I won't be so sulky. The graduation assessment has been prepared. Let's go and prepare for the assessment. Yifa took the lead and walked out of the door. The first assessment. Fight with the recruit camp three years after graduation, located in the indoor training room. When he walked into the training room, Luo was shocked. All the recruits and instructors were here, looking at him with contempt and ridicule. Advertisement. I haven't been able to complete the graduation exam in nine years. How can I do it today? After he fails, let's see if he takes responsibility. I bet a million baileys that he won't be able to hold on for a minute in the hands of senior aim. Nonsense. You will definitely win, who will bet with you? They were all contemptuous looks. Luo, although I don't want to fight with you, since I am your assessor, I will take it seriously. Ain held the short sword in his hand. I will go all out, and I have also grown over the years. Leaving the ring means losing, falling to the ground means losing, and holding on for 10 minutes means passing. An instructor said indifferently. Then let's begin. Ring the bell and drum vigorously. Start counting time. Although I also want to see your current power, Ain, but unfortunately I can't afford to waste time, so I'm sorry, Ain. The voice came from behind Ain and Luo teleported behind her out of thin air. The sword in her hand was placed on her shoulder. It's over. The first assessment is over. Huh. Everyone looked at this scene blankly. Is it fake? It's impossible. How can it be so fast? The recruits absolutely cannot accept that the existence of a hanging tail truck has such power. It must be an illusion. That guy Luo really didn't disappoint me. Zephyr couldn't help but have a smile on his lips. It seemed that he had grown a lot. Luo, you are still so strong, I lost. Ain was a little disappointed. I will slowly understand your growth later. Luo patted Ain's shoulder apologetically. It's okay, I will work harder to catch up with Luo. Ain clenched his fists with determination in his eyes. The first assessment lasts 1.25 seconds. Advertisement. Don't waste time, the second assessment. Luo said to the instructor who was in charge of the assessment. Bring the pirates. The ferocious pirate, with a bounty of four million on his head, stared at Luo with a murderous look. You actually use me as a stepping stone. Rookie, I will kill you. Second assessment. Preparation. Prepare the third item. The pirate's head has already fallen to the ground. It's over. Time 0.21 seconds. The scene was completely silent, as if everyone had lost the right to speak. Even if the instructor cleared the bloodline on the ground, goodly Nuo, it didn't wake them up. Still in shock, the third assessment has begun. It was also a written test. On a lonely table in the huge training ground, Luo picked up a pen and quickly wrote the answer. ACABC. If the first two games Zephyr wasn't shocking. Well now his eyes widened. Because Luo answered the questions so fast, he took the test paper and quickly filled in the answers. He didn't even use a tenth of a second to read the questions. It was impossible to read the questions in such a short time, let alone answer them. Write vigorously and quickly. Multiple choice questions and fill in the blank questions can be completed easily without wasting time at all. For the sake of safety, Luo still answered two questions and then raised his hand to indicate that the third assessment time was over. Time. 1 minute and 24 seconds. The total time for the three assessments is 1.2546 points. 32%. 85 led everyone witness. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The big red numbers on the timer on the wall are the time. Not even two minutes. If the first two tests can prove that he is actually very strong, but the written test takes less than two minutes and even after reading the questions, he can't do it. Is he relying on deception? How can he pass? Recruit doesn't believe that such a fast speed can still pass the written test. Pass. It's simply impossible. Luo, are you sure you want to hand in the paper? Zephyr asked in astonishment. No more checking. It's still early. The written test lasts 90 minutes. No need. Luo shook his head. Anyway, there is no record of the highest score, so passing is enough. 
What's more, Luo is not interested in these topics at all. The theoretical courses in the recruitment camp are just to let the recruits understand the law and to cultivate the recruits, sense of belonging and honor to Marine, so that they can fight for Marine throughout their lives. Law, who is really strong and bound by the law? The strong can only be restrained by the morality and morality in their own hearts. The first record has been passed. Let me know when the assessment time for the next record is determined. It's best to hurry up, Luo said, turning around and walking towards the training room. As for the expressions and reactions of the people behind him, he didn't care. It's just a look of shock and disbelief. Quote dot 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 quote. Zephyr helplessly raised his forehead. That guy. Teacher Zephyr 073, the total time of the three assessments is 1.2546 seconds, which indeed broke the previous record held by Marshal Sengoku, but the new record can only be counted after passing the graduation assessment. Instructor put away Luo's paper. Only when you pass the written examination will your grades be counted and you will be considered as having passed the graduation assessment. Advertisement. Correct your grades. Zephyr said. Yes. However. The recruits remained frozen in place, looking more perfect than statues. The instructors quickly corrected the test papers, and the instructors' expressions became more and more shocked and exciting. With such a fast answering speed, no one thought that the accuracy rate would be very high. But now all the multiple choice questions and fill in the blank questions on the test paper are correct. Finally correct the questions and answers. The first question. When you command a warship and are surrounded by a large number of pirate ships, how do you protect yourself when there is no external aid? Luo's answer. It's all destroyed. Such an answer is simply wrong. This question tests the candidate's adaptability and ability to protect themselves in times of crisis. Zero points. But it can't be wrong, right? Another instructor retorted. As long as you are strong enough, CCCJ, defeating all pirates is also a solution, right? Stop arguing. It doesn't matter if you get zero points, the score is already 60 points. The third instructor said to the two arguing instructors. 60 points. Passed. You actually passed. Exactly 60 points. That guy Luo must have done it on purpose. Zephyr didn't know how to describe his mood at this time. He was a rebellious genius with amazing potential. Passed. He passed the graduation exam. Recruit couldn't accept it. The weird recruit he had laughed at for many years actually passed. Advertisement. And it seems to have broken a certain record. His name is really qualified to be engraved on the record stone, so there is nothing wrong with him breaking the record stone. It will be replaced anyway. I understand, Trafalgar Law is basically pretending to be a pig to eat the tiger. In fact, he is a real strong player in the recruiting camp, but he is just unwilling to waste time in the recruiting camp. Yes. He was too low-key before. The facts were before his eyes, and all doubts and ridicules disappeared instantly. From ridicule and contempt to admiration, it is an instant change. As long as you are strong enough, you can do it. That guy Luo. Although Zephyr's tone was complaining, he couldn't help but smile. The training will be guided by you. I will go to the Marine headquarters once. Zephyr left the recruiting camp with Luo's results. Luo's strength has reached an astonishing level. Even I can't see through it. It seems that he may really break some other record. I wonder which record he will choose. Zephyr suddenly looked forward to tomorrow. But I'm a little worried. Among the remaining records, Luo's achievements in all aspects of the recruiting camp have reached the limit. Which one can Luo break? Comparing speed with Kazaru. A wider range of attacks than Qingji. Comparing explosive power with Akainu. Competing strength with Garp. Can it be done? No matter what. The complete rise of a new star. No, a strong person should make those who doubt the quality of my current teaching understand that my students can still become top experts. An excited Zephyr rushed into the Marine building. Advertisement. He could not forget the reaction of the Marines when Luo was deeply involved in the Whitebeard Pirates. I simply don't disdain Luo's potential. Now I will let you understand how terrifying Luo's power is. Zephyr believes that Luo will never let him down tomorrow. Since you believe it, then you dare to bet and let everyone be a witness. With a bang, Zephyr pushed open the door to Marshal Marine's office. Very good, you are all here. Zephyr looked at the three admirals and Garp in the office in surprise. He was not curious about what major matter they gathered together to discuss. 
Since they are all here, it would be a good time for them to go and see Luo's rise together. Go see Luo's record-breaking feat. By the way, they were the previous record holders. It feels good to see your own glory surpassed by younger generations. Jinfa thought in a wicked way. Sengoku, don't be busy, let's take a look at this first. Zephyr put the transcript in his hand on the desk in front of Sengoku. Oh, Sengoku picked up the transcript curiously. Trafalgar Law, Graduation Examination Transcript. Hey, I seem to remember that Trafalgar Law was one of your students, Zephyr. He once had good luck escaping from the Whitebeard Pirates. How do I remember? He seems to have been in the recruitment camp for many years. Why is he still graduating now? Kazaru he looked over curiously. How strange. Wasn't he called a recruit with amazing potential by Mr. Zephyr? Did it take him so long to have the strength to pass the graduation examination? It doesn't match what you said, Mr. Zephyr. HMPH. Zephyr glanced at Kazaru arrogantly, but he didn't bother to refute in front of Danmi. Graduation assessment. The first assessment time. 1.25 seconds. The second assessment time. 0.21 seconds. The third assessment time 1.24 minutes. The total time is 1.2546 minutes, A. Eh? So fast. Sengoku read this shocking result in a shocked tone. How? How is it possible? The three admirals, including Garp, all looked over in shock. 32%. 86 let the facts prove it. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. Such a short time. Buddha Sengoku is the record holder for the total duration of the graduation exam and he feels the shock of time the most. How, did he do it? It's so strange. Even Mr. Sengoku's graduation exam takes nine minutes to complete. Even if Trafalgar Law is amazing, it can't be just over a minute, right? The record is instantly increased by seven or eight times. Kazaru said after being shocked. He said strangely. Can it be done? The various records in the recruiting camp are almost all the ones that can be reached during the recruiting period. Surpassing even a tiny bit is a miracle. Surpassing so much in an instant. How can you believe it? It's really unconvincing. There are a huge number of test questions drawn out at once. Even if he can do all the test questions, he still has to at least read them, right? It's impossible to do it in such a short time. Akainu also expressed serious doubts. Teacher Zephyr, can you let us watch the graduation assessment record video? Qingji asked curiously. None of them believed it. They all doubted the authenticity of the written examination assessment. They have all gone through the graduation examination and experienced it with themselves, and they can't believe it. Okay. I'll let you see. Any student's graduation assessment will be filmed by the video phone bug, just to prevent students from cheating. Zephyr had expected this. Everything that happened in Luo's graduation examination was recorded. It lasted for one minute and was quickly read. Advertisement. It's too fast. You answered the question without even looking at it. Are you confused? Even if you get all the multiple choice questions right, you still won't pass. Such a strange test. Teacher Zephyr, you won't tell me if it's true. I'm sure he didn't know before. Answer. Kazaru looked at Zephyr strangely. The test questions are randomly drawn at any time. How can Luo know the answers in advance? Zephyr glared. That's not necessarily the case. Kazaru boy, do you want me to give the answer to Luo? Zephyr burst out with a terrifying aura, which was an insult to his personality. I didn't say that, Kazaru shrugged. How could Zephyr's character be like this? It seems that this Trafalgar law has something special. Garp said while eating donuts. Sengoku, you have a successor. The title of the resourceful general may make people. Oh. If it's true, then of course it's good. Sengoku said. He was the most skeptical about this matter, because when he graduated, Sengoku was confident that he knew all the test questions and theoretical knowledge well and memorized them all. But it also took more than eight minutes. Even if Trafalgar Law masters all the theoretical test questions as well as himself, it can't be so short, right? Of course, he didn't believe that Zephyr, his old friend, would contact students to cheat, but he was sure there was some unknown secret in it, but he hadn't discovered it yet so he would never be able to answer the questions so quickly. The third assessment is too shocking. How to convince people of impossible situations. Although the first and second assessments are shorter, the first two are practical assessments. There were all top experts present. 
In their eyes, the intensity of the actual combat in the graduation examination was really not strong enough. Ordinary students could pass it. Such a time was just an instant kill, killing a pirate with a bounty of three million baileys. Recruit there are several outstanding students in every camp who can do this. Advertisement. At most, it proves that Trafalgar Law is very good in terms of recruiting camp. During the graduation exam, the strong man present was confident that he could instantly kill a group of pirates with a bounty of three million on his head. But the third assessment is not a test of strength, but a theoretical written assessment, which tests knowledge. Zephyr glanced at everyone. Everyone looked at them with disbelief, and couldn't help but frown. You don't believe that Trafalgar Law can break the graduation examination length record, and I can't help it. Believe it or not, but Luo applied and continued to break the recruitment camp record. If you don't believe in Trafalgar Law, come and see for yourself. Oh, Kazaru said in a long voice. You want to continue to break records. What a scary recruit, does he still want to become the holder of two records? It's interesting. Akainu also mentioned it out of curiosity. It seems that no one has broken my record for decades. I really hope that someone will be able to break my record. Garp has great expectations. Please give me flowers. Garp, no one will be able to break your record within a hundred years. Your instant explosive power as a recruit has surpassed all vice admirals and reached 12,000 power. Trafalgar Law will never challenge your record. Sengoku said with a smile. He couldn't help but look at the three admirals. There are record holders present. It's impossible to challenge my record anyway. Kazaru said leisurely. Can he compare to the speed of light? Indeed. Sengoku looked away from Kazaru and looked at Akainu. Kazaru's record was probably the one that was least likely to be broken. As for Akainu's record, it was the complete destruction of a medium-sized island within 10 minutes. Advertisement. Even if Admiral is a strong person, it would be difficult for him to destroy a medium-sized island in such a short time due to his different abilities, right? Sengoku finally looked at Shingji. Shingji's large-scale ability is the best in the sea, and he can directly freeze the sea. With such a range of attack power, who can compare with the sea? Sengoku can't think of any record that can be broken, and it is almost impossible to do so. Zephyr, is he going to break a record? Sengoku looked at F.A. It's not clear yet, Zephyr said helplessly, but we will know tomorrow. Do you want to come and see it? Of course, how could such a terrible recruit not come? Kazaru said jokingly, his tone full of disbelief. If the record of the recruiting camp was so easy to be broken, it would be impossible for any record to be broken in the past 20 years. Whether it is just sensationalism or whether it is really powerful, I will see with my own eyes. Akainu said. Qingji also nodded. I hope that there will really be a successor and leader in the new generation of Marine. Currently, the recruitment is a bit slow. The overall power of Marine is now the strongest moment in history, but there is almost no strong person in the new generation. Garp is looking forward to tomorrow. Then let the facts prove whether Trafalgar Law has the strength to break the record. Teacher Zephyr, you need to prepare medicine, in case you get asthma due to anger. Hum the mountain. 32%. 87 I challenge them all. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The next day. Call out. Several warships formed a fleet and left the marine headquarters. The recruit camp has many records, requires a huge venue, and is extremely destructive. It certainly cannot be achieved at the marine headquarters. A more perfect assessment location needs to be found. With marine's huge organization, one day is enough to find the perfect assessment location. Marshal Admiral and even the Garp heroes have been dispatched. Are they going to take action against the four emperors? Marine's entire combat force is out. This has never happened before. What happened? Are you going to take action against Whitebeard? Port Marine looked at the warship going away in shock. Such huge strength almost encompassed all the top combat power of Marine. It had never used such huge strength against Pirate King Roger. Do you want, 790, to conquer the new world in one fell swoop? Is he Trafalgar Law? Is this his battleship? It actually has the Ennis lobby design, and the shape is too weird. On the main battleship, Kazaru looked curiously at the unusual warship a few hundred meters to the right. Ark Proverbs. On the Ark Proverbs, there is only one person, Trafalgar Law. Sitting on the throne, 
he used thunder and lightning to control the progress of the arc. Advertisement. Even Buddha Sengoku is here. Is there a lot of movement? It's just right. Luo Yuguang glanced at the main battleship, and the sun showed an astonishing momentum. Call out. Take the lead warship and quickly lead the fleet sailing. A few hours later, in the early afternoon, a somewhat deserted island appeared in front of it. It was difficult to see any green vegetation. Not only was there no one, it was also a deserted island without any life. The cracked earth resembled a plain, which formed the main structure of the island. At this time, the sky was gloomy, dark clouds were overwhelming, and they stretched for dozens of miles, and there was a bad storm ahead. The warship docked on the shore. There are only a handful of marines and admiral strongmen on the island. Of course, today's protagonist is not them, but Trafalgar Law. Luo. Don't be nervous. Show your strongest side to prove yourself. Zephyr encouraged Luo. Today's assessment is far from the level of yesterday's graduation assessment. Although today's assessment is just a recruitment camp record assessment. But strength is something that many famous top players in the sea find difficult to achieve. Do you prove it? In fact, my main reason is that I think there is only one person's name on the stone tablet, which is much neater and more beautiful. Luo smiled calmly. Zephyr staggered, pretending not to have heard this sentence. Take Luo to Buddha's Sengoku and other top powerhouses. Trafalgar Law. Buddha's Sengoku looked at Luo. He had heard about it a long time ago and had a lot of connections. Corazon was Sengoku's adopted son, and Corazon took Luo into the marine headquarters. Not bad. Sengoku praised, no matter from a personal perspective or from a marshal's perspective, he hoped that Luo would be better. Advertisement. Nice look. Garp also gave some encouragement. I wonder which record will you challenge Trafalgar Law? Kazaru's wretched old face looked at Luo jokingly. Besides my record, which record will you choose? 1. Then let's challenge the fastest speed record of 5,000 meters first. Luo said coldly. Kazaru choked and almost lost his breath. You want to challenge my record? Challenge my fastest 5,000 meter speed record. Are you kidding me? Chi Chi. Sengoku looked at Luo, too arrogant, right? Kazaru's record is the least likely to be surpassed, and he challenged the speed record because of Chi Chi. He was so impulsive that all the expectations in his heart disappeared. Luo, think more confidently and challenge what you are best at. Zephyr also said hurriedly. Although he also dislikes Kazaru, he also understands that Kazaru moves at the speed of light, the fastest speed in nature. How can he challenge it? 2.3 seconds for 5,000 meters. More than 2,000 meters per second, about five times the speed of sound. At such a speed, it is impossible to reach this level by relying solely on the body's explosive speed. Speed. I'm not good at it, but two seconds for 5,000 meters is too slow. Luo grinned. Anyway, the challenges are all in sequence. Even Buddha Sengoku's eyes widened suddenly, and the laziest Qingji looked at Luo in shock. You. Dot you want to challenge all records. Right. Luo turned around and walked towards the center of the island, where was the assessment place. Ha ha ha. This trip is right, maybe I will see the most amazing scene. Garp is looking forward to today more and more. Advertisement. But others looked at Garp strangely. Garp. You don't think he really has the strength to challenge various records, do you? We can't do it now. Sengoku shook his head and looked at Luo's back. It's impossible to do it. He can't be an all-around strong person, right? Yes, we are now much stronger than when the recruitment camp set the record. We can break our own records, but other records are still difficult to achieve. Qingji shook his head and said, now he can freeze the sea with one blow, which is far more than 214 kilometers. But it's impossible for him to reach 5,000 meters in just over two seconds. The same goes for other top experts, who always have areas in which they are not good at. Could it be that he has the speed exceeding the speed of light, Akainu's destructive power, Shinji's attack range, and Mr. Garp's explosive power? Kazaru said with a contemptuous smile, who can do it? No one. It looks like it's just sensationalism. If I had known it, in this case, you shouldn't come today and waste your time. Zephyr didn't object. Although I am very dissatisfied with Kazaru's words, looking at Luo's back, no matter how powerful I believe in Luo, I still can't believe that he can do everything 5.7, it's impossible, absolutely impossible. 
Let's go. Now that we're here, we can't turn around and go back. Let's just relax. Sengoku took the lead and walked towards the center of the island. Perhaps, it's not necessarily true that he can really break a certain record. As long as he breaks any more record, then today is not in vain. Break any record. It means reaching the limit of the recruiting camp in a certain aspect, and the future potential will not be inferior to the admirals, who are already monsters. The center of the island. Many officers prepared quickly. This was an extremely serious challenge. There must be no gap in the various data records and preparations. The distance between the starting point and the end point cannot exceed 10 centimeters for 5,000 meters. The time recording error must be maintained within 0.1 seconds. 33%. 88 8,000 meters 1.03 seconds. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. 5,000 meters speed assessment. There is a small flag placed 2,500 meters in front of the starting point. The time it takes to pull out the small flag from the starting point and then return to the starting point is the assessment result. It requires a round trip between the starting point and the end point at a distance of 2,500. At the moment of departure, you press the button instantly and the seconds start counting. At the moment you return, you press the button again and the seconds stop. The time recorded above is the assessment result. No matter how fast the reaction is, it takes time to go back and forth, press the button, and activate the ability. Luo thought secretly. Sure enough, Kazaru can reach 5,000 meters in 2.3 seconds. Is most of the time wasted in these places? Now the maximum diameter of the room space can reach 4,000 meters. Luo looked at the small flag planted 2,500 meters away and said to Marine, is it possible to change the assessment method? Huh. Marine, who was calculating the distance, looked at Luo in surprise. Have you given up? Do you know to give up now? Do you know that you can't break my record? Not far away, Kazaru said with a contemptuous smile on his lips, you still have self-awareness. I want to challenge 8,000 meters. Luo said solemnly. Place flags 2,000 meters in front of the starting point and 2,000 meters behind the starting point, remove the flags, and then return to the starting point, 8,000 meters. Although the diameter of the room space reaches 4,000 meters, the space starts from Luo itself, which means that the radius is only 2,000 meters. If the flag is placed 2,500 away, it can be outside the space. Relying on lightning teleportation, Luo K is not confident that he can exceed the speed of light. Only space ability can exceed the speed of light. This. The officers preparing for the assessment had no right to agree and hurriedly reported to Marshal Sengoku. Is he crazy? 5,000 meters is already a long distance, and 8,000 meters is already terrifying. Kazaru exclaimed. He must understand that it is impossible to succeed anyway, so he challenges impossible projects more and more, even if he fails. Doesn't it look so embarrassing? Agree. Sengoku nodded. He didn't expect anything in the speed test and just wanted to end this test as soon as possible. Yes. Advertisement. Marine began to rearrange the scene. After many precise calculations, the layout was completely completed. There are two small flags planted 2,000 meters in front and 2,000 meters behind Luo. From the front to the back, it is 4,000 meters. The route Luo wants to pass is 2,000 plus 4,000 plus 2,000 equals 8,000 meters. You can challenge at any time, just press the second button and the challenge begins. On the huge plane, there was no one around Luo for thousands of meters. He stood within the prescribed range, with a red button placed on a regular stone platform beside him. Room. A huge space appeared instantly, with a diameter of 4,000 meters, just enough to wrap the two flags at the front and back. Start. Luo put his left hand on the button and raised the fingertips of his right hand forward. Button pressed. The numbers on the huge screen in front of Marshal Admiral and others jumped rapidly. And Luo disappeared. Whoops. In an instant, the flag in front disappeared, and almost at the same time, the flag in the rear also disappeared. Snapped. When the start button was pressed, the seconds stopped moving. Before the admirals could look away from the screen, the beating numbers on it stopped. Advertisement. The bright red numbers are so dazzling. 1.03. The unit is seconds. 1.03 seconds. 8,000 meters in 1.03 seconds. 
The distance far exceeded the 5,000 meters maintained by Kazaru, and the time was doubled. Is it over? The sarcastic expression on Kazaru's face had not disappeared. He was waiting for the joke, waiting for the time number to jump to more than 10 seconds, but it stopped. Finished. Buddha Sengoku and the others raised their heads in horror and looked at Luo standing at the starting point in the distance. Didn't he act and press the buttons one after another? Kazaru didn't believe his record would be broken. The two flags K. Luo held in his hands were so clear. Right in front of you, whether you get the back flag or the front flag first, it will take at least 8,000 meters to get back to the starting point, so there is no way to cheat. Such speed? No, this is not speed. They are all top strong men, especially strong men like Kazaru whose speed has reached an astonishing level. They never believe that they can achieve such speed by relying on their physical body alone. This is more than 10 times the speed of sound. I have never heard of anyone who can physically explode at such a speed. The assessment time is too fast. It was not visible to the naked eye at all. In the eyes of ordinary officers, Luo seemed to have not moved, and the assessment was over. No trace. The Admiral Strongman have already fully opened their sight and hearing. It is difficult to see with the naked eye if it exceeds the speed of sound. No matter how sharp the eyes are, it is difficult to catch it. But no matter how fast the speed is, some traces will remain in the passing traces. It will even leave clear traces of air waves. Advertisement. Space ability. Buddha Sengoku said in shock. There is only one ability that can explain the current situation, and that is the weird space ability. Space teleportation. They are all well-informed top experts. Although the space ability is weird, it is impossible for them not to have heard of it. Did you have space teleportation? Kazaru looked ugly. The speed of light is indeed the fastest element in nature, but space ability is not an ordinary ability in nature. The only thing that can beat the speed of light is the speed of space. Okay. Zephyr couldn't help but clapped his hands. 657. Luo, good job. If I remember correctly, Trafalgar Law owns the Op Op fruit, which actually developed spatial abilities. It seems that the fruit has been developed to an extremely high level. Sengoku couldn't help but smile with a smile on his lips, very good. Amazing assessment. It was over in an instant. When Luo came over, most of them were greeted with looks of approval and encouragement, but there were also some unkind looks. His own record was broken, and in addition to everything before, Kazaru looked at Luo with a gloomy expression. Luo. You did it. You set a new record. You became the first holder of two records in the recruiting camp. The translator was happy for Luo from the bottom of his heart. But it's still early. Luo's goal is not two, but all. Next, I will conduct a combat strength test. Do you want to challenge my record? Garp laughed loudly. We have to do it. Butcher is looking forward to it. Dao power is called combat power, but it cannot completely determine a person's strength. In terms of instantaneous explosive power, a kainu may not be much lower than Garp but Akainu's attack is strength plus karst burning. Although karst burning is extremely destructive, elemental attacks are not strength. And Garp is an explosion of pure power. The power of the wheel is much higher than that of Akainu, but the strength is not much higher. 89 Thor's Spear. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. HMPH. Space ability is indeed very weird, but Dao power is a general term for combat power. Dao power test can be roughly understood as the power contained in instant attacks. Space ability is more of a weird ability, and it does not include pure power. You can rely on yourself alone. Can you do it with strength? Kazaru said coldly. At least I beat your speed record. Then you can't even think of breaking other records. Space ability is not a large-scale attack ability. I beat your speed record. Do you still want to rely on space capabilities to quickly destroy an island? I beat your speed record. Can you please stop mentioning this? Kazaru was so angry that he vomited blood. Luo shrugged, and it was rare that an admiral gritted his teeth but could do nothing. Turn around and walk leisurely into the distance, preparing for the assessment. Since you are so confident, do you dare to bet? If you can't do it, don't let me see you in the future and automatically retreat. Kazaru is annoyed when he looks at Luo now, having embarrassed himself so much. Oh. What if I do it? Looking back, Luo looked at Kazaru jokingly. You can't do it. 
but I've already surpassed your speed record. You bastard. Kazaru gasped in anger. What do you think we should do? Do three things for me. Luo Yi grinned and said, since he was given the benefit, he would not let it go. What's the matter? Tell me. Kazaru didn't agree immediately. He didn't lose his mind. He was just depressed and angry. Advertisement. I haven't thought of it yet. I'll let you know when I think of it. That's not okay. If you ask me to commit suicide, attack the marine headquarters and other things, can I agree to it? Kazaru smiled and said, if it doesn't violate my own bottom line, I can agree. Okay. Luo didn't expect such a bloody bet to happen. Then I invite Marshal Sengoku and all the admirals to serve as witnesses. Okay. Sengoku said helplessly and glanced at Kazaru speechlessly. As an admiral, he actually got angry with a recruit. Is it a big deal? Don't worry. If any of my students dares to break his promise, I will definitely not let him go. Fahu glanced at Kazaru. The latter smiled jokingly. I will always stay at the marine headquarters in the future. It seems that you can only go to the marine branch. Kazaru believes he can win. If Vice Admiral Garp's record was broken so easily, then Garp wouldn't be the representative hero of marine. Taking steps, Luo walked towards the plane ahead. Taking a deep breath, he slowly gathered strength in his body. Regardless of whether there was a bet or not, he would go all out and break all records. Relying on pure strength and hockey alone, it is impossible to surpass the record held by Garp. Luo looked at the huge strange machine presented in front of him. The main structure was seastone to prevent it from being destroyed. It's easy to show your own power. Attack the test machine with a full blow. The strength data included in the attack can naturally be answered by converting it with the strength. Use fruit ability. Op Op Fruit's attack ability is very strange. Although it is very powerful, the space slash does not contain pure power, so it is of little use. Thunder Fruit Attack. The destructive power of thunder and lightning is terrifying, but its abilities such as paralysis and penetration are not powers. That's the only way to use it. Advertisement. Luo has long thought of how to break this record. Remember, you can only attack once, no matter how powerful the pipe is, you cannot attack again, otherwise the score will be invalid. The officers told Luo, if you are ready, you can attack at any time. I don't know how much power this move contains. Luo straightened his hands and held them empty. Here, crackling thunder and lightning flashed in his hands and quickly gathered between them. Thunder and lightning. The admirals in the distance looked at this scene in shock. Is this thunder and lightning? And controlling lightning? This is obviously Logia. Mr. Sengoku, didn't you say that he possesses the Paramisha Op Op fruit? There is only one possibility for being able to control lightning so easily. He possesses the Logia Thunder fruit. The three current admirals are Logia. Very knowledgeable about Logia. At this time, they all looked at Luo in confusion and shock. Can one person still have two abilities? How is it possible? Wait for him to finish the assessment first. Sengoku was surprised and happy. He was surprised without words. What he was happy about was that Luo Ruru really had the Op Op fruit, which is called the ultimate fruit in Paramisha, and the top thunder fruit in Logia. Combining the two, the potential is even higher than that of the current admiral. Room, Thor's spear. The thunder and lightning in his hands condensed like a substance, forming silver-purple arrows, which were suspended in his hands. Thunder and lightning continued to emerge from Luo's body and merged into the silver-white arrows. This is not a thunder fruit ability. Advertisement. Instead, the op-op fruit ability is used. Further improvements to the high-energy electromagnetic gun. Using bullets to present high-energy electromagnetic guns can no longer keep up with Luo's current power. He has owned Thunder Fruit for a year, and after crazy development and training, Luo can now display 100 million volts of lightning at its maximum. The electromagnetic gun converted into 100 million volts cannot withstand bullets. Naturally, there is a need to develop stronger output moves. The Thunder God Spear was born naturally. 100 million volts of current and voltage are added to the high-energy electromagnetic gun developed by Op Op Fruit. The two fruits are perfectly integrated together, presenting one of Luo's most powerful and terrifying attack methods at this time. The power of 100 million volts is certainly not comparable to the 200 million volts of Thor possessed by the original Enel. 
But with the blessing of a 100 million volt thunderbolt and electromagnetic gun, its power is no less powerful than Fushin. Thor's spear. Call out. The silver-purple arrows condensed between the hands shot out instantly, with a speed comparable to the speed of light. The afterimage in the sight made people see a beam of light shooting out. Too fast. The thunder god's spear burst out, and in an instant it could not help but show a fan-shaped force. The arrow seemed to have wings, cutting through everything in its path, and the layers of the earth below collapsed. In an instant, the Thor's spear slammed into the power-testing machine. Boom. The terrifying explosion ring spread, spreading thousands of meters in an instant. During the explosion, the data on the test machine climbed rapidly, and finally stopped at a terrifying number. 34%. 90 want to break too. Previous chapter. Next chapter. Advertisement. The strong wind swept across the land with a radius of several thousand meters, and the marine coat on Admiral's shoulders rustled. A very terrifying attack. Sure enough. You can control thunder and lightning. Only thunder fruit owners can achieve such a powerful thunder and lightning power. Kazaru's face turned even more ugly, and all his pride was destroyed. Owning top quality Logia sparkling fruit is his confidence that he has always looked at the sea. But thunder fruit is no worse than sparkling fruit. What's more, Luo also has the same level of op op fruit ability. Such an attack would be very difficult for us to block even at this time. Trafalgar Law's current power has surpassed that of when we graduated. Garp said in shock. If he surpassed us at the same stage, wouldn't it prove that Luo's final achievements will be better than ours in his heyday? Zephyr, it seems that you have taught a recruit with amazing potential. No, he is a strong man who has already risen. Sengoku said excitedly. Marine has another strong man, and there are strong men with unlimited future. There is no need to worry about Marines worried about the future. All of this is Luo's own efforts. Zephyr smiled bitterly. Of course he wanted such an honor, but Zephyr knew that he had only guided Luo's cultivation a limited number of times. As for the fruit ability, not only did he not guide him, even Luo only found out now that he owned thunder fruit. The words came true. Everything Corazon said came true. Special 960 Rafal Garo indeed has the potential of Admiral. Perhaps now his power is almost comparable to Admiral. Sengoku calmed down his shocked and excited mood. Thinking back to when Corazon took Luo into Marine, he didn't believe it at the time, but he didn't expect that it would actually come true in just nine years. What a shocking guy. Advertisement. It's indeed scary, but the power of lightning is more elemental attack rather than pure force attack. Can it surpass Shifengtu's power? Kazaru expressed doubts. No, this is not a pure lightning attack. Everyone has seen Logia lightning but this move seems, different from Logia Lightning. Garp felt the terrifying aura in the air and stared at it slowly disappearing. Kai's Yanchen. Maybe he can really surpass my record. Yeah, has it exceeded? On the broken earth, Luo looked at the huge test machine retreating hundreds of meters in the smoke. This was the only record that he was not 100% confident that he could surpass it. Call out. Several officers quickly came to the test machine. They were still immersed in the shock of this terrifying move. When they saw the astonishing numbers on the test machine, the vice admiral officer couldn't help but widen his eyes. So terrifying. 10,000. 7,000 Dao power. What a terrifying attack. Even if I attack with all my strength, the power will never reach tens of thousands. Elite vice admiral Weasel exclaimed. And this is not a pure power attack, but an elemental attack, with a power of 17,000. If you add uncalculated elemental damage, this move, an ordinary Vice Admiral can't stop it at all. Call out. Vice Admiral, the weasel, disappeared quickly and appeared in front of Marshal Admiral and the others out of thin air. 10 7,000 powers. For the sake of authenticity, the weasel Vice Admiral came here directly with a huge test machine. The huge numbers are the best evidence. Haha. <laughs> it surpassed my record. I didn't expect to see someone surpass my record in my lifetime. Garp laughed happily. Records have been surpassed by others, and there is no use in keeping records that cannot be surpassed and renovated. Quote. This guy. Kazaru's face instantly turned ugly. The bet was lost. Advertisement. And also lost to a recruit. Three things. When passing by Kazaru, Luo said softly beside him. Don't forget it. I know. 
No matter how reluctant he was to believe it, the facts were right in front of him. Kazaru endured it, knowing that whatever he said now would be asking for shame. Luo, I didn't expect you to do it. Zephyr looked at Luo in shock. Although he has great confidence in Luo, he is actually betting on whether Luo can do it, and risks letting all the powerful people in Marine come and watch CCDE. Unexpectedly, Luo not only did it, but also kept doing it. Not all records have been broken. Kazaru couldn't help but interjected. I beat your speed record and I won your bet. Luo only had to say one word, but Kazaru was choked to the point of being unable to speak, and his wretched old face turned red. After praise and encouragement, Sengoku and other strong men all looked at Luo inquiringly. Trafalgar Law, if I remember correctly, what you have is op op fruit, right? Just now you used the thunder fruit ability. Sengoku asked in confusion. Although he didn't mention it directly, it was not tactful. Everyone knows that it is impossible for one person to have two devil fruit abilities, but Luo broke the most impossible record in the sea right in front of him. Advertisement. Maybe taking op op fruit has transformed my body, making my body different from ordinary people and able to have two kinds of devil fruit. Luo casually responded, but no one could expose such a lie. Luo K had no intention of sharing the secrets of body modification he had researched with anyone. As this so, you said you believe it. You must still have some doubts, don't you believe it? But you can't find any loopholes. Op op fruit is called the ultimate fruit, and it is inevitable that it has some unknown and strange abilities. At the critical moment, Zephyr naturally stood on the side of where. Luo didn't care whether they believed it or not. He didn't want to talk about it let alone be forced by others. He looked sideways at Akainu and asked. Akainu Admiral, how does the area of the island you destroyed compare to this island? Are you going to break my record? Akainu raised his eyebrows. At the same time, a vice admiral next to him flipped through the file in his hand and quickly said. The medium-sized island destroyed by the Akainu vice admiral recruit camp covers an area of 36 kilometers, and the area of the desert island below is about 38 kilometers. Then let's take this island. Can we start directly now? Sengoku and the presiding officers looked stiff. The next moment, Sengoku hurriedly issued an order. All marines, evacuate this island immediately. All the marines on the island rushed to the shore at top speed. To completely destroy a medium-sized island requires not only extremely strong attack capabilities, but also large-scale attack capabilities. It also requires terrifying physical support to do all this in a short time. Kazaru looked at the only figure on the island. There is one thing you don't have among the three items. If you don't have any of them, you won't be able to complete this record. There has never been a truly all-around strong person in history. If the island is destroyed with one move, does it count as breaking the records of the two admirals Qingji and Akainu at the same time? Lightning turned, and Luo quickly flew high into the sky.